Happy Saturday. I am so glad that we are finally able to do this Sunderland rebuild. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while. I've had the, the thumbnail already set to go. And uh, this is a team that I actually technically support in the championship. Nora actually reminded me yesterday in the chat. If you didn't see that video yesterday, guys, go check out the Sporting Juniors episode number two. Um, that was fire. That was fire. Absolutely fire. Thank you to everyone who showed up. And thank you to everyone who's showing up today. We already got my team in the building. We have my boy George in the building. He was first. Let's go. And then we have Jay Dub. Sunderland FC big in 2024. Crazy. Yes, yeah, Sunderland FC is the club I technically support in the championship. If you guys don't know that about me. Um, I want them to be promoted to the Premier League so that they can revamp the rivalry with Newcastle. Them and Newcastle are huge rivals in real life. The Stadium of Light needs to be rocking with fans who are, you know, supporting their club in the Premier League, guys. I'm so excited about this rebuild. I hope you guys are excited about this rebuild, too. It's going to be a lot of fun, man. I need the mock swing. First, real quick, if you guys can hit that like button to get so we can I get this out in the algorithm, swing. I would greatly appreciate it. You guys are absolute legends, and I love each and every one of you. Let's get this popping, my team. Let me read chat for a second. Mateus is in the building. What's up, Mateus? Actually, I want everybody in the chat right now to drop the club in the championship that they support. What club do you support in the championship? Let me know. I, I'd be interested to know, guys. Uh, my team says, like the stream. Yes, my team, guys, please hit that like button. Listen to my boy, my team, okay? Or my team, however you want to say it. Um, Henry is in the building. What's up, Henry? J-Dub says Norwich. He's a Norwich fan, okay? That's actually a good one. Norwich actually has a big contingent of American players. Josh Sargent uh, was there. There was somebody else a couple of years ago. I, I'm, I'm forgetting him. But they've had a couple of American players at Norwich, so that's cool. I like Birmingham. Birmingham City, you guys see Joe Bellingham is on the thumbnail of this rebuild. And you guys know who played for Birmingham before, right? Jude Bellingham. So that's pretty cool, man. Leicester City, of course. Benedict, Leicester City. I like Leicester, Leicester City as well. Um, cool, cool, cool. J-Dub on Discord, Discord. Joe, what's the rebuild rules? I'm going to do it as well at the same time as you, J-Dub. That is lit. Okay, yes, J-Dub. Let me go over the rules real quick, guys. They're in the description of this video. The, the rules are you can only sign three players per season. One of them has to be an English player since we are controlling an English team. It only makes sense to sign players that hail from this region. Um, and then the third rule is just to have fun, man. So sign three players per season. You don't have to sign three players, but three players is the max. You can sell as many players as you want. There's no rule there. Um, and we're going to try and bring this stream under three hours guys i don't want this to be an insanely long stream um i'm just here to have fun on saturday i don't normally stream on saturday so that's already a dub in itself that's already a dub in itself what's up finn what's up finn um but guys thank you so much for joining me today happy saturday if you guys are watching this back at a later date i hope you guys had a good saturday and um thank you for joining me today let's get this pumping baby let me uh do this up right now Joe, what do you think of Newcastle destroying Spurs? Yes, Newcastle won 4-0 over Spurs today. Absolute shocker uh, result. I think Isak scored a couple of goals. Uh, George, remind me. Remind me about that. Uh, who scored the goals? But yes, I did see the result. I am shocked because I think Spurs are 10 points ahead of Newcastle right now in the league. Um, so Spurs are not a bad team. I think they were sitting in fourth or they were sitting in fifth place. I think Newcastle is now in sixth place, but still 10 points behind Spurs. Newcastle, now that they're out of, you know, all European competitions, and I think they're out of the Carabao Cup and FA Cup now, I think all they have to focus on is the Premier League. And I think that's why they're doing better. They're starting to pick the up their swing. pace, man. They're starting to figure it out. Um, Anthony Gordon, swing. a player that has, you know, fallen under the radar, I think. But um, Anthony Gordon, he came over from Everton last season uh, to Newcastle, and he's starting to find his rhythm with Newcastle on the left wing. Um, Isak through the middle, I think that's a really good combination there. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really impressed with what Newcastle is starting to put together. Do you guys think that Eddie Howe is going to stay as the coach for next season? Or do you think they're going to hire Jose Mourinho? Let me know what you guys think in the chat about that. Um, especially George. I know you're a Newcastle fan. Would you like to bring in Jose Mourinho? Let me know. Martin says, I can stream on Twitch, but I can't screen share. Dang it, J-Dub. Well, just act. give me, give me, I was going to think maybe I'll pull it up on my phone. But give me, uh, updates on how your stream, on your, how your team is doing. Mudrick! It's in the building. What's up, Alex? Thank you for joining, my boy. Uh, Yarmaluk Mudrik, let's go. Joe, how many games can I play per season? It's one game per season you can play. You can play one game per season, guys. Let's meet the team. Here is the squad. I think that was a little bit too long of an intro. Uh, but here is the squad. Jude, sorry, Jude Bellingham's little brother, Job Bellingham. We're going to refer to him as Job, but no longer Jude Belling, Bellingham's brother. This is Job. 
He played striker today for Sunderland in their victory. I think they won today. Um, they might have tied, but jo Joe Bellingham played as the striker, which is insane. He only gets a minus two there, even though he's technically a central midfielder. I think in this live stream, in this rebuild, I want to make Job Bellingham the focal point, and I want to convert him to a cam. And if we get a Real Madrid offer in the future for Job, I think maybe we have to accept it. He is going to be the superstar of this team. I think he's the highest value player on this team, actually. Uh, but there are some really good hidden gems down here, like uh, Ayuchichi. He's a really good French international. Um, I used him in a Paris FC rebuild in FIFA 23, and he was like, immaculate, bro. He was amazing. I think we actually have to go to uh, a two-cam formation uh, with a holding midfielder behind them. Something like this with the center forward in front of him. Maybe we just convert Drew, Joe Bellingham to a center forward. I don't even know. But guys, I need you to let me know who to sign. My team says, bring Kirkes for left back. That reminds me, guys, I just recorded a AFC Bournemouth short video, like fixing short video. You guys know what I'm talking about. And Kirkes was in that video. Um, that's going to be coming out tonight. Guys, please hit the hit the like button on the stream so we can get this out in the algorithm. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, thank you for joining the stream. Happy Saturday. Uh, but yeah, Kirkes would be an awesome signing for that left back side. We don't neck we don't really have a high valued or high rated left back, and I think Kirkes would be perfect. But remember, we only have 10 million in the budget right now. We also have this Styles guy who's a 70 rated player. This guys, this Sunderland team is actually kind of stacked. It's actually kind of nice. Uh, Ballard's a good young center back, 73 rated, 23 years old. Onin is the captain, but I think we have to look to sign a center back this season. I think we need a new center back. He's 28 years old. Um, I think we need somebody that's going to grow uh, along the same timeline as Job Bellingham. Uh, so I want somebody around the same age, maybe 19 to 23 years old, guys. So drop your recommendations. Who should be our next young center back in the squad? Let me know. Norris in the building. What's up, Nora? You reminded me yesterday. I gave you a little shout out earlier in the stream. Um, but yeah, I gave you a shout out earlier saying thank you for reminding me yesterday about the championship question. Like at the very end of the stream, you asked me who my favorite championship club was. I said Sunderland. Um, and I had this uh, thumbnail already ready. So I think we're going to rebuild Sunderland today. And I want to make Joe Bellingham the focal point, man. We got a right mid here. Roberts, who is really pacey. 82 rated pace. Looks good on the right side. Clark on the left side. Looks pretty good. And then Hume, I think, is going to be a... He's going to be a standout. Northern Irish player. You don't normally see too many of those at the right back side. I think he's going to be nice. And then Patterson is our young superstar potential goalkeeper. Guys, we have some really young players on this team that I think could uh, grow with Joe Bellingham. Let me know what you guys think. Should we just make Joe a center forward? Let me know. Uh, I'm going to actually, I'm going to put up, a, put up a poll right now. Should we make Joe Bellingham a center forward? He played center forward in real life today. Should we make Joe a CF. Yes or no? What do you guys think? I'm going to put up a poll. I need you to vote. I'm going to vote as well. Um, and guys, Shay Dub is going to be doing this rebuild simultaneously, I think, on his Twitch channel. So that is awesome. Um, I guess we'll see who wins a trophy first. I think that's the ultimate decider. Not get, not to see who gets promoted first, but whoever wins a trophy first wins the rebuild. How about that, J-Dub? I like this idea, bro. Antonio Silva says, Henry, that would be amazing. Remember, we only have like 10 million in the bank. Um, I would love to sell some players. Uh, looks like we got a, oh my God. Oh my God, you guys came in clutch right now with the votes. 100%, yes, 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 yes. Sajith is in the building. Yo, Ginger Little Sigma, man, how you doing? I appreciate you joining, Sajid. Absolute dub from you. Hey. Thank you for joining, my guy. Uh, do you guys like Sunderland? Oh, and for those of you that just joined and that didn't see, uh, hear the question I asked earlier, who is your favorite EFL Championship squad? Mine is Sunderland. Uh, I think Norris is Stoke City. J-Dub said his is Norwich. Um, who else did you guys say? I'm going to download it right now. Okay, you're going to stream on Twitch 7. Isak Gordon and Scar, George. Yes, Isak Gordon and Scar. Joe, do Newcastle Rebuild next. We will do a Newcastle Rebuild next. Thank you for joining, George. Please, George, stay this whole time because... You know what? I don't know what you want. Since you're a Newcastle fan, do you want us to succeed? Let me know. I hope you want us to succeed. But let's go ahead and convert my boy, Ju Job. But I keep... I'm sorry, Job. If I, if I say Jude at some point during the stream, um, I am sorry. Just know I don't mean it. Here is Job Bellingham. We are going to convert him to a center forward. I wonder how long it's going to take. Only two weeks for a cam. Ten weeks only to become a center forward. Joe Bellingham has seven goals in the EFL Championship this season in real life. He is so nice, bro. He is so nice. He is the next 
hottest commodity in English football right now. He's going to be so nice, guys. Okay, I'm going to go through the squad right now. I already de did development plans. I'm going to go through the squad and transfer list players I don't want to keep right now. Uh, I'm going to add this guy to the transfer list. He's not part of my plans. 52 rated, 20 years old, contract expiring. Let's get him out of the squad. Clark, I want to convert to a winger, a left winger here. Yeah, only going to take two weeks. He's going to be a nice player to have on this team. Uh, Corey Evans is a nice experienced player to have another Northern Irish player I'm gonna add him to the transfer list Sajith loves Leicester City very interesting Amari is in the building what's up Amari thank you for joining guys happy Saturday you guys could be doing anything else right now and I'm so glad that you guys are watching um, watching FIFA FC 24 rebuilds with me if you guys want to I would recommend what J Dub is doing currently do the same rebuild by yourself while watching the stream but do it within the rules. Only three signings per season. One of them has to be English. And you can you get the opportunity to play one game per season. Those are the rules. Timothy Pembele is on this team, bro. I didn't even realize that. No, he's actually nice. Oh, my God. But we, we have kind of a... Oh, kind of a uh, a dilemma here. Because Hume is so good. I think Hume is going to be the next best right back in the league. At least for us during this rebuild. He's going to be amazing, bro. Northern Irish player. I want to use him. Pembele is also really good. What do you guys think I should do with, with Pembele? Should I sell Pembele? Yes or no? Let me know in the chat. Uh, just type sell or, or uh, don't sell. Uh, let me know. That I, would, I need you guys' help, man. I really need you guys' help. Uh, we have some really good left backs as well. A lot of left backs on the squad. Uh, I'm going to add one of them to the transfer list. And it's actually going to be Niall Hugens here. Uh, Kirkin, contract expiring. Let me give him a new contract so that he stays on the squad. Um, let me actually negotiate some new contracts here. Oh, 09, I think we're going to keep him on the squad for one year, but we're going to replace him with a nice, high potential young player. Dak, we're going to add to the transfer list. Contract expiring. Kelly, we're going to add to the transfer list. Bursto, I think we're going to loan him out. Let's see here. Uh, Taylor, transfer list. Yep, already transfer listed. And then Evans, transfer listed as well. Perfecto, perfecto. We'll give him a new contract. Dak is transfer listed. Cool. Rebuild better than Sporting Junior, says Nora. What? Mm. Okay, okay, that's fair. Fair play, fair play. Gotta go soon. I will be back, though, says George. Okay, no problem, George. Make sure you come back because you're gonna want to see how your rivals do. Because trust me, once we get to the Premier League, our main rivals are going to be Newcastle. It's going to go crazy. Get Ugarte, says Henry. Ben, what are you doing, bro? Stop licking me, please. There's some water over there. <laughs> There's some water over there. Bro's like licking my crotch. This is not good. Alex, what's up, bro? Hey, coach. Guys, Sporting Juniors is going to resume on Monday. Um, I was going to do Sporting Juniors today, but I didn't have a... Uh, I did not have a thumbnail ready, and I didn't make new uniforms yet. Um, I've been busy since last night, man. I recorded some shorts videos. We're gonna be dropping a shorts video every week, uh, every day coming up this week, so stay tuned for that. Ugarte signed him, I would love to. Nah, I created a team starting from League Two and making them the best team in the world. Nah, Mateus is actually, he's cracked for that, man. Uh, that, that must have been a fun RTG, bro. Any guy related to Dembele must be kicked out. <laughs> okay, Sajith hates Dembele. He's a Barca fan, so he knows more than I do. I can't do rebuild. I broke my keyboard and I did something to my PC. It's not working. Oh my God, that's not good, George. I'm sorry, George. Joe, can you sign Antonio Nusa next season? Yes. Okay, guys, give me recommendations right now. Right now we have eight million in the bank, but we are going to sell some players. Hopefully we'll have around 20 million. Let me look up Antonio Silva. I don't think we'll be able to sign him this season. I think he's gonna be too high rated and too high valued. 19 years old, this guy is literally the next hottest center back in the world. Maybe the next Pepe, bro. I wouldn't be surprised if Real Madrid go asking for him. Uh, yeah, gotta go, y'all. Henry, thank you for joining, bro. Ugarte signed him. I'll look up Ugarte right now. I think he's gonna be a little bit too high valued. He just went to PSG in real life as well. 36 million. We don't quite have that money in the bank. I want a center back, guys. Give me center backs. Hey, Joe, can I ask you something? Yes, Alex, ask me. Ask away, bro. Please ask me something. Uh, don't sell, says Alex. Okay, I won't send Pembele. Pembele. Thank you, Alex, for, for that. I would do this rebuild, but it's 12 a.m. and I want to focus on your rebuild. Alex, thank you. I appreciate that. You know what? Dub's Alex, bro. W Alex. I appreciate that, guys. Give me some center backs. Check Noosa. Okay, let me check Noosa real quick. Let's check my boy Noosa. I don't know who this is, actually. I actually have no idea who this is. I moved to the top of the screen. If you guys don't see me, if you guys can't see me, I moved to the top of the screen. Um... Noosa, Noosa, Antonio Noosa, left mid, could be a, oh, he's actually kind of nice, okay, 
And it makes sense. He's Norwegian, so it makes sense. Mateus is Norwegian as well, if you guys didn't know. That is amazing, bro. Okay. I like it. I like the option right there. We do have a nice left winger already in Clark. But Antonio Nusla is younger. He's got crazy pace, bro. 88 pace is actually ridiculous. Nah. 88 yeah. pace is crazy. Ricks Edits is in the building. What's up, Ricks? Thank you for joining, my boy. Sign Kamwala. Guys, I want a center back right now. Please recommend some center backs. Um, and we do have to sign one English English player every single season. Um, we have a French player here, 61 rated from Manchester United. I don't know about that one. Um, he could definitely be a, a squad player, though. Or Todibo. Imagine Todibo. I think he might be too good to come to this league. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let me look him up, though. Todibo. You guys remember I used Todibo in the uh olympic leon career mode in fifa 23 and he was an absolute beast an absolute g 29 million guys we're gonna sell as many players as possible and hopefully we can you know get, get our budget up to around 20 million i think todibo might be a little bit too expensive for season number one but let's keep looking man kwanzaa ooh, kwanzaa didn't he just make a big mistake or was that somebody else somebody made a big mistake for liverpool that gave up that caused one of the Atalanta goals. So let me know, who was it? Was it Kwanzaa? I can't remember specifically. Berardo, Berardo, okay. What about Kubarsi? Uh, Lucas Berardo, 19 years old. He would be perfect. Left footed as well. Okay, Galeno. Galeno, I think he's a forward, right? Galeno would be good. Uh, Wenderson, Galeno. Uh, ooh, he's kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie from Porto. He's not too expensive. He's got good pace and he's got good um, Footwork over there on the left side Spilliers. Ooh, Spilliers. I've heard about I've heard of him um, I don't know if I've ever used him before but he looks pretty good. He would fit. He would fit this team perfectly I think he'd be good He has what's his weak foot? Can I see what his weak foot is? I can't see what his weak foot is. 3.5 million is perfect. Poyo's in the building. What's up, Poyo? Guys, please hit that like button so we can get this out in the algorithm. If you're wondering, Sporting Juniors is starting again on Monday. We're going to have new kits, a new sponsor on the chest. Um, by the way, Shay, J-Dub, we're not going to be doing that sponsor just yet. Uh, I think we're going to use that sponsor that you messaged me about uh, once we get promoted to the top fly of the Bundesliga. The Bundesliga one. Uh, but yes, we're going to have a new sponsor on Monday. Um, same crest, but different kits. We're also gonna have some new players added to the squad. It's gonna be fun, man. Hato, Hato, oh my god, Hato would be amazing. We do need a left-footed center back. It doesn't have to be a left-footed center back, but I would love one. Oh my god, he's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm gonna let you guys vote, of course. Alderwild? Alderwild's not in the game anymore, is he? He's definitely retired, right? Oh my god, 34 years old. Toby is still here. He's worth 8.5 million. He could help us right now. He could help us right now. Ooh, that could be perfect, you know. Morgala, Morgala. Oh, I'm loving this, boys. I'm loving it, guys. Thank you for joining the stream. Hit that like button, please. Let's get this out in the algorithm. I am on a mission to make Sunderland the best club in England. And maybe the best club in Europe. Who knows? Maybe we get a Champions League out of this rebuild. I don't know. We're going to try and keep this under three hours, though. It's lit, boys. It's lit. Happy Saturday. Let's go. So hyped, bro. Oh, my God. Harry Maguire. Imagine we brought Harry Maguire back to... The championship because he did play in the championship once upon a time for whole city i don't think he played in the championship for leicester uh, but definitely whole city sergio ramos would be awesome tella okay let me look up tella guys thank you so much for your recommendations i can't do this without you guys this is perfect oh nathan tell is nice for Leverkusen. remember we only have 10 million in the bank right now so let me sim a couple of days and then uh let's get some offers for some of the players we do want to sell um we're gonna get some prize money hopefully with from the preseason as well uh, so that's gonna be some money. Oh my god! Added to the bank, I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope. Uh, we got our first offer here, and it's for Taylor. The It's not really gonna help us too much, but we do want to sell him. Uh, I'm gonna delegate this loan offer to Whole City. I just spoke about Whole City. It's crazy. 32-year-old uh, Chris... I almost said Chris Evans. The uh, Captain America's Chris Evans, if you guys don't know. Uh, but Corey Evans, we're gonna accept this 580,000 euro offer for him. Um, and uh, we are going to sell him. Victor Boniface, Lenny Euro. You guys are coming up with the huge transfers. Give me some English English players as well, guys, because we do need to sign an English player this season and every season for that matter um, to, uh, you know, go along with the rules. We have to sign an English player every season. Boniface is going to be a little bit too expensive this first season. And by the way, if you missed it, we are making Joe Bellingham an official center forward. He plays center forward for, for Sunderland quite often, actually, in real life. In fact, today he played for uh, center forward for Sunderland. 
Um, Illing Jr., Leon King. Okay, Illing Jr. right now. Okay, let me look up Illing Jr. I do actually like the left winger we already have on the squad, but Illing Jr. could be really good. He's got crazy pace. He could be good as well. Uh, Morgala, Leon King, Lenny Yoro. Sorry, guys, if I'm not able to see all of your comments, just spam it, bro. If I don't see your comment yet, just spam it, and I'll, I'll look it up. 14 million for Lenny Euro. You guys already know he's got, like, crazy high potential. Um, He could be perfect. Uh, <laughs> Ross Barkley? I think he just moved to Luton in the game, so I don't know if we'll be able to sign him because I do have... Uh, where is he? Did I spell it wrong? Barkley? Ross Barkley. I don't think I'm spelling it right. Uh, but he just moved to Luton Town anyways. I don't think we'll be able to sign him. Did you know Boniface played in Norway? I actually had no idea. I know he just came over from Lons. Was it Lons or was it Club Bruges? It was one of it was one of those teams. Arnerschlott? I'm not sure. Vardy would be crazy. Let me look up Vardy real quick. Um, oh, it came up. Did I miss it? Cannot approach Vardy. He's retiring at the end of the season. Okay. I guess I just missed Ross Barkley here. Let me look him up. Again. Oh, there he is. I, I think I just missed him. Um, I will shortlist him. Contract expiring, so maybe we can approach to buy him. That would be a nice one to sign. Um, Kretschy. Who remembers Kretschy in the Manchester United live rebuild? Who remembers Kretschy, man? Of course, guys, I'm going to have you guys vote on our next center back. Um, out of all these players that you guys have recommended, uh, Leon King. Let me look up King real quick. This is the last player I'm going to look up. Kobe Minu would be awesome. Leon King, where is he? There he is, center back, 19 years old, 66 rated from Scotland. He's from Scotland. He's a Scottish man. Let's go, Leon King. That's such a Scottish name, too. That is crazy. Okay, guys, like I said, I want a center back to replace this guy, Onin, who is the captain of the squad right now. But um, this is the formation we're running. We're going to convert Joe Bellingham to a center forward. I want him to be the focal point of this team. I think it's only fair, man, uh, that he has the highest potential on this team, I'm pretty sure. We've got a great left mid right now, guys. We are converting him to a left winger. He's got really good shooting, good pace. I don't want to get a left winger right now. Uh, maybe in season two when we have a lot of money. We can get a really good guy like Illing Jr., Nora. That'd be amazing. Uh, leading versus West Ham as a League 2 team. Let's go, Mateus. I want you to win the Carabao Cup or the FA Cup in season number one. That'd be amazing. Uh, Roberts on the right side. If we have enough money, we can sign a right, a right mid. Uh, maybe Ross Barkley for the midfield. We do need a DM, guys. We do need a DM. So recommend some DMs. Kobe Minu would be perfect. Oh, he would be perfect. Imagine Minu and Joe Bellingham on the same team. Mainu and Joe Bellingham on the same freaking team would go crazy. Okay, you guys are onto something here. He's only worth 5 million. We might be onto something here. We might actually be cooking something up. Maybe the best partnership of all time. Joe Bellingham and Kobe Mainu, the best partnership ever. Oh my god. I'm gonna do this career mode as well. Okay, Yarmaluk Mudrik. I love it, bro. I love it. Let me know how it's going. Everybody keep me updated. Love Hatewell is on, is in the chat, bro. Love Hatewell, welcome to the building. Hey! Welcome to the live stream. Please, guys, hit that like button. Let's get this out in the algorithm. This is gonna be an awesome electric Saturday rebuild, guys. You guys know I don't usually stream on Saturdays, uh, but today I am. I'm feeling a little bit, I'm feeling a little bit juiced up today. I talked about yesterday, and I'm feeling juiced up. I had a freeze as well, so maybe, uh, maybe that's what's getting to me right, right now, but I'm feeling pumped up, guys. Okay, we need a center back first. If we only have 8 million in the bank right now, let's sell some players before we sign anybody. Okay, we got a Huggins transfer offer, 2.6 million. We're gonna accept it from a Danish team, I think that is. A team from Denmark. Is it Magitland? No, Kerimarut. No, wait, that might be Turkish. I don't even know. Waterburger. Yes, Nora, I used to have Waterburger. I haven't had Waterburger in years, like two years, three years since I left Texas. I used to live in Texas, I went to college there. Um, but yeah, I haven't had Whataburger in a long time. Those honey butter chicken biscuit sandwiches used to go crazy, bro. <laughs> nah, bro, the honey but butter chicken biscuit sandwiches. If you don't know Whataburger, guys, and if you go to Whataburger but you never get that, you're missing out. All right, Kelly offer here. We are going to sell this young player as well, and hopefully we'll have around 10 million in the bank soon, guys. We can't, we don't have a lot of money. Remember, we don't have a ton of money. Uh, sell loan offer, we're going to accept this. Hume, oh my God. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna ask you guys. Who should we sell? I think we should sell one of these players. Hume or Pembele? We don't need both of them. We don't need both of them. Who should I sell? I'm gonna ask the chat right now, and I'm gonna put up a poll. Okay, I definitely uh, did not type this correctly. Who should I sell? Pembele or Hume? Who do you guys not want me to keep? Pembele or Hume? Who do you not want me to keep? Let me know. Let me know in the chat, guys, please. 
I need your help right now. Let me read some chat here. Diallo really cheap and realistic as you played for Sunderland on loan last season. So maybe we can make that a permanent deal, Rick said. It's, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Thank you for the explanation too. That actually, that clears things up. If anyone was like, nah, Diallo's not realistic. He actually is realistic. He was on loan there. I remember that now. That makes sense. Fermi Lopez, Fermi Lopez. Oh, let me vote too. I forgot to vote. Um, please get Whataburger for me. <laughs> for Stoke. Wait, is that actually a person? Water burger? I thought you were talking about the fast food chain. Water burger. Water burger. There's actually a guy named Water Burger. Water burger. That's crazy. Okay, you guys have spoken, and it looks like not everyone has voted yet. Uh, but it looks like you guys want me to sell Hume. That sucks because I wanted to keep Hume. I'm not gonna lie. He's got really good potential. But you guys have spoken. Let's go ahead and sell Pembele. J Dub wants to be captain now. Says Alex. Oh my God. I need the Max Wien. Um, he J Dub was captain already in previous uh, uh, Sporting Juniors videos and uh, seasons. So I I'm not sure. I'll, I'll talk to him about it. Um, guys, we are going to change captains for this second season. I'm gonna I'm gonna try out some other captains. Alex, I think you're doing a great job. You're staying as the assistant manager, so that is uh, still gonna be your title. We're gonna ask for eight million here for Hume. I think we under appreciated him man we undersold him we could have gotten like 10 million i think oh my god that is shocking but i think it's smart to sell one of these right backs we don't need both of them 2-1 to west ham no mateus bro yes wilder burger from stoke wow Nora, i had no idea bro i had no idea that was a real guy uh all right let's look up diallo real quick guys joe oh my god my bad guys show screen my bad my fact, do you guys like the top or the bottom look better? Let me know. Do you guys like the top and the bottom look better? And by the way, um, thank you, Alex, for uh, reminding me. <laughs> if I do something like that, guys, remind me in the chat. Um, and I forgot that the EFL Championship starts really soon. Uh, Hume is not gone yet. I want Hume to leave. I want him to leave before we sign anybody, but let me look up some players that you guys have recommended, like Diallo. 3-1 uh, full-time. That's, that's a rough one. I'm not going to lie. Mateus, um, but you tried your best, bro. You tried your best. Ama Diallo, right winger, 21 years of age. I would like to sign a new right winger. The right winger we have now doesn't have a ton of potential. And Ama Diallo makes a lot of sense. He's actually pretty cheap. Maybe we can get him on a loan to buy right now. Is he English? Is Ama Diallo English? Let me look up on look him up in the transfer hub here. Um, because we do have to sign an English player. No, he's from the Ivory Coast. Uh wah, wah, wah. we tried. Uh not quite, but it's okay. Um I would like to sign Diallo on a loan deal. He's, they're not interested in loading him out. Why is Manchester United always the death of me, bro? It's always my boy, Eric Ten Hag. He's not my boy. I wish Eric Ten Hag would be fired, but whatever. It is what it is. Mahila. You want me to sign Mahila? We used him in the Parma rebuild, though. It's a 50-50 poll. No way. Was it really? Oh, my God. What if you guys voted at the last second and I didn't see it? Well, we already sold Hume. Um, let's sim a couple of days here. We're going to quick sim this first match. We are going to play Job Bellingham as the center forward, guys. Let's see how this team does with this roster. We're going to lose 3-2 to Hercules. Oh, wait, no, it's a preseason match. Okay, Clark. Like I said, guys, Clark on the left wing is going to be a big baller for us, man. Like the big baller band. Triple Bs, baby. Lonzo, Lavar. No, sorry. Lonzo, Lamelo, and Liangelo. If you guys don't know what Triple Bs is, um, I would recommend not buying their shoe. <laughs> I think they had a recall on their shoes because they kept breaking. Uh, good day, mate. Dean is in the building. Good day, bro. Good day to Australia. Dean, thank you for joining, my boy. J-Dub. Um, did J-Dub say he wants to be captain? Yes or no? He said that Nora should be captain. Um, and Hume is officially gone, guys. That's rough. I'm not going to lie. Mahila, hey, J-Dub. No way. Norway versus Forest Green Rovers. Forest Green Rovers, guys. Forest Green just played Wrexham today. Um, and Wrexham won 6-0. <laughs> I actually did like Forest Green a couple of seasons ago. They were hot in League 2. They were really good. They got promoted to League 1. Then everything went downhill, man. Everything went downhill. Uh, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. If you guys don't know, Forest Green Rovers prides themselves on, like, being green. Even their stadium that they were planning to build, I don't know if they ever built it. Maybe you guys can confirm that in the chat. Um, but the stadium they were planning to build was going to be made of entirely refertilized wood. <laughs> so basically, wood that was recycled and that could last for a long time, just as long as steel, perhaps longer. Very interesting um, stuff, but whatever. All right, now that Hume is gone, guys, we have 18 million in the bank, and now I'm going to put up a poll of all the center backs you guys have recommended. Todibo's going to be too expensive. 
Kwanzaa is possible. Berardo just moved and won't be able to join right now. That's unfortunate. Spilliers is also really good. 18 years of age. He's got good pace, good defending. Kwanzaa is on here as well. Heizo is on here as well. We have enough money for Heizo. We have enough money to, for Alderwild. Um, Lenny Yoro, we have enough money for. I think he's a little bit expensive. Kretschy's a little bit too expensive as well. We also have Leon King here, guys. Okay, I'm going to make the executive decision. Heizo, Spilliers. Which center back, guys? Which? I need your help. Which? These are all the players um, that you guys recommended. And thank you very much. Which center back should we sign? Which center back should we sign? Spilliers. Heizo, who is left-footed. Um, I think having a left-footed center back would be really good. Lenny Yoro is going to be kind of expensive, and we won't have a lot of money to sign like Kobe Minu or something. Um, but if you guys really want Lenny Yoro, we can make it happen. Who else do we have here? Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa was the fourth one, guys. Out of these four options, who should we sign? Please let me know by voting on the poll. I need you guys' help right now. I need your help right now. I need the max win. <sighs> Anita what a stream. What a stream so far, guys. We've had a lot of people watch the stream already. Thank you guys so much. Happy Saturday. You could be doing anything else right now. But you guys are watching me. Rebuild Sunderland. My personal favorite championship team. If you guys didn't know that about me. Hey, J-Dub. Uh, J-Dub is... Someone give me a good left back, please. Hey, I'm signing Kirkes. I'm signing Kirkes at some point, so don't do Kirkes. Uh, how about... Ooh, how about... Juan Miranda. How about Juan Miranda? I think he's pretty cheap in the game. That could be a good one. Um, yeah, that, that that's my recommendation to you, J-Dub. Juan Miranda. Jome also converting. Jome to a center forward. Let's go. I, I think it's a good idea. I think it's going to work out wonders, man. All right, let's see who's winning this vote right now. It's close. It's tied between Spilliers and Haito. Antonio Nusa, J-Dub. Okay. Um, Otter Wild says Sajid. We could sign Otter Wild. Um, it looks like everybody has voted already, and it's dead even right now. Yoro got 18%, Quanta got 25%. Oh my god, Quanta's right up there, and Haito is up there now. 33% to Haito. I'm gonna end the poll right there, guys. Oh my god, now it's 31%. Oh Jesus, somebody else voted. Guys, thank you for joining the chat, guys. Please, if you can, spare a second to hit that like button. What are we at right now? We are currently at 7 likes, guys. Please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it, man. Haito is now winning 36% of the vote. Thank you all for voting. Rando is in the building. What's up, Rando? Thank you for joining, my boy. Absolute dubs. Happy Saturday, Rando. I hope you're having a good day, man. Um, no school. No school today. And by the way, guys, do you guys like me up here at the top of the screen? Or do you like me on the, at the bottom of the screen? Let me know. I'm kind of digging the top of the screen right now. I think it looks good. Because uh, I'm kind of looking down straight at what you guys are looking at on the screen. I think it makes sense. Um, so, yeah. Do you guys like the top or the bottom? Let me know. And you guys have spoken. Heizo is going to be our next center back in the squad. I think that is the perfect option, guys. Um, and if we didn't sign your player that you recommended, don't worry because we are going to be signing a lot of players in this rebuild. I think Heizo is perfect because he's not too expensive. He's also left-footed, and he can fit next to our young 19-year-old 73-rated center back. I forget his name, um, or else I'd be saying it. And also, Heizo is 17 years of age. He has crazy good potential. Uh, we're going to offer $7 million plus a sell-on clause here for the young superstar. 4% sell-on clause. They want 5%. We're going to remove the sell-on clause. They're going to go up to 8.4%. Man, I kind of messed up right there. I'm not going to lie. And we're going to go up to 7.7%. Um, it looks like Benedict likes the top. I like the top too. Oh, wait. That sounds kind of mad sus, bro. I do like to do the work, though, if you know what I'm talking about. I do like to do the work. Uh, with my significant partner. Um, all right. Eight million. Because I'm kind of a dog, bro. I'm kind of a dog. Roof, 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 roof. If you guys know what I'm talking about, if you know, you know, bro. I'm kind of a dog. So that's why I like the top. Taliba is in the building. What's up, Taliba? Thank you for joining. Three. Let's go. Haito is the first player we are signing. And guys, by the way, I need some English players to sign. Um, I know Kaibi. Kaibi. Kobe Minu is the player you guys want me to sign. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough money to sign him this season. But he would knock off that English player objective. Uh, because every season, one of the objectives that we have is that one of the three sightings we get has to be English. Because it makes sense, since we are controlling an English club. Ain't no way, Joe. Ain't no way. Yes, Alex. You guys are learning something new about me every day. And by the way, please don't leak me. Don't leak me. Um, I was talking to somebody about that yesterday on the stream. Um, and guys, if you... 
aren't familiar with the streams, go check out my Sporting Junior streams, man. It's a club that I have created where I'm the manager and you guys are the players. It's the best road to glory on all of YouTube, I swear to God. It's the most intimate road to glory where you guys really get to say... Uh, what happens to your player and you guys really get to feel part of the channel. That's the whole point of sporting juniors um, And I, I have a, I have a lot of fun with it. Damps is in the building. What's up Damps? We just signed our first player. It was Jarrell Haito. You guys recommended him in so many other rebuilds I think this is the 12th edition of this rebuild series and um, I never signed him except the Ajax one because he was already Ajax But you guys recommended him so many times. I'm finally signing him to a new club. This is amazing, bro. Damps, thank you so much for joining, my boy. Guys, please, if you can, spare a second to hit that like button so we can get this out in the algorithm. I love y'all, man. Happy Saturday, and I hope you guys are happy, healthy, and uh, safe today. All right. Good day, Damps. Good day, Damps. 1-1. One, one. Sign Patino. Patino would be a really good one. Let me look up Kobe Minu right now. Um, I would love to sign a new uh, CDM. I think that's what we need on the squad right now. We just signed a center back that we needed. Oh, my God. We have enough money for Kobe Minu. This could happen. And we can make, oh my god, bro, two Wonder Kids on the same team. Job and Kobe Minu. No, you're actually tripping. You're actually tripping if you give me Kobe Minu this easily. Oh, no, it's going to happen. Okay, let me look up Patino, too. I'm going to let you guys vote. Charlie Patino's also a good young player. I don't think he's on Arsenal anymore. What team is he on? Charlie Patino, he can play DM. He's on Swansea. He's on loan at Swansea. We won't be able to sign him this season. Guys, give me some other defensive midfielders. We need Oxford. Let me look up Oxford. Like, the college, Oxford? You know what, guys? If I ever visit... If I ever visit England, I'm visiting Cambridge, I'm visiting o Oxford, man. I would love to see uh, those uh, colleges. Um, actually, Ox Oxford's a really good player. Andy's English, 6 million, 74 rated. Let me show you the team right now, guys. Let me just show you the team real quick. Lewis Miley would be awesome. Thank you, Rando. Thank you for joining the chat, bro. Um, happy Saturday, bro. Thank you for joining. Lewis Miley... Don't tell George. George, I know you're going to be back. And if he comes back and sees Lewis Miley on our squad, because he's a Newcastle fan, if you didn't know, his name is Newcastle in the chat. If George comes back and sees this, Lewis Miley on Sunderland, he's going to have a heart attack, bro. On God, 70 rated. And he's six foot two. He would be amazing as well. We have some awesome recommendations. Philopatier, of course I remember you, bro. You were on the stream just a couple of days ago. Um, no, yesterday. You were on the stream yesterday. Um, doing the... You did the uh, cahoots with us as well. That was a lot of fun, man. Thank you so much for joining, bro. Thank you so much for coming back. Absolute dubs. Let me look up Varela right now. I really like the uh, the Kobe Minu and Lewis Miley recommendations because both of them are English. Both of them are English, and they would get that out of the way. Yes, Taliba, of course I remember you, bro. Um, awesome. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, CDM, Alan Varela. Let me look him up. 77 rated, guys. Remember, we only have 9 million in the bank right now. Bakayoko, Bakayoko would be awesome. I do want a right winger. And Bakayoko would be sweet to sign. He'd be sweet. Bakayoko, Joan, Bakayoko, 20 years old. Oh my God, he's from PSP. 78 rated, bro. He's insane. His pace is insane. Imagine him with Chavi Simons. You didn't have to imagine it because last year they were on the same freaking team getting goals. By the way, Tillman is an American international on PSV. I think he scored a goal today for PSV. Um, guys, PSV is like the new Ajax. They are, um, they are just collecting this insane amount of young talent, growing them into... Players that they just sell. I, I don't even know what I'm saying, bro. But they're so good at what they do, bro. They're so good at what they do. Okay. Leave that kid. <laughs> okay. Check Max Aaron. Ooh, Max Aaron would be good. Okay, guys. I I'm going to let you vote now. It's between these two. It's between Kobe Minu and it's got to be one of these English players. Uh, Patino's out on loan, which is unfortunate. It's got to be between Lewis Miley and my boy, Kobe Minu. I need you guys to vote in the comment section right now not not in the comment section i'm gonna put up a poll in the comment section and i need you guys to vote on our next defensive midfielder who should we sign as cdm guys please vote i need you guys' help thank you all so much for joining the chat right now please hit that like button if you can uh kobe minu or lewis miley one of these english players is going to be our next superstar defensive midfielder let me know who it should be dang i forgot to get water what the heck
actually think my parents are getting me Dutch Bros. I think my parents said they were getting me Dutch Bros, so um, I'll wait for that. I'll wait for Dutch Bros. Oh, I forgot to vote. Let me vote, guys. Oh, this is tough. I've never used Lewis Miley before, so I voted for him. Kobe Mainu I've used quite a bit. Uh, not too much in this rebuild series, guys. We need one more vote here. It's literally 50-50, bro. What the flip? LOL, Miley to make that Newcastle guy mad. Yeah, honestly, Nora, guys, go Miley just so we can make George mad. Ah, it looks like you guys are saying Kobe Mainu. And by the way, someone let me know how J-Dub is doing. He's doing this, this same rebuild simultaneously. I think that's an awesome, um, an awesome idea. I know Rando did it before. Now J-Dub's doing it today. Okay, a lot of you guys are voting. I don't know how we have 18 votes. We only have 15 people in the viewership right now. I don't know how that's possible, but maybe some bots or something. Maybe someone's using their, uh, their, their other... Oh, Ivan just joined the chat. What's up, Ivan? Ivan, thank you for joining, my boy. Um, maybe, maybe the viewership hasn't uploaded or something updated yet. Anyways, guys, it looks like you have spoken, and Kobe Minu is going to be the next superstar in the team. You know what? Maybe we just sign both of them. Maybe we find a way to sign to sign Miley as well. Um, let's try to loan in Miley. How about that? We'll do a loan to buy for Miley. And uh, he is an English player, so he would count. Uh, but it doesn't matter if we get Kobe Minu in anyways. Uh, Six million for my boy Kobe Minu. Eric Ten Hag, please don't walk out. He accepts this. This. I don't know what Eric Ten Hag is thinking. I don't know what he's doing. He's an idiot in the game. He's an idiot in real life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I'm. You guys know I'm just not a big Eric Ten Hag fan. Um, but it's too bad, man. It's too bad because Manchester United fans deserve better than what they're getting right now. And now they're selling one of their young superstars to a rival, bro. Sunderland. Sunderland and... Uh, Man United used to be pretty big rivals. We're gonna offer 11k a week for Kobe Minu. It's a downgrade in wage, but he's going down a division to the EFL Championship. But now he's really gonna get game time every single day. He's not gonna sit behind Casimiro, not gonna sit behind Ericsson. He's gonna be our superstar defensive midfielder, boss in the midfield. That is exactly what the doctor ordered, guys. And I think I do want to sign Lewis Miley as well. However, we need a right winger, don't we? We need a right winger. Equa, who also is pretty good, is going to come onto the bench here for Bishop. And then Haito, of course, is going to come onto the starting 11. We're going to move one of these left backs, guys. Heidstel, we don't need. And uh, Haito is going to come in. And Ballard, bro. Haito and Ballard next to each other is going to go crazy, bro. Haito, of course, the left-footed center back. And Ballard, the right-footed center back. 117, 123 years of age. We have a center back pairing for the flipping future, bro. For the future. And now we have Joe Bellingham and Kobe Mainu. Boss in the midfield. And uh, Joe Bellingham, we are converting to a center forward, guys. It's going to take two weeks. Uh, but that's going to be a lot of fun. Maybe he's already done, actually. Let me take a look at that. Uh, but this seems going to be so fun. Ben Doak from Liverpool. Oh, my God. That is a great recommendation. I think he's Scottish, right? Ben Doak. Uh, let me also look up Bargi. I think he's Swedish, right? Wow. Unreal. 64 rated. 82 pace, guys. Ben Doak. Super high potential. Love that recommendation. Bargy, thank you guys for spamming. Please, if I don't see your chat, please spam it until I see it. Because uh, I do want to read all of your chats. Bargy looks like a beast, I'm not going to lie. Swedish international, left-footed, only 3.6 million. And he's young. He fits the timeline of Job. He fits the timeline timeline of my boy um, Kobe Mainu as well and Haito. Uh, Somerville from Leeds is a good one as well. I think he is English as well. Uh, Somerville is a good option. Left mid, could he play? Oh, he's expensive. Showing great potential, just moved to PSG. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to make that happen. Sign Lewis Miley. Okay, guys, okay. I think we have enough wingers here. Unless you guys recommend it. Sign Dewsbury Hall from Leicester, says Philopateer. Thank you, Philopateer. Dewsbury Hall. Guys, thank you so much for joining the chat. If you haven't yet, please spare a second to hit that like button. It goes a long way. And if you're not subbed already and you're new to the channel, welcome to Joe Red Sports. I'm Joe Red. And uh, I'm glad to have you here, man. We do this rebuild series. I think this is the 12th rebuild we have done. Somebody correct me. Somebody count for me. It might be the 13th we've done. Uh, but something like that. And uh, we've only won the Champions League one time. I don't even know if we won the Premier League in any of these. Uh, I think we did with Chelsea. I think we won the Prem with Chelsea at one point. But um, we're here to win it with Sunderland. We're here to bring Sunderland back from the grave, man. So welcome to the channel. Um, if you're not familiar with the channel... Check out my recent live streams. I go live about four to five times a week. I don't usually stream on Saturdays, but here we are. We got a lot of people in the squad, in, in the chat right now. J-Dub says, I signed Trevet, English, Bruner, and McCone. Bruner, 
You love Bruner, don't you? But it makes sense. Um, you're a Dortmund fan. Bruner plays for Dortmund. He's your next superstar. Matuweke would be amazing. Imagine we loaned in Matuweke for the Sunderland team. Uh, Matuweke, and he's English. That's pretty cool. We might be able to ma loan in Matuweke, guys. Let okay, if we can loan in Matuweke, we're going to do it. No, they're not interested in loaning him out. And he's a little bit too expensive. And he just moved to the club. We won't be able to sign him. That's unfortunate. By the way, guys, we beat our record yesterday for the most viewers concurrently. Like, peaked. The most peak viewers on a stream, on a Joe Red Sports stream yesterday, uh, YouTube stream. Uh, 23 people, guys, which is a lot for me. You guys might not swing. think that's a lot of people, but I think that's a lot of people, man. So thank, thank you to each and every swing, one of you for, uh, for joining the stream and, and being part of uh, something special, man. I really appreciate all of you. Pablo Berrios. Pablo Berrios, let me look him up. Boom. Boom. This is a new song, huh? Where is he? Pablo Berrios, central midfielder, 76 rated. He's actually kind of nice on Atletico Madrid. He's actually kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. He's kind of nice. Sign Greenwood. Greenwood's on loan right now, so we won't be able to sign him currently, uh, like in this transfer window. But maybe next season. Maybe next season, Rando. Uh, I can't believe he's even back in the game. That is hilarious, but it is what it is. Watermark Hall. Oh, I forgot to look up the guy for Nora. Nora, I'm sorry. I forgot to look him up. Berger from Stoke. Burger, what position does he play? Oh, he's a center back. Oh, no, no, no. It's the DM. Sorry. I'm sorry, Nora. I just remembered. Burger. There he is. Waterburger. I thought he was talking about the fast food food chain, Waterburger. This guy's actually kind of nice. I've never used him before. Uh, Dutch player for Stoke City. Mark Hall. Mark Hall. All right, guys. We have room for one more signing, and I want it to be a winger. Is this a winger? He is. Wanya Marcal is a right winger, 65 rated, Portuguese international, only worth 1.6 million. I've never used him before. I think he'd be awesome. All right, let's go to the right wingers, guys. We have Bard Bardagi that we can afford. Bakayoko, we might be able to loan in. So if you guys want Bakayoko, we might be able to do that. Illing Jr. is left footed, so I think he could work as a right winger, cutting in on his left side. He could work. Who else do we have? Um, okay, so these are gonna be the uh, good, these are gonna be the options that make sense. Bakayoko is too expensive. Diallo, Doak, Bradargi, Illy Jr. I think those are the three options, guys. Joe, should I sit my first season yet? Um, give me one second. Give me one second. We're about to end. We're about to sign our last player. Who should? And then we'll sim at the same time. Who should we sign as our new right winger? I'm gonna put them all up here right now. Guys, thank you so much for helping me out here. Bargi? Bargi? Is it Bargi? I'm not sure how you say it, guys. I'm not sure exactly how you say it um, or spell it <laughs> for that matter. But I'm trying my best here. Bargiji. Bargiji. Bargiji? Bargiji? Maybe the J is silent. Um, I have a J in my name, but it's not silent, even though people think it is when they read it. Uh, but uh, fair enough. Um, Diallo as well. Diallo might be a little bit too expensive, but we might be able to loan him in. Illing Jr., we might be able to loan in as well um, to play as a right winger. And then also Doak. I like Doak a lot because he's Scottish and uh, he's got really good pace. And we're taking from Liverpool. That'd be amazing. All right, guys, please vote in the poll on who our new right winger should be. Uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. I just voted. I'm so thirsty. I'm not going to lie. I'm so thirsty. Rabio's linked to Newcastle, George. Jose Mourinho and Rabio. Rabio's coming off a great season. You guys remember Rabio in the Olympic Day Marseille rebuild? He was literally MVP. Rabio was so effing good, bro. So good. Absolute baller he was, man. Um, let's put some music on. Ben Doax is Philopatier. Vote in the poll. I put up a poll, guys. Please vote. Okay, a lot of you guys are voting for Bardagi. I voted for Diallo personally. Uh, but it looks like Baraki has really good potential, so it makes sense. Doak's up to 31%. Can we get one more vote? Uh, we have 13 viewers, 13 votes. Makes sense. <laughs> Caleb, come on, Caleb. Caleb, I went live just for you, Caleb. Welcome to the chat, bro. Welcome to the Saturday stream. We don't usually stream on Saturdays, but thank you so much for joining today, man. Uh, you wanted me to stream earlier. I saw your comments. You said you were bored and depressed, so I hope everything's okay, man. Um, if you want to talk about it, Message me on Discord or something, and maybe I can give you some uh, words of advice or words of encouragement for not being depressed, bro. So, uh, I know depression's a bitch, and uh, I hope you're uh, all right, man. And that's to all of you, bro. I hope all of you are doing good. 19 votes. It looks like Doak is going to win. Really? Hi, Joe. It's Henry. Henry, what's up, bro? What is up, my guy? 
Henry's in the building. I'm glad you changed your name, by the way. Sign Articular says Sajith. Oh my god, Mavidity Alex would have been good. Oh boy. Oh boy, that would have been good. Uh, trust me, Bardoggy. I wanted to sign Bardoggy, I'm not gonna lie. You know what, guys? For the sake of this first season, I'm gonna pull a... Because I think one of you guys, it might be Rando or something. I think one of you guys are using your, uh... <laughs> we're using your... Um, alternate accounts for that vote. There's no way because we only had 15 people watching. We had 19 votes. It didn't make sense. So I think some of you guys were using that because um, Bardagi was winning. And someone, please let me know. Please let me know. How do you say his actual name? How do you actually say his name? So I am going to pull a. Uh, I'm gonna over. I'm gonna override the vote here. Two point. Oh god, I don't know if we have enough money. Can we make a swap deal happen? We might have to sell somebody too. Dan Neal. What about one of our wingers? I'll give you, I'll give you this Roberts guy. This is the guy we're using Bardagi to replace. So I'll give you Roberts plus 2.4 million. They want 2.7 million plus a 7% sell-on clause. We're kind of in the ballpark. We are kind of in the ballpark here. What about 2.15 million? Please make this happen, ref. Ref, coach, manager, come on. Okay, I'll give you a, a big sell-on clause. How about that? A big sell-on clause for 2.1 mil. I need enough money to, to pay his wages. Okay, we're lowering it. We are negotiating like masters. We're gonna get this done, man. 2.1, 2.2. I'll make it 2.2, I'll sweeten the pot. Plus 10%. No, bro, what the freak? Him is in the building, what's up, him? Thank you for joining, my boy. I need the max win. Yes, sir. Can you make me soon, Henry? Yes. We're not doing Sporting swing. Juniors today, but on Monday, your player will be in the squad, I promise you, okay? Um, and I do it behind the scenes. I don't do, I don't make all the players on stream. I, I do it behind the scenes, so I'm not sure if that's what you're asking for. Yo, damn, so you, you fired up for Champions League this week? Yep, Champions League gonna be lit this week. Baragi, that's how you... Barji, Barji, that's how you say it. Alex, thank you, bro. Barji, that's how you say it. Guys, thank you so much, man. I appreciate all of you for, uh, for letting me know. You learn something new every day, man. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna make this happen, guys. I'm not gonna lie. So we'll sell somebody, and then we'll come back. No, we don't need a striker anymore since uh, Joe Belling is technically our striker. What about a fullback? We have too many left backs, so I'm gonna give you Hydeshdi. Please take him. I don't want him. Um, he's not good enough for me. Sounds like I'm dating him or something. But uh, no. Nah. Uh, new transfer offer here. We're gonna go 2.1 again. We're back to the basics here, and then we're gonna give edit the sell-on clause again. 15% max offer, bro. 2.8 million. What is wrong with this guy? We gotta give him something to think about, I guess. Something to think about. 2.4 million. Selling clause of 15%. What do you say? God, they, why are they going up? Okay, we're going to end the, the negotiation, guys. We're going to sell one of our left backs. And I, I'm thinking we're going to put that right winger on the transfer list. And uh, sell one of those wingers. Here we go. Okay, transfer list. So that we can get our boy Bargy in the lineup. And then Roberts. I'm going to add to the transfer list as well. Guys, this team is nice. I, I'm really ecstatic about the prospects of uh, this rebuild here. We got another preseason fixture here. We're going to quick sim it. And uh, we are going to get the 3-1 victory over... Oh, Villarreal B. That's not the actual Villarreal. My bad, bro. <laughs> My bad. Um, but Villarreal B, yeah. Sunderland better than Newcastle. Dang, George, you're going to take that, bro. Real Madrid will win the Champions League, says George. Wow. That second leg against Man City is going to go so hard, man. Uh, so hard, bro. Like, harder than me and your mom. Crazy, bro. I shouldn't have said that. Victor Holke would be nice. And we just won again against Go Ahead Eagles against the, uh, Dutch team? I think they're a Dutch team. Pretty sure. What about Keeper? Oh, I didn't even check the Keeper. I'm not gonna lie. Guys, we only get three signings per season. I'm waiting to sell some players here. Gonna offer for Kelly. We're gonna accept that. Offer for Onin. Nah, I wanna keep him. I wanna keep Onin. Let's sell one of the wingers, man. I want to keep Onin. He's our captain. He's captain of the squad. There it is. There's the Roberts offer. And we are going to accept it. 2.2 million from Anderlecht. Ba, We're going to reject this offer. We're actually going to block offers for Ba. I think he's going to be a good young player. Uh, J-Dub, I'm almost done here. We're almost done. We have our first EFL championship fixture against Coventry City. And we are going to quick sim it. How's the team going to do? We're going to get the 2-2 draw. Neil scored a goal. That's why I didn't want to sell him. And Clark on the left side scores a goal. Um, I hope Joe Bellingham does well as a center forward, man. Sign free agents. Henry, we can't sign any more than three players. And I already got the third player lined up. It's going to be Bargy. It's going to be Bargy. Nor, we're going to sign Rabio. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ooh. Nor's not going to be happy about that because Rabio, I think, is Juventus' literal, literal best center midfielder, midfielder this year. He's their best center mid. 
Okay. Let's see if I can try to get Bargy in now. There he is. All right. Let's approach the buy for Bargy. We have a lot more money in the bank now. We should be able to make this an official deal. Let's offer $3 million for him. We have $2.9 extra. They're going to accept that deal. Thank you, bro. Let's go. High potential player. I think he's left-footed, so he cuts in on his left side. Perfecto. We're going to give him an important squad role. He deserves it. He's now our highest rated right winger, so it makes sense. Five-year deal. No release clause. And uh, we'll give him a pretty hefty increase in wage. 8K a week. What do you say, buddy? He's going to accept that. Thank you, buddy. That's my brother. What's up, brother? Who you got winning, Arsenal or Bayern? Bayern, Caleb, I have... I got Arsenal. I have Arsenal winning it. As much as I would like to say Harry Kane's finally going to win the Champions League this year, I think he's going to bow out in the next leg to Arsenal, unfortunately. Uh, thanks, Joe says Damps. Damps, I got you, my bro. Um, this was your recommendation, and I think it's going to be a perfect signing, guys. Don't be afraid, guys. I mean, don't be afraid. Don't be mad, guys, if I didn't sign the player you wanted me to sign this year. Um, we're going to be signing a lot more players over the next few seasons. I want to make this like a four-season rebuild. We're going to go quicker the next couple of seasons. Um, we're going to make Job an official center forward. He does not grow in rating, but he has a lot of potential. We're going to get a shooting up, of course. Then Neil's going to stay here, center mid, showing great potential. That's awesome. Of course, Kobe Minu's in the building, guys. So we signed three players this season. Kobe Minu, uh, Bargy, and Jarrell Heito. There he is. 73 rated. Wow. What a transfer window for Sunderland. What a transfer window. All wonder kids, man. Sim. All wonder kids. And now it's time to quick sim. Now it's time to quick sim. Um, although, let me go to the team sheet here. How do you guys think we're going to do? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? That's that's the best I can do, man. Sketch. Shout out, Sketch. You know what, guys? Who do you think is funnier? Honestly, I want you guys to vote right now in the poll. No, not the poll. In the chat. Who's funnier, Jinxie or Sketch? I don't think Jinxie's funny at all. I don't watch his streams at all. But Sketch, I think, is actually pretty funny. Just his mannerisms and stuff. It's actually really funny. Uh, but I don't think Jinxie's funny at all. Uh, but what do you guys think? Who do you like better as a streamer? If you watch him. But if you don't watch him, I'm sure you've seen the all of the memes and stuff. So let me know who you guys think. All right. Um, Clark, I want him to get in behind. Uh, cut inside. Uh, getting behind, of course. Aggressive interceptions. Get into the box. Joe Bellingham. Stay central. False nine. I think false nine would be the perfect instruction for this player. Definitely the perfect instruction. Uh, aggressive interceptions. Come back on defense would be cool. Um, stay forward. Free roam. You know what? Getting behind and then cutting side. And then let's make Bargy the official right winger here. Perfecto, perfecto, perfecto. Sajid, Sajid, Sajid. Sajid says himself. He's the best. He's the funniest one. Okay, I got a better squad, says Jade Up. Dang. Bro doing tactics when it's just wing play and moved on. Okay. <laughs> when he just put wing play and moved on. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do it. Instructions real quick. Okay. Just real quick instructions. We need a backup striker on the bench. Bursto is going to do good for us. I'm liking this team, man. I'm really liking this team. We have so many left backs for no reason, really. Um, okay. Balanced attack, aggressive interceptions, overlap, aggressive step up. Yep, play as strikers. I want Heitzel scoring some goals from that right center back position. Step up, aggressive interceptions, sweeper keeper. I don't even know who the keeper is. I didn't. I did not look at the keeper one time in this rebuild yet. Comes for crosses. Uh, we're gonna tell Styles to join the attack since he is a left wing back. Then I want him to have mixed attack, uh, normal interceptions, and then stick to position. Neil, I want to cover the wing since Styles is going to be going wide. Yeah, cover the wing. Balanced attack. Cool. Mainu, balanced attack. And uh, deep line playmakers, definitely. And then Ayuchichi, get forward, get into the box. Use our cam. Aggressive interceptions. Cover the center. Free run. Cool, guys. That's the squad. I'm liking it. Let's see how we do for season number one. Patterson is our goalkeeper. How old is Patterson? Oh, you know what? I did look at him. 23 years of age, man. We have so many good young talents on this team. I'm liking it, man. I'm liking this team. Guys, thank you so much for your recommendations. Let's go ahead and go to the calendar and just start quick simming away. What position? Are we going to get automatic promotion this season, guys? What do you think? We're going to sim until January. Here we go. What do you guys think? 2-0 victory against Norwich. I'm sorry, J-Dub. J-Dubs, go ahead and start simming, my guy. Barca, $200 million in debt. Yeah, for real. Don't tell Sajid that. Shh. He's going to be mad. Um, let me move to the top of the screen here. There we go. 
Oh, we lost to Southampton, lost to Watford, lost to Huddersfield. That's three losses in a row, guys. I don't think we're scoring enough goals, honestly. Wow. Okay, if we don't get promoted this season, and if Jove doesn't have more than 10 goals, we're signing a striker. This is not good. We're losing every single match. This is not good. Hell no, says Nora. Okay, so we're not getting promoted. That's rough. I'm not going to lie. That's rough. I'm not going to lie. Okay, we do beat Cardiff. I'll take that. Joel won the Champions League with a Milan. And can you please do a tournament later? Maybe, Henry. We might do a tournament later. I want to keep the stream under three hours. We're going to try and go a little bit quicker here. Just be West Brom. I'll take that, bro. Premier League perennial team. They're usually in the Premier League. West Brom is. Just lost the leads. That's unfortunately. Just be QPR. Beat Sheffield. Beat Ipswich. Now we're starting to pick it up, guys. Remember, there's a lot of matches in the EFL Championship. Like 46 every single season. Ballard got injured. That's why. How long is Ballard out for? How long is he out for? That's the problem. It's okay. One of our... That's why we kept... Uh... That's why we kept Neen. Broken collarbone? What was he doing? Giving some head? I'm just kidding, bro. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. Uh, bro was giving head, though. For real. Heights was up to a 75. That's good. Pabelli's up to a 72. I hope he's doing good. Mine was not doing too great with his development. Um, I don't know why he is stunted, but let's get his weak foot up. Uh, stats. Halfway through the season. Clark's up to 10 goals. It's Joe Bellingham. That's the problem. He's not a center forward. Even though he's grown three overalls already, he's not scoring enough. Let's change his instruction. Neil's got five goals. bardkey has got nine goals on the right side. And Clark, like I said, that's the reason I didn't want to get rid of Clark. He's actually so nice, bro. He's so nice. All right. Let's change Job's thing here. Let's tell him to... Hmm. Let's tell him to get in behind. Actually, target player. Balanced width. Target player, balanced width. Let's change his... His instruction and hopefully that uh, changes his uh, output. All right, let's sim until the end of the season, boys. I think my parents might be home with my Dutch bros, so I'm going to be right back. Guys, let me know how we do. And I want you guys... If the season ends before I get back, I want you guys to let me know in the chat how you think we did. Where did we finish in the prem? Okay. All right, I'm back. Here we go. Shout out to my parents for getting me Dutch Bros. Thank you. It's hot in here, bro. It's hot outside, too. All right. Henry says you want a final? There's no way, bro. There's no way I actually want a final. What final would that be? Carabao Cup? Possibly. FA Cup? Yeah, I guess we could have won the FA Cup. Here we go. It's time. Uh, fourth place says Damps. That's his recommendation. I have PS4, too, bro. I never had a PS4. Actually, I did for like a week and then I returned it because all I wanted to play was MLB The Show and MLB The Show was only at the time on PlayStation. It was a Sony game, but now it's on Xbox, which is cool. But you won the World Cup, Sajid. Yes, sir. Imagine a PSG versus Arsenal final. That would actually be really fun. I like that final. I'm 100% sure that Barca will beat PSG in the smallest club in Europe. <laughs> Atleti gonna pump Dortmund Trust. Crazy. Don't tell, don't tell my boy J Dub that. Alright, let's take a look at how we did in season number one, boys. Thank you for your predictions. Oh, we were in a cup game. Oh. Okay, so we got top six. So that means we didn't get automatic promotion, but we are in the promotion playoff. 
That is so much better than how we started the season, guys. At the beginning of the season, we lost four straight games. We ended 23 wins, 11 draws, 12 losses, 80 goals for. That's one of the most in the entire league. Third most in the entire league. 59 goals against, so we had a pretty bad defense. That's not good. Uh, but our, our player did get hurt. Our center back did get hurt. 21 goal differential. That is amazing, guys. I love to see that. Um, oh, wait. Who's getting relegated? I wonder who's getting relegated. Uh, Sheffield, Birmingham City, and Plymouth Argyle. FA Cup, guys. Uh, go. No, we won the FA Cup. Team. Team, let's go. Unreal. We already have a, we already have a trophy in the cabinet. You ain't doing, doing that, J-Dub. J-Dub is not doing that, bro. There's no way. Unreal, guys. Add Dubs in the chat. Hit, hit W in the chat, please. Somebody W in the chat, bro. That's insane. Alex, I thought you were pulling my chain, bro. I thought you were yanking my hairs. That is, it was against Norwich, against J-Dub's favorite championship team. I'm sorry, J-Dub. Joe is using sliders, chat. I ended ninth with zero. No way, bro. J-Dub, I think Damps was right, bro. Bardog, Bargy was actually him. We'll take a look at stats in a second. But no, that's crazy, bro. I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. I'm on top of the world right now. Joe, I can let you decide. I got an offer for Sunderland. Should I join them or stay? Now, stay, stay with your League 2 team. Make it a road to glory. Make it a road to glory. Right? That's what you're talking about, right? Joe, can you do Samuel Lino on your shortlist for Atletico Real Madrid? Yes. Yeah, that'd be sick. Samuel Lino would be sick. All right, let's take a look at the Carabao Cup. Imagine we won the double. Oh, my God. It's Newcastle. Literally Newcastle and Sunderland. We are already hyping up the rivalry. I hope we got promoted this season, man. Championship playoffs. Here it is. Did we get promoted? No, we didn't get promoted. That sucks. We lost to Southampton, so we're not going to be in the Premier League next... Wait. We're not going to be in the Premier League next season, but we will be in the Europa League. That's insane. Because we won the FA Cup, and the winner of the FA Cup goes to the Europa League. Team! You know what? I will take it, guys. I, I will take it. I'll oh take it. We're going God. to the Europa League, baby, before we go to the Premier League. That's insane. Check Prem. I'll check Prem. Um, Champions League goes to... Oh, City versus Napoli is a fun one. Europa League's going to go to Liverpool over Dortmund. I'm sorry, Shay. Man, he's just having a bad day, isn't he? Uh, Villa beat Fenerbahce. European Championship is this year as well. Bro, we're going to play Europa League <laughs> as a championship team. Isn't that crazy? That's sick. Uh, we lost to Southampton at least. Oh, I know, bro. For real, Southampton's... Bro, that kind of sucks. Guys, thank you for joining me today. That was an amazing first season. And just about swing. at one hour. So we're way ahead of where we were in the Chelsea rebuild. I think... It took two hours to get through the first season, so we're definitely flying by right now. Let's take a look at the squad and how we grew and how many goals we scored. It looks like Clark, like I said, guys, I was not going to replace him. He grew four overalls to a 79 this season, and uh, he became him. 30 goals and seven assists for the left winger. Oh, I never converted him, did I? He's an 82 once I convert him, bro. Oh, my God. No, nah, bro. This is crazy. Okay, let's give him a new plan. This guy's actually him. He's so good. He's so good. Jack Clark is him. Bargy, Bargy 16 goals and 3 assists. Joe Bellingham definitely picked it up. And he grew 6 overalls this season. 2 of 72. 13 goals and 3 assists for him. Neil from the midfield was El Capitano. Good young center mid. Uh, paired up with, with uh, Kobe Minu, who had 2 had two goals and 6 assists. Pretty good from him. Pembele, I'm glad we kept him. He grew 4 overalls. He's got high potential. 2 goals and 4 assists. Uh, Matit, Mat my teat, my tit, is that what it is? My tit. Um, he grew through three overalls, four goals and five assists off the bench. Good squad player to have. Onin, good squad player to have. That's why we kept him in. El Capitano off the bench. Rusin, five goals, six goals and seven assists for the left wing back from Hungary. I think we have to make this a permanent deal by the end of the season. He's only 24 years old. Or we go for his Hungarian teammate or counterpart, his Hungarian counterpart. Milos Kerkes, who actually played for AC Milan. He plays for Bournemouth in real life. If we have enough money to sign him, I think we sign him this season. Because I want to maybe win the Europa League next season. Imagine we, re imagine we reach the Champions League in Season 3. That'd be amazing, bro. That'd be awesome. Joe Samuel, Lino, Lino, Lino. Check Prem, check Prem. Want me to keep up with your career mode? Yes. Keep you up with your my career mode? Yes. Mateus, let me, uh, let me know what's going on. Unfortunately, J-Dub is not winning this challenge at the moment. He got ninth place in the championship um i didn't get promoted either so we're still gonna be in the same league technically um no trophies for j-dub so right now i'm winning this career mode battle which is cool man this is a career mode battle that's sick i love this 
Uh, okay, cool. Uh, Sirkin off the bench, two goals. Mine two goals and six assists. Grew to a 76. Let's change his development plan real quick. Uh, I'm not gonna do... I'm not gonna change everybody's development plan, but just the young guys that I think could really uh, grow and uh, become a superstar someday, just like Joe Bellingham. Haito as well got no goals and one assist. Ayuchichi got no goals. I don't know how that's possible. Bro is a young superstar. He only played 10 matches. That's why. Because we don't play a central attacking midfielder. Okay, well, let's convert him to a center mid. Can we do that? 55 weeks, bro? Really? He's more of a winger, isn't he? He's more of a winger. Oh, boy. You know what? Maybe we sell him. Maybe we sell him. Let's add him to the transfer list, guys. He is worth 3.6 million. He's not worth that much, is he? We're not going to get that much money for him. Okay, maybe we just change that position to a KM. Anyways, guys, let's end the first season here. I want to see who won the Champions League, and I will check the Premier League here in a second, guys. Got some youth players unsettled. I'm not worried about the Youth Academy right now. Anita Max win. Anita Max win. And it looks like Man City won the Champions League because I see Erling Holland uh, holding up the trophy right there. Uh, that's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and take a look around the uh, docket. Who won the Premier League? It's going to be... Liverpool, Mateus, your team has won it, my boy. Uh, good for you, bro. Team! Good for you. Um, that's pretty awesome. Liverpool wins the, wins the Premier League. City in second. Man, they won by 13 points. Aston Villa in third. Newcastle fourth. Man, we are really setting up the rivalry in the Premier League with Newcastle, man. We're going to revamp that rivalry. That's the goal of today, man. Arsenal fifth. Spurs sixth. West Ham seventh. Man United eighth. Chelsea ninth. Banter clubs down there. Everton twelfth. Uh, getting relegated, so they're going to be facing us next season. Luton Town, Burnley, and Sheffield. I'm not really afraid of any of them. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I think we'll be fine against all of them. Uh, League 1. League 1 goes to PSG. Only by one point over Monaco. Bundesliga is going to go to Leipzig over Bayern. Wow. Bayern can't even catch a dub in a sim, in career mode. They can't even catch a dub. Juventus. Shout out, Nora, bro. I got you. Juventus wins the Serie A. That's pretty awesome. Eredivisie goes to... Feyenoord over Ajax. Not really shocking there. Feyenoord's good. But PSV, I thought, would do better. And then, uh, let's take a look at the Saudi League. Al Nasser wins. Good job from Ronaldo. Maybe we sign Ronaldo next season. That'd be kind of cool. Celtic gets first in the clinch premiership. And then, of course, in La Liga is going to be Real Madrid over Atletico Madrid. 90 points. Awesome stuff, guys. Cool. All right, guys. Recommend your players. Recommend the players we should sign. We need a, we need a left back. If we don't make the, the Styles deal permanent, we need a left back. Personally, I would like to sign... But that's, the, that's the wrong Lino. Um, I would like to sign Kirkus. You guys recommended him earlier. I would like to sign him, sign him right now. Uh, where is he? Samuel Lino, 24 years old, left mid. Can he play left back? I'm not sure. Antonio Nusa, Neuer, Dimitrivsky says Dips. How's our goalkeeper doing, by the way? 77 rated. Okay, we're going to stick with our goalkeeper this season. Uh, we definitely picked it up late in the season. Um... By the way, Clark was third. Oh, no, he tied first for the Golden Boots. So Clark won the Golden Boots with Wright and Sargent. Josh Sargent. Maybe we sign Sargent. That'd be cool. Top assist is going to go to Sargent as well. Very interesting. Clean sheet leaders. Uh, Patterson was in sixth. He had 11 clean sheets. That's pretty good, man. Um, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Madsen. Ian Madsen as a left back would be good. Okay, don't tell... <laughs> Don't tell Shay that. Don't tell J-Dub that because he is a Dortmund fan and Matson is on Dortmund right now. I don't know if you like Matson. I think he had a bad showing in that Atletico match. Um, he didn't really have a good game. Uh, but he's still a decent player. Um, give him some time. He he's a good player. Maybe we can sign him today. 79 rated on Dortmund. He might be a little bit too expensive. Let me look up Kirkes. Kirkes is who I, who I would like to sign. Guys, by the way, please, if you can, spare a second to hit that like button. It goes a long way. It gets this out in the algorithm. We need more people watching the streams, man. Uh, but each one of you guys, I'm so happy that you guys watch the streams and you follow along and you, you chat. You guys are the best chat. Oh, God. The best chat. And uh, I, I do my best to, to read chat as well. Grimaldo's going to be so expensive. Luke Shaw is going to be really expensive, too. What do you guys think the budget's going to be? I want to see predictions right now. We're ending the season right now, and I want to hear predictions on our budget. How much is the budget going to be, guys? I'm thinking around 30... Since we won the FA Cup, I'm thinking 30 million because we're going to be in the Europa League. We went pretty far in the championship. I'm going to say 30 million is going to be our budget. We started with 10 million, season number one. Mm. Nah, 30 million is too much. I, I think, you know what, Sajid, I think you're right. 23 million sounds a little bit more accurate. We do have a player leaving right now. Who is this? 
Who is that? I have no idea who that was, but let's take a look. Let's sim one day. Just real quick, let's sim a day. Mateus says 35. I think that might be a little bit too expensive. Too much, because we're not in the Premier League yet. 21 million. Sajith was pretty much spot on with that. So, Sajith, W you, bro. W Sajith. That's my guy right there. 21 million. Just about spot on. Uh, Trufer from Ranch. Yes, Trufer. Yes, he's pretty good, too. Remember, we have to sign an English player. Uh, J-Dub, let me know who you're signing, by the way. Let me know who you're going to sign. Why can't I go to the transfer? Here okay, we go. Tweefert? 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 Is that how you say his name? Trufer. Adrian Trufert. Uh, the French international. 21 million, guys. Um, I do think we're going to have to sell some players if we want to sign a really top-notch left back. Let me look at the other positions we need to address first. I want to stick with our goalkeeper that we have now on the squad. Okay. Let's also negotiate some new contracts here. Bass is our backup goalkeeper. Let's give him a contract. Uh, Embleton, let's give him a contract as well. Good squad player to have. Diamond, squad player to have. Two years. Onin, he scored quite a few goals last season. Uh, backup center back, he's good. Crompton's pretty good. We'll keep him on the squad. Cool. All right, love that. All right, who should we sell? Who should we sign? Keep, sorry, sell or keep. Um, three goalkeepers. We don't need... Actually, we don't need Bass. I'm going to add Bass to the transfer list. We're going to keep Bishop. We're going to keep Patterson, okay? We don't need three center backs on the team. High Jones is transfer listed. Hopefully, we'll get two million for him. Crompton, we'll just keep him because why not? Onin, keep. Ballard, keep. Silt, showing great potential. This guy's also... Oh, Australian player. Triantis. I don't know who this is. We're going to keep him as well. Um, cool. We're going to add Silt to the transfer hub. Two million we could get for him. That's good. Anderson will just keep. Why not? Equa will keep. My new keep. Diamond and Mundle. We're going to sell Diamond. Don't need him. Mundle keep. Matete. My tit keep. 3-0 uh, Mateus. Let's go. Mateus getting dubs, bro. Uh, Caleb says first Juve, second Inter Milan, third Roma, fourth Napoli, fifth Fiorentina, sixth Lazio, seventh AC Milan. What is that for, Caleb? Caleb, what was that for? Caleb, what is that for? Is that... Is that who won the, uh... The Serie A? Was that the Serie A standings? In, uh, our save last season? Is that what that was? Um, okay, we're gonna loan out this guy, Kelly. Okay, he's transfer listed. We're gonna loan him out. Because he won't leave, apparently. Serie A table. That was the Serie A table? Okay, bet. If Drabio joins Newcastle, the new trio... Yeah, bro, Bruno Guimaraes, Rabio, Tonali... <laughs> I guess if he comes back, that's gonna be the trio trio. We got the long staff guys brothers That could be good. We got ball. We're gonna keep him. He's our backup winger um, ooh, We do need a striker don't we Royston's pretty good English We're gonna sell men Mineto and sell Semedo. We don't need that many strikers man Especially since Joe Bellingham is an exciting prospect even as a center forward. That's amazing. Can we make him a striker? 38 weeks to be a striker his shooting has gone way up. I think that's why he wasn't scoring very many, very many goals earlier in the season. But he definitely picked it up as his shooting got better. Kelly transfer offer. We're going to accept this. Hopefully he leaves. Juve versus Newcastle would be a banging match. Giorgis, bro. Oh my god. He's going to be too expensive though. I would love to sign Giorgis. That's a player that AC Milan is looking at in real life. Of course, the sporting CP player. 48 million. We don't have that kind of budget right now. Um, but we are going to be selling some players, guys. Oh, Noah Okafor would be sick. Okay, it's Kola Moani. I don't know if I want to sell, sign a striker yet, guys. I, I think we might give Job one more season as a, as a center forward. We might give him one more season as a center forward. Um, another Hedgedale offer. Hellelged offer. Lecce this time, the Norwegian player. Maybe going to Lecce. Juventus will bottle the league, says George. They already bottled it this, this year. I'm not going to lie, because they had second place locked up for like most of the season. Now AC Milan has jumped them and is like five points ahead of them, so... It kind of bottled already. Fermin Lopez says Sajid. Okay. Joe, I just finished 10th. Alex, I'm not going to lie. That's not very good. So it looks like I've done the best out of Alex, J-Dub, and myself. I have done the best so far. But it's kind of a cheat code because I have all of you guys to thank. Because all of you guys are helping me out. So kind of kind of a cheat code, I guess. I, I'm kind of at, at an advantage with that. Uh, Kelly transfer offer. We're going to delegate. Uh, Bass transfer offer. We're going to delegate this one as well. 
get as much money for the goalkeeper as possible shamrock rovers better than any team i do like shamrock by the way shamrock is actually no finn harps that is my favorite uh irish team electricity league team uh, we're gonna delegate this offer as well bass we're going to accept this austin fc i used to live not too far from austin fc um austin one of the newest clubs in the entire mls uh matthew mcconaughey is actually the uh, part owner of austin fc little trivia right there if you guys didn't know that uh jogheta is better says sajit jogheta is sajit's new favorite irish team for fair reason man we sent him his player there on loan during the spanish sporting juniors and he grew like 13 ratings in one season at Drogheda. Sajith did. On loan there. It was, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. How much does UCL... How much UCL does Newcastle have? That's crazy. Nah, Norris throwing hella shots, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Norris throwing shade. You guys are going crazy in the chat. I love it, though. I love it. Let's sell some players, man. Hopefully Bass ends up leaving here. I think this is Bass. No, it's Caden Kelly out to FC Odyssey. FC Assey. FC Assey. Cool name. 6 0 to me away versus Colchester full time. Mateus, his last two games, he's won 3 0 and 6 0. Dude, that's crazy. I agree with Caleb, though. Shamrock better than any team, bro. Go Shamrock. Bro, one day, I think I could play for one of the Irish teams. I'm not going to lie, I think I'm good enough. I, I, I need to take videos of myself playing. And put them on YouTube so you guys can see. I'm actually pretty good, bro. My work rate's crazy because you guys know I was a cross-country winner. I have hella stamina, especially compared to, you know, average Joes. Um, but I, I think I'm, I have more stamina than actual pros do. It's crazy, bro. I'm him. I'm him. I, do you guys think I could play in Ireland? What do you think? Like for, for Cork City. Do you, do you guys think I could play left back for Cork City? Or left wing? I don't, I don't know. Whatever, whatever you think. That was halftime. Dang, bro. Mateus is up 6-0 at halftime. That's crazy. Uh, we won our first game 3-0. Rooney with a brace. Who the heck is Rooney? I don't know who Rooney is. Wait, Wayne Rooney? Team! Let's go. Sajid says no. Dang. Thanks for having confidence in me, bro. Uh, put Mujik on your transfer hub. 120k dollar signing Joe Red. That's going to be my signing bonus one day. That'd be amazing. You know, if we get big enough on YouTube, if we hit a million subs one day... I'm going to reach out, even if, even, even if we're just at 100k subs, I'm going to reach out to one of the Irish clubs, and I'm going to ask them for a tryout. I'm going to do it. Okay, that'd be amazing. Okay, we just sold one of our strikers. We had like five on the squad. We didn't need all five. Luis, Luis Semedo is going to be gone. Uh, also, another striker, uh, Elazar Mayendo. Mayendo? Mayendo? It's going to be gone. Ivan is back. Thank you, Ivan, for coming back, bro. I appreciate it, man. We got fifth place in the championship, season number one. We made it to the championship playoff. We got bounced by Southampton, so we're going to be in the championship again. But we did win a trophy, Ivan. We won the FA Cup our first season, so we're going to be in the Europa League next season. Stay tuned, bro. It's going to be lit. Now we're trying to sign some players, but I'm just trying to raise some cash right now, some funds, some extra funds, so that we have uh, enough money to sign the players that we want to sign. Right now in the budget, we have... 28 million in the budget after sell, uh, selling some players. Now let's go ahead and sign a new star left back. But I do want to look up the player we just had. His name was Wright. I don't remember his first name. I think it started with an S. I think it started with an S. Scott Wright? No, it was a left wing back. Right? Wait, was it, wasn't it Wright? Oh, no, it was Styles. Wright Styles. I think his name was Wright Styles. Oh, Callum Styles. What, what am I talking about? I'm thinking about the Wright brothers, bro. Uh, hey, let me know if you guys know who the Wright brothers are. Uh, Callum Styles, he's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Hungarian, a left back, and he's relatively cheap, I'm not gonna lie. So we could bring him back again. That'd be amazing. Diego's in the building, what's up, Diego? Thank you for joining the chat again. You are back, my guy. Love you, bro. Thank you, Diego. Uh, yo, Joe, did you get a notification? But I'm here now. Yeah, I don't know why, but I don't think YouTube is sending out notifications for my streams. I don't get it. Uh, at least the last three streams I've done, I haven't gotten notifications on my phone, so I don't know... If there's some setting messed up or something, mm. let me know. Did did anybody in the chat? Did anybody in the chat get a notification that I was streaming today or yesterday? Let me know. Uh, bro, play Kahoot. There's a new one about you. Let's go, Sachi. I'll play it. I'll play it. I'll play it. I, I can't wait, man. Thank you guys for doing that. Let's go, Ivan. Yes, we're gonna be in the Europa League as a championship team. You never see that, man. Now FA Cup versus Walsall. Mateus, I hope you get that dub, bro. Caleb says, Nora, you have hope. 
when you have Nick Pope, Ca Caleb with the rhymes? Let's go. And by the way, guys, the beginning of Sporting Juniors, you guys know how I do the little intro. I'm going to make a new one um, where I do a chant. It's going to be a chant instead of me talking in the background, um, like all my old tapes and stuff of me yelling on stream and stuff and collabor collabing, I'm collabing, collaborating them. I mean, instead, I'm going to make a chant from now on and make it as the intro. It's going to be cool, man. Um, no, Alex did not get a notification. No notification today or yesterday, Diego. I don't know what's going on. I did most of them. Don't have notifications on. Guys, hit, not hit the notification bell, man. Hit the notification bell. Um, guys, hit, hit the like button real quick so we can get this in the algorithm. We've already had a lot of people watch the stream today. I know it's Saturday, and I didn't <laughs> give you guys much notification that I was going to stream. But um, anyways, we're here today. But let's go ahead and vote on our new left back. We could just bring back Callum Styles, who had six goals and seven assists for us last season. Uh, True Fort's going to be a little bit too expensive. I don't want to spend the whole... I don't, I don't want to blow the whole budget on a left back right now. Kirkes, we might be able to get for like 20 million. Uh, Matson as well, we might be able to get. Can we loan in Matson? We can loan in Matson. Okay, I'm gonna wait to do that though. I'm gonna let you guys vote here. I'm gonna end the negotiation. I'm gonna start a poll. Which left back should we sign? If we loan in Matson, we could do a loan to buy, and we don't have to spend any money on him right now. That could be a thing we do. Uh, Matson. Uh, Callum Styles was the player we had last season. He had six goals and seven assists, and he was really good. Uh, we also had Kirkus. And who was another player? Alioski? Who's Alioski? I'll just put him on here. I don't think I added him to the transfer uh, hub. Uh, guys, vote on the poll. Please vote on the poll. Do a loan to buy. What's Poch going to do here? Sign Kubarsi. Kubarsi would be fun. I'm not going to lie. Uh, center back. He would be good. We could use another center back. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Joe, I think you should DM a soccer slash football player and they will answer, but it needs to be someone not famous. Yeah, uh, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, we should do that. And we should make a video about it. And then I play his career. Yo, that'd be sick. Let me say, I think uh, B4 did something like that in real life, so I'm not going to like... I'm not stealing his thunder or his idea, but like I think he did do something like that in real life For one of his videos a long time ago or something damn. That's a hefty transfer fee. I'm not gonna lie All right 26 million plus 8% that's fine It looks like Matson is actually winning the let me look at my phone Matson and Styles are tied right now guys. We need one more vote Matson or Styles. Oh my god Styles is winning now Oh boy. Okay, well, I'll just sign Styles. I'll end the negotiation here and sign Styles. Guys, thank you for voting. I actually agree with you. Um, even though I voted for Kirkes. <laughs> I still agree with you, though. I still agree with you that we should sign Styles over Matson. It would have just been cool if we didn't spend any money on a left back. But I don't think Matson would be very good on our team. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I really like how Styles did for us last season, so I think we're just gonna sign Styles. And you guys voted on Styles. He won 36% of the vote, guys. Thank you for voting. Am I the only one that voted for Kirkus? I might be. Maybe one of you, one of maybe someone else voted for Kirkus, but um, sign Mudrick. Imagine we sign Mudrick, bro, as a cam or something. Because we're definitely not getting rid of uh, Clark, who's our left winger right now. Okay, we're gonna offer 7.2 million plus a sell-on clause to bring back Callum Styles here. 7.9 plus 5 percent. You know what? I'll accept that. That's fair. 7.9 million for Callum Styles. They're going to accept it. And he's staying with the team. Guys, I would love by the end of four seasons to have at least four players on the squad that were already here before we took over. That'd be amazing. That'd be cool, man. That means we developed players. We didn't just sign players. Um, we didn't just use money. We also developed players, and that'd be cool, man. All right, 26K a week is kind of a lot. I'm not going to lie, but it is what it is. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you so much. This is the third day in a row we've streamed. We don't usually stream on Saturdays. We don't usually stream on Thursdays. So, two times this week, you guys are in for a treat, man. Um, I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow. I do have a Sunday League uh, match tomorrow. That's going to be fun. Maybe I'll get someone to record it or something. Because um, I do want to do, like, a vlog where I put my uh, match footage in, and then also, like, what else I do throughout the day on Sundays. Because Sundays are a pretty exciting day for me. Um, Isaac Newton's son... <laughs> Isaac Newton's son? There is a guy named Newton, I'm pretty sure, in the game. Tonali would be crazy. Okay. 
Guys, I'm not going to count that as a signing since he was already on the team last season. Um, so let's not count that as a signing. Ali Hayes is actually a pretty good left back as well. So maybe we didn't need a left back. But look at this back line now. Pembele 75, Baller 75, Patterson goalkeeper 77, Heito 78, Styles 76. And all of them 24 years or younger in age, bro. And Heito is only 18 years old. And then Mainu right in front of him. 19 years old, 76 rated. Nah, crazy defense, guys. I think we need a new midfielder. Ayuchichi is not good enough. We need a midfielder. Tonali would be amazing, but I think he's too expensive. And I don't even think he's in the game, actually. Let me look him up. I don't think Tonali's in the game anymore because he got taken off for his uh, betting habits because he got suspended. Yeah, Tonali's not even in the game, guys. I need a midfielder. Uh, we need a center mid. Left Davies, Jaden Newton is in the building. What's up, Jaden? I appreciate it, bro. Leaf Davies. Who's Leaf Davies? I don't know, but Jaden, thank you for joining the chat, bro. I appreciate it. Welcome. I have, I don't think I've ever seen you in the chat before. Is this your first time, Jaden? Bubakar Diallo, sign Maka. Okay, let me look up Maka. Maka. Who the heck is Maka? Lepinot would be crazy. Lepinot's a good player. Um, Lepinot. CDM. So maybe Kobe Mainu can, you know, get promoted to a central midfielder. If we do sign Lepinot, and he's actually pretty cheap. That's a really good option right there. French player, I like it. Onion can play midfield. Caleb, Onion can play anywhere. Yeah. That's how talented Onion is. Um, by the way, I'm going to try and give Onion as much more game time this season. I know he was on loan last season in Sporting Juniors, but we're going to try and give him more game time this upcoming season too. Okay. Maka is... Oh, McAllister. Thank you. Thank you, Bubakar. I appreciate it, man. Um, sorry, I'm not a Liverpool fan. I actually despise Liverpool. I hate Liverpool because I'm an AC Milan fan. Uh, but I do like McAllister, and I do like the players on Liverpool. Um, I like a lot of a lot of the players on Liverpool. But McAllister's too expensive for us right now, guys. We only have like 20 million in the bank at the moment. Uh, that'd be amazing, but he's kind of expensive. So maybe in the next few seasons, we'll be able to sign him. Who did Jaden say to sign? Jaden said to sign. So Jaden says, sign a Barca player. I have been a fan of you before your mom played with me when I was six, bro. Now, Sajith is actually crazy, bro. You can always count on Sajith to uh, put some... You know, ridiculous messages in the chat, but I love them. Joe, message every football club and ask to play for them. You know what? Every team in Ireland, maybe I'll do Australia too, because I did get in contact one time with the Wellington Phoenix, which is a team in the Australian A-League, even though they're in New Zealand technically. But the Wellington Phoenix did comment on one of my TikTok videos um, last summer. And we messaged a little bit over DMs on TikTok. Maybe I'll ask him to, to be on their team. Maybe I'll ask to, for a tryout. That'd be amazing, bro. Imagine. Imagine. We already kind of have that that uh, history. So maybe I can do something like that. Um, cool. And it, if you're wondering what video it was on, they met. They first um, commented on a Australian player career mode of... I think the kid's name was Damo. The guy's name was Damo. I played his career on TikTok, you know, when I was doing the TikTok careers and stuff. The player careers on TikTok. So they signed. Uh, it was the uh, I played. What was the name of it? Australia career path. Yeah, Australian career path. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was called. It was. It was cool, man. Sign a uh, sign it. Sign Jiga N. Imagine, bro. Two two for Mateus. Mateus keep getting that dub. Where's J Dub, man? How's J Dub doing? Who's he signing? Joe DM Chattanooga Red Wolves. Ooh, Chattanooga Red Wolves. Is that in Tennessee? Because Chattanooga's in Tennessee. I'm pretty sure. That'd be amazing. But still better, says Caleb. George is mid, no line. That's crazy. Joe, sign George. Sign George. Oh, what about Lewis Miley? I'm sorry, George, but I wanted to sign Lewis Miley last season, and I think he would be amazing. Joe, sign George. Sign George. <laughs> I wish, bro. I wish we signed George from last season, because George was a great midfielder. So, uh, the last Sporting Juniors. Third division. Imagine David Joseph Collins. 89 pace card. Imagine they made a pace card for me one day. Alex Sandro, 3-2 late winner. Let's go. Mateus, 3-2 late winner. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Get that dub. All right, guys, let's sign somebody. We have 19 million in the bank here. Let's go ahead and look at the transfer hub here. What midfielders do we have already transfer hubbed? Because we do need a midfielder. Ayuchichi is not cutting it for us right now. Varela, too expensive. Burger's pretty good. Where's Nora? Nora's here. Nora is here. We could add Burger to the team. CDM slash center mid. I like that he's kind of a box to box mid. Salah, he's got really good defensive stats, really good shooting stats. He's kind of a good player all around, and I love that for him. Ugarte, too expensive. Lepinot, definitely an option. Shooting's not very good. He's more of a CDM, but if we do sign Lepinot, we could convert Mainu to a central midfielder. Maybe Mainu can bombard forward a little bit more 
and uh, maybe he'll reach his potential there. We also have Lewis Miley and Charlie Patino, two really good players. Lewis Miley is good at everything. He's six foot two. Uh, I mean, Pablo Barrios is too expensive. I wish we could sign him, but he's too expensive right now. Unless we can loan him in. Nope, can't loan him in. He's too expensive for the team. That's unfortunate. And his release clause is 92 million. Not gonna happen. Okay, we got Dewsbury Hall, too expensive as well. We got Ross Barkley here. Okay, guys, I I'm gonna let you guys vote here. Angles, Angles, let me look. Pablo Barrios or Fermin Lopez? Let me look up Fermin. Fermin Lopez. Bro, what is up with Barcelona and producing all of these midfielders? Fermin Lopez, Pablo Gavi, Pedri. Even though I don't think Barcelona produced Pedri. Right? I think it was Las Palmas. I think Pedri came from Las Palmas, if I'm not mistaken. Fermin. I forgot he goes by Fermin. He's pretty good too. 73 rated. He's also pretty good. How about Ironing? Let me look him up. Ironing. Thank you for the... Is it Ironside? Oh, Awobi. Awobi. I was like, I don't know who Ironing is. What a name that would be. Alex Awobi, right mid. We don't really need a right mid right now, but I know Awobi can play as a cam. But we don't really play a cam. We play a holding midfielder with two box to box met salas ahead of him you searched <laughs> i know i know irony <laughs> for real door i know i know that was my bad my bad my bad um newcastle says uh lewis miley has potential to be the best midfielder in if he joins sunderland and he if he joins sunderland he's gonna ruin his potential i told you it would piss off george bro i knew it would make george mad sign mukhtar <laughs> autocorrect all good bro autocorrect uh mukhtar let me look him up mukhtar what? No, I don't see him. Mahuktar? I don't know who that is. Sign Angles. Let me look up Angles real quick. And then I'm going to let you guys vote. Is it already Angles? 20 years of age. He's actually pretty good. He's a Belgian international showing great potential. Worth $9 million, Definitely within budget. All right, guys. Let's do it. I'm, I, we're going to put up a vote here. I'm going to put up a poll with four midfielders. Lepinot. Patino, Miley. Ooh. Now we're gonna we're gonna just do Miley and then Fermin and Angles. That's gonna be the four guys. I need you to vote, please. Big game in League One versus first place Bradford. Interesting. Um, big match. I hope you win, Mateus. Go get that dub, bro. Come up to the championship with us, man. We need you. All right. Which midfielder should we sign? Which new CM? Should we sign guys? I need your help. This is what it's all about guys. Oh my goodness I'm a San Francisco Giants fan and they won 11 to 2 today. Awesome stuff. Cool for mean Lopez and guys we're almost at one hour and 40 minutes of streaming. Thank you all so much for joining me on this amazing Saturday. I hope everybody's safe happy and healthy for me Lopez Ingles Lewis Miley as well and then of course um, Lepinot which I think would be an awesome one uh, but I'm gonna vote for Lewis Miley guys. I need you to vote in the poll. It should pop up on the chat right now I'm gonna vote. Here it is. You guys, please vote Por favor hit that vote button. Let me know who you guys want to sign Yeah, Caleb, I couldn't find Mahuktar. I couldn't find him. Maybe was he in <laughs> was he in a uh, Gambling scandal as well just like Tonali and like Ivan Tony is Ivan Tony back in the game by the way because he's back playing for Brentford. Is he back in the game? Someone let me know. I would love to sign Tony. Let me look him up, actually. Um, Because if Joe Bellingham doesn't score more than 15 goals this season, I think we're going to convert him back to a midfielder. Okay. Let's find me. It's K first. It's K first. Bro, oh my god. Whoa, Fermin Lopez. What is happening, bro? No way Fermin's in first right now. I voted for Miley. Okay, guys, keep voting. Please vote for Miley. Miley would be amazing. Bro, Sajith, don't go to the burners, bro. Henry is back. Mujic can play on the right side. Yes, we do have some more money, but Mujic is going to be a little bit too expensive. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so I'm going to end the poll right there. Since it's tied with Fermin and Miley, I mean, we could sign both, I guess. I guess we could just sign both. They were both at 35%. I'm surprised Lepinon didn't get that many votes. But guys, thank you so much for voting. I appreciate y'all, man. Um, and thank you for staying with me on this Saturday. Let's sign our next midfielder. We're going to sign Luis Miley and Fermin Lopez, I think. Uh, yeah, this, this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be awesome. No! No, bro. Not willing to negotiate with a rival club. I told you Newcastle was the ops, dog. I told you Newcastle was the ops. Should I use 
Mods. Should I use mods to sign them? Guys, I'm going to start a poll here. Should I use mods? Should I use mods just to sign my boy, Louis Miley? Yes or no? I'm going to let you guys vote. I'm not even going to vote. You guys vote. Now, Lee Miley is bigger than Sunderland. George, what the freak? George hates us, man. I'm telling you, George hates Sunderland, but it's fair. Fair play, man. Um, Newcastle and Sunderland are huge rivals. Fair play, man. Fair play. This has been such a fun stream, man. Joey's best run is Mahuktar. Mahuktar. I think that's how I... A I that's how I spelled it, too. I tried it. So she says I don't have alts. Okay? That's funny. Uh, looks like 67% of you say yes, I should use mods. Okay. I think they would be willing to sell him in real life. Personally. Um, I don't think in real life that they're that big of rivals at the moment. Because the last time Sunderland was in the Premier League was 2017. So I don't think they're huge rivals at the moment. So let me find my boy, Lewis Miley, and I'll put him on the squad here. Now, how much is he worth? He is worth 5.5 million. We'll give you, s you know what? Let's say we would have to pay an exorbitant amount of money. Let's say, because his value right now is 5.5 million. Let's, well, let's pay double that, 11 mil. Let's pay 11 mil to sign him. I think that's fair. Since I'm using mods, kind of cheating a little bit. Um, but yeah, let, let's pay 11 mil. 85 potential is crazy. Transfer player. Transfer sum. 11 mil. So we had to pay an ex insane amount of money just to sign him. Give him a four-year deal. Wage is going to be 15K a week. Finalized transfer. I hope that makes sense to you guys. And better than Sunderland, you spelled it wrong with H first, but it's K. Oh, my bad. I said Hooptar then. I said Hooptar. Um, all right, let's see if Miley is officially in the squad. I think he's left-footed too. Yeah, Miley, Miley's officially in the squad now, boys. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to put Ayuchichi on the bench. And Neil's going to move to that right side there. And Lewis Miley in the midfield. Another young star. Ayuchichi's going to move to the bench here um, for... Man, we have so many left backs for no reason. I'm going to convert one of these left backs to a right back. Okay, I'm going to convert this guy to a right back. Yeah, I'm going to convert him to a right back. Cool, cool, cool. All right, guys, we got our first signing in the building. Lewis My Lee. Because Styles didn't technically count as a signing. We don't have that much money left after spending 11 million. Okay, well, we should lose some cash here. Features, gameplay. Career mode. Finances. We should have only $9 million in the bank. There we go. Let's look at it now. Yes, we have $9 million in the bank now, guys. And better than Sunderland, George hates us, bro. I'm not going to lie. George hates us. J-Dub, how is your team doing? Is J-Dub even watching anymore? J-Dub, let us know how your team is doing and who are you signing for Season 2. Stop spamming, bro. What did Sajin say? Where's for me? He was first on the poll. He was tied for first. He was tied for first on the poll. I think they both had 35%. Uh, but I'm going to sign both. Lewis Miley was the English player that we signed in this season. So we got that English objective out of the way already. For me, Lopez, 73 rated. We are we do have enough money to sign him. Um, his wage bill is going to be pretty high. So we need to be careful about how much money we're spending on the transfer fee. Uh, so I'm going to offer $6 million plus a sell-on clause to Xavi for for me Lopez one of their young wonder kid center mids he's gonna accept that maybe we could have offered less but um, it is what it is I'm doing a Sunderland career mode yes Henry that's what I'm talking about you guys are all doing it together that's awesome bro yes dance uh, me and George versus <laughs> Varderland Varderland okay um, guys this is our second signing we're gonna give him rotation thank God he doesn't want important because I think Lewis Miley's gonna start over him I'm not gonna lie Damn, look at that current wage, bro. He's going to be the highest paid player on this team. I should have done a loan to buy. Why didn't I do a loan to buy? Okay, we're going to remove the bonus here. 39k a week. He's going to ask for 42. Can we lower the... Can we lower this signing bonus? Yes, we can. And Fermi Lopez is our second signing in the squad, guys. I think I want to go to the free agents list and find a free agent. Bubakar is gay? That's crazy. What, Bubakar Kamara? Ooh, Bubakar, Bubakar Kamara would be awesome. Ex-Marseille player. Uh, he's on Aston Villa in real life, I think, no? He's a good player, actually. He's a pretty good player, man. Not gonna lie, it is so hot in here. Um, okay, since we don't have much money left in the bank, 
We now have 742k after signing Fermi Lopez, Styles back to the team, and Lewis Miley. But we do get one more signing. Who should it be? Fermi Lopez, let's move on to the bench here for I for Akpo. Hmm. Three one to me full time. Mateo's absolute dubs, bro. Glad you can get that dub. Uh, I'm Muslim. Nice. Bubakar, yeah, Sajit is the most annoying person in the chat. Sajit is crazy. Henry says, I'm doing suddenly Kareem out. Love that, Henry. Uh, where's for me? He's first on the poll. I got him. Okay, sorry, Bubakar. I thought you were Jewish. That's crazy. Um, dang. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's be cool, man. Be cool. Be cool in the chat. Um, let me look up that player. Muhuktar? Did I really spell it with a K? No, I don't think I did. Mukhtar, center forward, 29 years of age. Oh, he's on Nashville FC, SC, bro. When did Nashville get a player like this? He's too good, though. I'm not going to lie. He's too good. Nah, should my balls be greenish and be moldy? Rando? No, I think you have polio if they're... Yeah. I'm sorry to say this, but if your balls are green and moldy, you probably have polio maybe mixed with athlete's foot. But they call it athlete taint. Yeah, that's what it is. Nah, y'all are crazy in the chat. You need to calm down. You need to calm down. Stop saying crazy stuff like that, bro. Nah, y'all are too much. Alright. Uh, like I said, I wanted to convert Alice to an official right back. So that we have backup at that position. Because Pembele is currently the only right back on the squad. Um, let me go through some development plans for certain players. So that they can continue to grow to their, you know, max potential. Trantis is back. Haito, we're going to give him some... Dude, he's got 89 pace. He could be a left back. He could definitely be a left back and fill in pretty well. Pembele, 11 weeks. Nice. There we go. Mainu. There we go. 12 weeks for Lewis Miley to move up. Nice. Fermi Lopez. Perfecto. There we go. Already, let's get his passing up. His shooting is already way up. Let's get his passing up. I want to cheat. Bro, I can't believe there's really a development plan on here called Penetrator. If you know, you know. Penetrator. If you know, you know. That's crazy, bro. What a name that is. Oh, that reminds me. I do need to hire a coach this season. Because it's a new season. You get one extra coach slot. Styles is back. Let's get his defending up. Sirkin as well. Crompton. Nice. Onin as well. I would like to sign one more center back. I think we only have like three really good center backs on the squad. I think we need one more. With or without location, Mateus, second round of the FA Cup. Let's go. Bubgar signed. Garassi. Garassi would be awesome, bro. He scored again today for Stuttgart. Uh, yeah, Garassi is so good. AC Milan even won him, which is pretty awesome. Okay, who has good stamina on this team? Let's get Patterson performance focused as well. I want these guys to continue to grow. So let's keep their sharpness up for all-out performance. Perfecto. Oh, but we are going to be in the Europa League this season. So I don't want to, you know, have these guys play too much. Okay, I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. Someone give give me a player to make an edit for. George, how about... How about Job Bellingham? Do Job. I feel like Job doesn't get enough, enough love because his brother's so famous, bro. His brother is so famous and good that I feel like Job doesn't get enough talk about. Who the heck is Rudy? He's scoring a bunch of goals right now. I don't know who that is. I need the Max Wien. I need the Max Wien. I actually don't know who that is. Okay, mine's next. Let's go. Embleton loan offer. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Boobcar, I know everyone in Israel. That's crazy, bro. Bro would really put the flag, too. He put the flag. Uh, Bass... This transfer list that I'll sell him to uh, Atlanta United. Okay, cool. Damn, split the budget. Joe, J-Dub says, Joe, I'm in season two. I just won the quadruple, GG. No way, bro. No way, bro, just won the quadruple in season two. He's lying. He has to be lying. She's a 10, but she knows nothing about football. That's fine. She's still a 10. I don't really care, man. Um, honestly, if I... I wouldn't want to talk about soccer with a girlfriend. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I would. Maybe other sports, but not soccer. 
I don't know. Big win right there, Neil. 1-0. Sign Luke Shaw. Okay, 120 mil 1 million. Damn, so wait, who you take? What left back should I sign for Newcastle? Oh my goodness, bro. At the same time, we have J-Dub doing a Sunderland rebuild. Same with Henry. And we also have... Damps doing a Newcastle rebuild at the same time. Unreal, man. Unreal. Y'all are awesome, bro. I love y'all. Uh, had a lot of people watch the stream already, guys. If you can, spare a second to hit that like button if you haven't yet. And share the stream with a friend. Share my channel with a friend. Um, if they like soccer, if they like just sports in general, if they like career mode, if, if they like FIFA, uh, just like all of us in the chat do. So, guys, thank you so much. And thank you for joining me on this Saturday. Let's get Season 2 started, man. I don't think we even have to sign any more players. We already signed the English players, so we got that out of the way. I don't think we have enough money to even sign a, th a third player. I think we're good. I think we're actually good. But you don't have the money, my bad. Yeah, Bubakar, I don't have any money, bro. <laughs> I don't have any money. Because uh, we double paid to get Lewis Miley in the squad from a rival, which was Newcastle. We had to double pay. We had to pay twice the transfer value that Lewis Miley had. He was worth 5.5 million. We paid 11 million for him, uh, just to make it fair. Illing Jr. is probably going to be sold soon. Huddersfield, first match of the season, boys. Let's see if we can get this dub with the new players. Miley in the squad. We can get the 2-0 two, two victory. Fermin Lopez and Clark on the score sheet. There you go. Three. There you go. Sajith, it looks like you were right, man. Fermin Lopez, big goal for us in for the first match of the season. Awesome stuff. We got Blackpool coming up next. And then we have Liverpool. What the heck? Why is Liverpool on here? He's a 10, but sh his name starts with an L. What's wrong with starting with an L? What about Leia? Uh, Lauren? Um, yeah, man. What's wrong with L? Okay. We got an official right back now. She's a 10 out of 10, but she's Macedonian. That's fine, bro. She's probably beautiful. She's probably beautiful. Although the Balkan girls are pretty, man. For sure, for sure. All right, guys, it's time to sim. We got four million left in the bank. You know what? That might be enough to sign one player. That might be enough to sign one player, guys. Let's do it. If you're in the championship, how are you in Europa? Because we won the FA Cup last season. Somehow, we miraculously won the FA Cup. And if you win the FA Cup, you get Europa League automatically. Doesn't matter what league you're in. If you win the FA Cup, you uh, go to the Europa League automatically. Kwanzaa. Okay. Who is not too expensive? Morgala is a center back. You know what? Let's do it. Let's sign Morgala. I like it. Or King. Oh, he just joined Lyon. Unfortunate. Let's sign a center back real quick, guys. We're going to sign Morgala. Uh, we have $4 million in the bank. We have one signing left that we can uh, use. We're going to offer $2.6 million for Morgala. And he is going to want a 3% selling clause. That is fine. We're going to use up all three of our signings in this season. So we signed Morgala. We signed Callum... Styles back to our team, but that didn't count because he was already on the team on loan last season. Uh, we also signed Lewis Miley and we signed Fermin Lopez. That is three players, boys. Super psyched about it. We're going to give this kid 10k a week and uh, he's going to grow with us. That's awesome. Guys, thank you so much for your recommendations. Who, who recommended Morgala? One of you guys recommended Morgala. I can't remember. Mateus 2 1 right before the halftime whistle. Mateus, that is amazing, bro. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Keep getting that dub, bro. Get up to the championship with us. Come up here. Let's give Morgala a... He's showing great potential. That is impressive, man. That is impressive. Next season, you have to sign Gerasi. Yes, Bubakar. If Joe Bellingham doesn't score more than 15 goals this season, I think we're going to replace him as a center forward. Let's start the sim, boys. Let's get to December... Uh, January 1st. Let's start simming till January 1st. FA Community Shield. We lose it to Liverpool. That was a trophy. We almost won, but we lost 3-2, unfortunately. But we're going to be in the Europa League this season, boys. So that's another competition we're going to be in. Wow, we're going to be in a lot of competitions this year. Where do you guys think we're going to finish? Do you think we're going to get promoted? It's going to be tough balancing the Europa League, the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup, and 46 matches a season in the championship. It's going to be tough uh, balancing all of those um, fixtures. We got Sheffield United. We win 2-0. Magitland, we lose 2-0. No way. You know what? Hold on. I think I want to stop this in real quick. I want to take a look at who our group is in the Europa League. I think we've lost both of our first games. 
We're in first place right now, unbeaten in the championship, 12 matches in. That's exactly what I want to see, just what the doctor ordered. Let's look at the Europa League group we're in. We got Marseille, Magitland, Sunderland, and Hel Oh my god, Helsinki. That's actually a tough group. That's actually a really tough group. Wow. And we tied Marseille the first game, so we do have one point. I'll take that. Are the guys looking tired right now? No, they're looking pretty good. Styles' sharpness is not good. I wonder if he's injured. Is Styles injured? He might have just gotten injured. Interesting. Okay, anyways, let's get to the end of the first half of the season here. Hopefully, we can get um, past our group. We just lost to Helsinki, bro. We haven't lost a, a group match. We haven't won a group match. I'm sorry. Helsinki again. We win 3-0 at home this time. The Stadium of Light was mm. rocking. Then we lose to West Brom. Beat Hull City. Tied Swansea. We got Marseille up next. And we lose. Bruh. Bruh. Joe, buy Melier, Henry. That would be amazing. George says, okay. Use Dan Byrne as left back. That'd be crazy. We lost to Magitland again. Yeah, guys, we're definitely not going to move on past the group stage of the Europa League. Halfway through the season, we're on January 1st here. Let's see if we were able to um, stay in first place. It looks like we're still in first place, but Sheffield is right behind us. We got to get top two to get autom automatic promotion, but uh, we've scored a lot of goals. Joint top highest goal scorers in the league. That is amazing. We lost the Community Shield to Liverpool, 3-2. Mateus, you're probably happy. The Carabao Cup, we're not in it anymore. We lost to... Oh, we lost early, huh? Oh, man, where'd we go out? We lost in the round one to Morcom. That is interesting. Uh, FA Cup, we're still in this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we got Everton in the round of three. And then in the Europa League, we ended up third in our group. Does that mean we go down to the Conference League? I wonder if that means we go to the Conference League. 3-2, let's go, Mateus. Burn is a minus six at left back. You already know he's going to go crazy there. Oh, no, Bardagi is injured. How injured is he? Three months torn hip flexor. Well, we got Ba who can play over there. Ayuchichi can play over there too. That is shocking, bro. Bargi. He had eight goals. He was cooking this year. Clark has 16 and 6. Belly goal has 8 and 2. Belly goal Jr. has 8 and 2. Uh, Bubakar says, yes, that means we go to the conference league. He says, I'll play Livermento. Maybe I should have saved that signing for a right winger. Because we don't really have a good right winger right now. That's right. Let's keep simming, guys. Let's see if uh, Bubakar is right and we do go to the conference league. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Happy Saturday. I hope every one of you is uh, happy, healthy, and, and safe and having a good day. Got Burnley up next, and we do win 2-1. to one. I told you I was not scared of Burnley, Sheffield, or Luton Town. I thought we were going to handle all of them with ease this season, and it, it shows. We're in first place right now in the championship. We are in the Conference League, and we beat TSG Hoffenheim in the first fixture. And we beat them in the sex, second fixture. We're moving on to the quarterfinals of the conference league and we get Atalanta guys should I play Shh. oh we, we won I accidentally simmed past it and we ended up beating Atalanta the team that just beat Liverpool 3-0 at Anfield in the in the Europa League we just beat them 1-0 on the road unreal so who does that mean we get next we get West Ham next no way that's crazy bro West Ham next it's an English showdown we beat we lose to Rotherham beat Swansea I'll take that Beat Blackburn, I'll take that. Beat Huddersfield, I'll take that too. We get West Ham next. We get West Ham next. We're going to go to the quick sim. 3-2. So do it to Leicester. Let's go. Round of 16. Oh, is this the round of 16? This is definitely at least the quarterfinals now. Let's see what their team's looking like. They got Suchek, Alvarez, Paqueta. They probably have James Ward-Prowse. Kudus. Bro, this team's actually nice. Brian, Brian Brabby at striker though. This team's actually cracked. Masrawi, Mavropanos, Kanza. Nah, nice team. That's a good team. But uh, I think we got a better team. We're just going to quick sim here with our best players on the pitch. And we're going to lose 2-0 on the road. That's kind of a horror show. I'm not going to lie. Kobe Minu pulled an injury. But I think it's just a little knocked. Benedict said play it. Dang it. My bad. I missed that. Joey signed Daka and Oscar Bob and Fermin and Lepinot. Alex, you're signing everybody, bro. Those are all great players, too. Oscar Bob is going to be like your bargy. Like the bargy for us. Oscar Bob's going to be it. Uh, play next game? Guys, should I play the second leg? It looks like you guys want me to play. So I'll play it. I'll play the second fixture here. 
Um, I'm not going to put the green screen down. I'm just going to keep my head up at the right side of the screen. Um, we're going to play kickoff here. Mainu is actually injured, though, and he can't play. That's rough. It's okay. Um, Neo doesn't play DM, but I think Miley can play DM. No, he's only a 61 defensive rating there. Uh, we're going to have to play my boy Equa at DM. That's fine. That sucks, man. I was really looking forward to playing with Mainu. Oh, that sounds mad. Says, look at Clark, bro. 86 rated. He's head and shoulders better than everybody on this team. 86 rated. And you guys wanted me to replace him early on. Haido's in, Haido's in 80, 82. Baraji's officially back from injury. That's good. Okay. Time to play. Let's go. Sunderland at the Stadium of Light. Are they... Is it in the game? I don't know if they're in the game. Start for me. Okay, we'll bring him in. We'll bring him in. Gonna take revenge for you for, versus Morcom. Let's go, Mateus. Let me know if you win that victory. Yeah, win, that, win that game. Let me know. Here we go, guys. Game on. I'm gonna stay up at the top right of the screen here. Um, let me know if you guys can't see the the time or the the score sheet. Let me know. Here we go. Kick off Sunderland at the Stadium of Light in the quarterfinals of the Conference League. West Ham, the reigning champions of the Conference League, actually. So they know this uh state this uh competition pretty well. We're gonna get that up off Corne's leg. So Jit says, yeah, start for me, and I'll, I'll put him in. I just had four ads, bro. Let's go. George, who'd you add? Bro, get, getting Daka and Oscar Bob's a nice signing. Daka's an underrated player, bro. Underrated. Daka's a good player. Nice ball. Inside. It's Rooney. Oh, this is Rooney. Oh, Rooney's Bargy. That's who it is. Okay, that makes sense. Now, he's our number 10, by the way. No wonder he was scoring so much goals in the, the quick sims. I was like, who is Rooney? Like, Wayne Rooney's here? What's he doing? Outside the box. Echo. Equa, Equa, that's his name. 141 Mateus, that's what I'm talking about, man. Thank you for getting your revenge for us. You avenged us. Thank you, bro. You're like the Avengers. They should they should give you a, a costume and a, a suit, maybe a hammer and a shield, and uh, you'll be an Avenger. Let's go. Joe Bellingham up the pitch, inside, nice. Back to the left back. This is Styles. Inside. Nah, it's gonna be ricocheted. We're gonna have a through ball to Pavlidis, bro. They have Pavlidis and Brian Robbie. Bro, West Ham used that Conference League money for to good use. Bro, they put it to good use. Oh, nice steal from Ballard. Let's go. You saw that coming from a mile away. Job all the way out to Clark. Our highest rated player, 86 rated. He's nice. Goes out for a throw in here. It's okay, we'll take it. Lewis Miley on the ball. We're gonna get that back to an overlapping. Styles in the back four. Haito. Oh, no, it's Equa. Oh my god. What are we doing, guys? What are we doing? Come on. Let's cook, team. Let's cook. No way he just sp split the defense like that. Number 17. It's Cornet. The French International. Nice tackle from Haito. Equa slides. It's Alvarez, the Mexican International. Nice job. Edson Alvarez was never going to do anything there. Let's go. Now it's Baji on the right side. Let's see what kind of pace he has here. He's going to cut back. Now he's going to Okay, win a throw in. Okay. Back to the midfielder, Neil. Over for Pembele. And then over for Bargy. Bargy's gonna swing that in the box. Guess who's there? Header! Clark! Number 20. Not able to get it, Rick said. It's what difficulty is this? This is ultimate, bro. I only do ultimate. Um, so yes. Hopefully, Rick said it. It's not just gonna be like sporting juniors. If I win this. Okay, if if some if somehow we come back, because we're down 2-0 on aggregate right now. I didn't play the first match. We quick simmed it. We lost 2-0. But if I somehow win by two goals or more, there's something fishy going on with the Sporting Juniors sims. The, the Sporting Juniors matches, man. Something really fishy because how can I win down 2-0 with Sunderland but not with Sporting Juniors against Bundesliga 3 teams? Something fishy, man. Through ball. Here it comes. There it is. Stay, stay home, stay home. Come on, come on. Corday's not going anywhere, bro. I don't know what you think you're doing. You're not YBN Corday, okay? You're just Corday. Nice job, Lewis Miley. Good job on the ball. We're going to get that up to our 86 rated player. Our highest rated player. This is Clark. What kind of pace does he have? Oh, he's got decent pace here. Going to get to the byline, cut inside. Inside for Lewis Miley. Back to Clark. Here's Clark. He's at the byline, cuts inside. Inside. 
Job. Pembele. Top of the box. It's Equa. Top of the box. Pembele. Back to Equa. Inside. Guess what it is? It's Neil on his left foot. That's a handball. That is a handball, and we're going to get a penalty here. 33rd minute. We win a penalty. Wow, those kits for West Ham are really nice. I've never seen those before. I like them. 1-0 versus Crystal Palace. Let's go. When you make me, can I play for Sunderland in the career mode? In the career mode. Let's go. Yeah, we can do that. Do you want to come up through their youth academy? Because we can make that happen too. Okay, on the spot is Clark right now. Is he our highest rated penalty taker? He is 70 rated. Here we go. Clark steps up the number 20. And the keeper doesn't even move. Clark into the side netting. The perfect penalty. Perfect placement. Perfect shot power. Perfect player. I mean, he is got to be worth 100 million at this point. Two seasons in, and we have a 100 million euro player. Bro, that's amazing. 1-0. 1-0 against West Ham in the Conference League quarterfinals. We look like the better team, too. We're getting more chances. Here we go. Here we go. Keep him in front of you. Don't be overzealous. Watch the through ball over the top. Here's Thomas Suchek. We all know Thomas Suchek. Here we go. This is Neil. This is Neil in the midfield. He had a lot of goals for us last season. Here he goes again. Out on the wing, overlapping Pembele. Bad pass from Pembele. Where was he going with that, bro? Where was he going with that? Oh, uh, that was the wrong thing. That was the wrong emote. Come on, man. Come on. Step up on Corday. He's not going anywhere, bro. He splits the defenders. What a pass from Corday. That is a beautiful play. A little rollover. Sweats it to Pavlidis. I signed Lewis Miley. Now let's go, Alex. Uh, I'm intrigued to see how many goals Lewis Miley has for us this season. I think he'll be better than Ayutrichi. Definitely. Good play. Inside for Job. Here's Job. On his left foot is Job Belling. Oh, he scores. It's the side netting. What a first half this is. 2-1. Sunderland on top, but still behind in the tie. 3-2. But Job Bellingham has something to say about that. He does his little knee slide. And the crowd at the Stadium of Lights could not have asked for a better wonder kid to grace their pitch. Job Bellingham trying to make a name for himself. For himself. Let's go. Please, can I come from the Academy? Yes, Henry. We'll make you come from the Sunderland Academy. I think that'd be awesome, bro. Let's go. Are you a Sunderland fan, Henry? Are you a Sunderland fan? If so, how perfect is this? is this that we're doing a Sunderland career mode today. Guys, I think this is the 12th or 13th, maybe even 14th uh, rebuild stream that we've done. And they've all been amazing. The last one was a nine hour stream. I think we finished after like six hours, but we uh, did some other fun stuff uh, for the last four hours. Um, but that, that was officially the highest, most watched stream I've ever done. That was last Friday, a week ago. A nine, nine hour Chelsea rebuild live stream. Um, and I'm so happy that you guys were able to, to watch the stream with me today. So far, it's been amazing. On the overlap, it's Pembele inside. Good ball. Job, here he goes. Out on the wing. It's Rooney. Rooney, Bargy. Bargy's got a man back post. It's Clark. And now it's Job with his head. Oh, he just misses it. Oh, it just goes inches wide of the post. He had another chance. Joe Milan stole Neto from me. Pedro Neto? No, damn snow. No. Are you doing a Wolves career, career mode? Or did you sign him to Sunderland? Let me know. Joe won 1 0 against Liverpool. Let's go. Nice job. That's really good. Because you, you guys know I don't like Liverpool. I, I know we have a bunch. It's crazy. I think the. I think Liverpool fans follow me the most. I think that's the. The club fans that follow me the most, which is hilarious because they know I don't like Liverpool. Good save from Patterson right there. Good job from Pembele to keep that in. It's just kind of funny. It's ironic. Like, I talk shit most about Liverpool. But there's a lot of Liverpool fans in the chat. Good ball. Is this Clark? No, it's Styles. Oh, Styles, what are you doing, bro? Take that. Take that. Ah, uh, it's lucky, bro. That's such a lucky pass. High toe, nice job. Wait, come get that. Nice job. In for Rooney. Over on the wing. This is Neil. One more goal. Oh, Job, I saw what you were doing, Job. I saw it, bro. Good try, good try. Intense music, intense music. 
What is that? That's such a lucky pass. Okay, we are all over them. Oh, by the way, guys, the tactic is gang and pressing. Because I looked at the best teams in, in England, and they're Liverpool and Man City, right? And Arsenal. And in the game, they all do gang and pressing. So I thought, why not? Let's just do gang and pressing. Sajith too far. Yes, and more clubs I support. Let's go. George says yes. George, I signed. Kirk has for 20 mil. I think maybe we sign Kirk as next season. I wonder how much Callum has grown. Callum Styles here. Oh, nice. He's onside. Clark is onside. Clark is onside. He's going to sweat that. Back to Job. One timer misses. Dang it. Quine again. He's been the danger man for them. Oh, nice job. Good steal. Come on. Neil cuts inside. Neil cuts inside. Good ball. Over for Clark. Clark on his left foot. He's going to shoot that on his left foot. On the rebound. No. He's going to go up right. Corner kick. 3-2 to me, says Mateus. But we're having a good game, too. This is a good match. I told you guys, I can play on ultimate. Oh, no. That's... Maybe I spoke too soon, man. Pass it back to the goalkeeper. I dare you. Thank you. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, God. Bruh, come on. Look for free agents. Okay, Henry, I will. Two up brace. J-Dub, how is your team doing, by the way? J-Dub, how is your team doing? Are you still there, J-Dub? Oh! Bro, split me like a groundhog. Lewis Miley, nice tackle. Take that. Come on, man. They're just passing it around now. They're wasting time. They're time wasting like pros. Oh, what a tackle right there. Top of the box. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot that. Edson Alvarez, have a shot, would you? Good save from Patterson again. Patterson's done pretty well today. Both of the goals that West Ham scored, there was nothing he could do. Sign William from Benfica. From Benfica, okay. Fair play. That'd be, that'd be a good signing. Uh, look for free agents. 3-3, three, three, Mateus. 2-0 versus Roma. Isak Bray stamps. Let's go, guys. Thank you so much for joining the chat today. We haven't had a ton of people watching the stream, um, but I know it's Saturday and people are out doing fun stuff. You know, their day off of school and, and work and whatnot. So I get it. Let's go, Clark. Come on. So I, I'm really appreciative of all you guys that are here right now. Clark's going to keep that. Nice job. Good ball. This is a good play. Here's Lewis Miley. What's Miley going to do? The new player. The new player on the squad. He's going to sweat that back. Yo, oh, that's a penalty, bro. How is that not a pen? I think we've been the better team. Okay, what's going on here? Can we get some space? Inside, there we go. Nice. Inside, there we go. Bro, how unlucky is that? There's no way. Restart, bro. I'm not going to restart, guys. I'm not going to restart. Clark, nice job. Here we go. Bro, what is happening, bro? This West Ham team is good, man. They're solid. Ah, yeah, it's a, this is an L. That's an L, boys. Good try. It was a good effort, man. We made it all the way to the quarterfinals of the Conference League in Season 2. I think we got to take that as a dub. Um, take that as it is, guys. It's not a bad result. 2-2 at the Stadium of Light at home against a European champion. They won the Conference League in real life in 2023, guys. So they are a formidable team. A lot of good players on that team. They got Brabi, Pavlidis as strikers, Edson Alvarez, Thomas Suchek, Kudus, Paqueta, James Ward-Prowse, all of those guys in the midfield. And now we are going to end the season here. Hopefully, we do get automatically promoted to the... Oh, I didn't use substitutions. I'm sorry, Sajid. But hopefully, we do get automatically automatically promoted here. Um, from the championship to the Premier League. We just lost our last match of the season. But it doesn't look like we're in any kind of championship playoff or anything like that. So, guys, I think that means we got top two. 
Yes, we got first place. That's our second mm. trophy. Uh, someone tell me, what is that trophy called? When you win the EFL championship, what is the trophy called? But I could not be happier, bro. 27 wins, 11 draws, 8 losses, 92 points for. 91 goals for was the highest in the league. We, had, we were the most formidable scoring team. That is amazing. 43 goals. Sorry, 48 goals against, 43 goal differential. Sheffield is also, also getting promoted with us. Um... Getting relegated is going to be Millwall, Bolton, and Charlton Athletic. Remember, we lost the Community Shield final. The FA Cup went to Man City over Spurs, 3-0. Carabao Cup went to Man United over Arsenal. Um, and then the Super Cup went to Liverpool over City. So Liverpool basically went to trouble. Who won the Champions League? Oh my god, Liverpool's in the Champions League final as well. This is Liverpool's season, man. Milan won the Europa League. Let's go over Napoli. Conference League ends up going to either West Ham or Olympic Lyon. I think West, West Ham's probably going to win that one. Let's sim a few days so we can see all the results of all of the European competitions. And I do want to check to see who won the Premier League this season. And we do win a trophy, guys. This is our second trophy in just as many seasons controlling Sunderland. What an amazing first two seasons with this club. Um, I could not have asked for a better start. Now let's see who won the Champions League. It goes to Liverpool over PSG. Yeah, Liverpool won the treble. If they won the Premier League, then they won the quadruple. And West Ham ends up winning the Conference League. Awesome stuff there. Uh, let's go to the other leagues real quick. And then we'll look at the stats. We will look at player stats in a second. Benedict says, sign Trubin from Benfica. He's really good. He is really good. He is really good. I think he just moved to Benfica from Dinamo Kiev in real life. Something like that. Uh... Really good. And I think the striker position, if you have money, sign Georg Rez. I would love to sign Georg Rez. He played for Coventry in real life, didn't he? Benedict, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure he played for Coventry before he moved to City. Sorry, City. Sporting. Before he moved to Sporting. Liverpool was seven points off of winning the quadruple, but Chelsea ends up winning the Premier League. Uh, City third, United fourth, Spurs fifth, Arsenal sixth. Newcastle ninth. Interesting. So we're going to be facing Newcastle next season, guys. The rivalry will live on. Uh, League on PSG wins that, of course. Player stats. Clark was the golden boot winner for the second straight season. Three. And you wanted me to get rid of him. Absolute dub of a player, man, on the left wing. 27 goals for him this season. Just in the league by himself. He probably got 40 goals on the season. Bellingham, 15 goals in the league, so he did get the 15 goal mark, so we won't replace him. Uh, Clark, 9 assists, tied with Miley. Uh, and Dooney wins the golden toe. The golden thumb goes to Pander, but Patterson was close in second with 13 clean sheets. He did better than the first season. Let's go. Let's go. Joe, I want to I won against Spurs 6-3. George, that is insane. I got into a fight because someone stole my bike. Henry's story time. Someone stole my bike too, my first year of college at San Jose State. Uh, someone stole my bike, and I'm pretty sure it was a homeless person or something, but it was just perched right outside my dorm. If you guys don't know... San Jose, San Jose is one of the biggest cities in America. I think it's like the fourth biggest city based on population. There's a million people that live there. And that's where San Jose State was. And this college was literally smack dab in the middle of the city. And uh, you guys know big cities, man. A lot of homeless population and there's a lot of uh, freeloaders out there. A lot of looters as well. So, I mean, we have a closed campus no, it was open. It was an open campus technically, so I should have known this was gonna happen. But I just parked my bike right outside. I put it on the lock. I put it on the bike thing. Lots of other bikes there. I wake up the next morning. I go outside, and my bike's gone. Uh, the lock is cut and everything like that. So that really sucked. But anyways, that was my story time. Henry, I know what you're feeling, bro. It sucks. It was a nice diamond back that I had since I was like in high school, and then in my first year of college, I had it. And uh, it sucked. It sucked losing it, man. But it is what it is. Things happen, bro. Bro is sweeten. Sign Tom best, best drop. Yeah. I am sweating, bro. It's hot in here. It's so hot in here. Honestly. Uh, Bellingham's up to a 79. Has potential to be special as a center forward. Plus 7 rating this season. Um, he's going to grow again in two weeks as well. So he'll be an 80 rated. And uh, we can make him a striker soon. But I think we'll keep him as a center forward. Let's take a look at the stats, guys. Who was our top goal scorer this season? It was Clark. 32 goals and 10 assists. Just like the first season, Clark is the man again. Grew to an 86 this season. 27 goals in the league is ridiculous. I hope he can carry that over to the Premier League. 60 appearances. So many games for us this season, man. 
Joe Bellingham, 18 goals and four assists, so we will keep him. Lewis Miley, I am sorry, George, but he's no longer a Newcastle boy. This is the reason we paid double his transfer value. 14 goals and 11 assists from the midfield. For me, Lopez, that's the reason we signed him as well. 10 goals and three assists off the bench. Bargy, I'm not mad at him. I know he only scored eight goals, but he was injured for like four months with a fucked up knee, something like that. Uh, Mahaila says, Alex, Mahaila, Mahaila, guys, we're going to get Bargy another chance. He was injured most of the season, and he still managed to grow four ratings overall, and he still has quite a big, bit of potential. Um, yeah, 13 weeks, he'll grow to an 82, so he's still got a lot of potential. We'll keep him on the team. Neil in the midfield, once again, another great signing. Uh, not signing, but season. Seven goals and eight assists. Um, Pembele, three and four from the right side. Bursto, three goals off the bench. I do think we should sign a striker to replace Bursto as a backup center forward. To Joe Bellingham. Someone that's like a 75 rated. That can back up Job. So guys, get your chats ready. Janelt would be good, Damps. That's a good one. Poe, 10 out of 10, but she has a huge nose. Oh, like uh, Turkish Kwandao Dingle? I kind of have a big nose. No, I don't have a big nose, do I? I got a normal nose. But I, <laughs> I do have a cricket nose nose because I've been you know, hit in the face with so many balls before. Big balls. Uh, you guys know the show Wipeout? Those type of balls. Huge, big, red balls. That's why I have a uh, deviated septum here. It's hard to breathe out of my right side. But it is what it is. It is what it is. One day I'll get it fixed. Uh, Mine two goals and five assists. Still kind of an underwhelming season from him. He only grew two ratings. I don't know. I'm not going to lie. He's been an underwhelming signing. Maybe we'll get a shooting up or something. Uh, Rusin, two goals off the bench. Heitzel, one and one. He had a 6.5 match rating, which is pretty good as a center back. Ooh, Styles was awful this season. I'm not gonna lie. So maybe we do sign Kirk as now. Um, I need the Max Wien. Because Styles was I just need horrible. The Max Bruh. Honestly, bad. Bruh. He was just bad. So we do need a left back, guys. I think we signed his Hungarian teammate, Kirk as, as the new left back. But if you guys have somebody else, let me know. Tom Bischoff would be good. Uh, we don't run a cam. That's why Ayuchichi's not getting much game time. He's a cam, but we don't run a cam. We run two central midfielders with a DM behind them, and I think it's working out pretty good, guys. Uh, we do constant pressure. And I think that's the best formation to use for gang and pressing. Just like Liverpool uses that formation in the game, and so does Man City. And uh, I'm trying to take, take after them. Patterson got an assist this year. 16 clean sheets in total. Awesome stuff. Ballard has 6.48, and he's grown to a 78. Guys, really good stuff from this team. Martin says, Patrick Dorgu, okay, sign Mahila, or else I'm going to DM every club and say, don't let this ginger try out for your club, says Alex. At least it's not a leak. Yeah, at least it's not my leak, you know? Oh, I forgot to hire a coach, I think. Like I said, gang and pressing. I forgot to hire a coach this season. Um, Let's hire a midfield coach, because we do need, need a midfield coach. There we go. Cool beans. Cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. And then, yeah, Joe, you're right. Georgikas also used to play for Brighton. I didn't know that. And in real life, he had a 100 million euro release clause in real life. He has a 100 million release clause. Honestly, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if someone pays that. The way he's looking right now. Oh, my knee. Oh, my knee. I'm sitting on my knee. Oh, God. Joe Kim, save me team. Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, say team, I should do it in career mode. Since I got fired, Mateus, you got fired, bro. What? That's why you got to use mods, guys. That's why you have to use PC and use mods, bro. You get fired so easily in career mode. In, uh, like, on PS5 and Xbox if you're not using mods, man. You get fired so easily in the game, and it sucks. EA needs to fix that. Like, if you don't get the objectives down, if you don't get one objective down, that's like, sign a player from America, and you don't get that down, you're automatically, like, in the red zone. <laughs> Of your manager rating. It sucks. Uh, Archer or Hozek. Hozek would be perfect as a center forward for us. He plays center forward too in real life. Guys, I'm loving this team right now. Wait a second. Where's our center back? Where'd Ballard just go? Oh my god, Ballard just left us. No freaking way. Ballard just left us, guys. He was our center back next to Heito. So we're going to need a new center back in the squad. But now we are in the Premier League. And uh, we were also getting a lot of money from the Europa League and Conference League last season. So I'm thinking $45 million is our budget. Oh, oh, it's over, bro. It's over. No, we're actually going to win the Champions League this year. We're winning the Champions League with six, with $89 million, bro. Come on. It's, it's over.
It's over. Guys, look at this. It's over. Look at this. Look at Finn. Look at him. Bro is so cute. Look at him. Bro is so cute. All right, we back. That is crazy, bro. 89 million is insane. Eighty nine million is crazy. Joe, can you say it again? I got an ad. Um, oh yeah. Uh Mateus, I would say let's stay in England and let's manage Coventry. Do Coventry. Coventry would be cool. Or maybe Watford. Watford needs some help, but they have quite a bit of money, so maybe Coventry. Coventry or Watford. I would do either of those. Or I guess League Two. You said League Two? I don't know, somebody else. Um, Archer or Hlozek? Okay, let's take a look at both of them. Why can't I hear this song? I can't hear the song for some reason. There it is. All right, let's look up, let's look up those players. And then uh, let's get a new center back in the squad. I cannot believe my boy Ballard just left us. Did he have an expiring contract? Archer would be perfect. Let me look up Hlozek, guys. Thank you so much for joining the stream today. We're going on season three. Where is J-Dub and how is J-Dub doing? Adama Hlozlek, 81 rated. The only problem is I think he would start over Joe Bellingham. I want somebody lower rated um, so that Joe stays as the starter. Okay, we have 89 million. I would like to see... Hmm, where's Ballard at? Was it a release clause? It may have been a release clause. Because I thought I gave new contracts to everybody. Daniel Ballard, 25 years of age. Oh my god, and speaking of sporting... Ballard goes to Sporting. I wish we could have done a swap deal with Yorkerez, but whatever. He quit? No way he quit. J-Dub ended the stream long ago. No way, I didn't know that. Was he mad? Was he mad that he didn't do very good? Signed Palmer. Okay, J-Dub quit. I didn't know that, Martin. Thank you for letting me know, bro. Um, that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Botman. Ooh, Botman. We already have a left-footed center back. Uh, Patrick Dorgu. Let me take a look at Patrick Dorgu. What position does he play? He's a left back. 71 rated from Denmark. The Danish player from Magitland. Okay. Signed Palmer. Botman Red. Okay. Um, George says, I won 1-0 against Inser. Nice job, George. That's what I'm talking about. Signed Lino as a backup winger. Okay. Lino. Sam Samuel and Lino, right? Samuel and Lino. Yes, yeah, sir. He could be good. Oh, he could be good. He's worth kind of a lot, though. But he could be good. Uh, oh, Ivan Tony. Is, is Tony back in the game? Yeah, he is. Striker, there he is. 80 rated? That's not that high. He would be perfect as a backup. He's not too expensive either. Palmer? Let me look up Palmer. We just used him in the Chelsea rebuild, though. And he was awesome. He was so good. Um, There's Cole Palmer. Wow. Bargy is actually higher rated than Cole Palmer in three seasons, bro. Two seasons down the line, Bargy's actually a higher, higher rated player. That's crazy. Okay. Let's see here. I'm really liking this team. We definitely need a center back, though, and I'm thinking a left back. I'm thinking Kirk is for the left back side. Oh, Sirkin is almost better than Styles now. Interesting, man. Interesting. Maybe we could sell one of those guys and get $100 million in the bank. Sign Matien. Yes, sir. As a backup winger, we should do it. You should sign Marcus Leonard from Benfica. He's a really good striker. Okay. I've never heard of him, uh, but I'll, I'll look him up. Marcus Leonard. Um, Marcus... Leonard. That's such an American name. Marcus Leonard. There he is. Marcos Leonardo? Is that who it is? Marcos Leonardo? Yeah, Benfica. Oh, you know what? I have seen him before. Oh, uh, the problem is he's going to be too good. He's going to be too good for Job. Sign Petrovic. W. <laughs> oh, wait. How much? What's Patterson at now? Patterson is up to a 83. No, Patterson's growing too much, but I got to keep him. Imagine Finn as goalkeeper, Matian. I know. Imagine Finn as goalkeeper. That'd be amazing, bro. Okay. Let's uh let's sign a new a new center back. I know we already transfer hubbed a couple of like Antonio Silva, bro. We have enough money for freaking Antonio Silva. We can do it. We can make it happen. We also have Lenny Yoro down here. Spilliers is down here. Jean-Claire Todibo. Oxford. Kwanzaa. Berardo. Okay, we have some really good options, guys. I'm going to let you guys vote in the chat. We don't have a ton of people watching right now, but it's no big deal. Uh, thank you guys to everybody 
who has uh, stayed um, till this point, which center back. I'm having a lot of fun, man. I think this is so far a successful rebuild. Two trophies in two seasons is amazing. Which center back should we sign? I need, I need you guys to let me know. Spaliers, I need you guys to vote here on the poll. We got Yoro as well. We have Antonio Silva. Antonio Silva. And then we also have John Claire Todibo. Have not used Todibo in any rebuild yet. Neither have I used Yoro or Spaliers, I think. So, guys, please vote in the poll. I'm going to vote as well on who I want to sign. Who do you guys want to sign? I think Antonio Silva is the most expensive one. Oh, Grimaldo would be amazing for the left back side. Okay, okay. Sign Garnacho because he can go on that right side, okay? I mean, I do like Bargy over there, so maybe in season like four, we'll do something like that. Looks like Antonio Silva is the man. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Thank you guys for voting. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, 38% to Antonio Silva. I'm just going to end the poll there. Thank you guys for voting. Um, I voted for um, Todibo. I wanted Todibo, personally. But I was, trying to, I was trying to bring back the good vibes from the Olympic Leon career mode. Uh, but you know what? Antonio Silva, that's fair. Fair play. Uh, we have enough money to pay for his release clause, but I want to save as much as possible. Purvis Estupion would be a good left back as well. I'm going to let you guys vote on it. Uh, we're going to offer $45 million plus a sell-on clause of about $8 million. Bro, imagine, imagine Heizo and Silva together. Two Wonder Kids at center back. Nah, that'd be crazy. $46 million, 48.4. Let's bring this down a little bit, maybe 47.5. And we still have $41 million left in the bank. We're going to accept 48.2 for Antonio Silva. Sign Enzo Fernandez. I would love to, but he's going to be way too expensive for show. Uh, Nusa... Merlin from Marseille. He's a good left back. Yep, that's true. He is pretty good. Um, I think we used him in the Marseille rebuild. The Marseille rebuild. I'm pretty sure we used him. Crucial squad role. Five years for this young superstar. Wonder Kid center back. You're going to offer 30k a week? Is that fair? Oh my god, no way. How is the wage insulting? I don't get it. La Sigma, man, what happened? Uh, we're signing Antonio Silva. Uh, we have 89 million in the bank. We got promoted to the Premier League, which is a good thing. It's an amazing thing. Bargy transfer offer. 45 million from OGC Nice. I'm going to accept this Bass offer. We're going to delegate it first. Bargy offer. 45 million. We're going to reject it. We're going to give him one more season, man. We're going to give him one more season. Guys, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like Antonio Silva might be too expensive. Who was second in that vote? Yoro and Todibo were second. I'm going to try and offer for Todibo as well. I didn't know he was bald in real life. He's not bald in his picture. Tagliafico. Who remembers Tagliafico in the Olympic Leon career mode? He was awesome, man. I think he was our captain the first few seasons. He was awesome. Todibo, 52 million plus 10%. Wow, he might be more expensive than Antonio Silva. Interesting. 46.9 million plus 10%. We're going to bring that down to 44.5 million for Todibo. And they are going to... I'll accept it. I'll accept that. We're going to offer for a bunch of guys. Jules Kunde would be amazing. Mario... <laughs> I'm not signing Mario Rui. I'm sorry, Martin. I can't do it. I cannot sign Mario Rui. Let me look up Kunde. How expensive is he going to be? Probably really expensive, huh? 94 million. We don't have enough money for him. That sucks. Blood, I'm 17th with Newcastle. Damn, how is that possible, bro? I know you had a big budget, too. That's rough. I can't lie. That is rough. Wow. It's all right. You'll, 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 you'll make up for it, bro. You got it. You got it. Uh, Kude Mari I'm not him. <laughs> I'm not him. It's all right. You'll, you'll be him. Uh, Lil Sigma, man, what happened? Enzo Fernandez, Nusa, Purvis, Estupion. Let me look up Estupion real quick. Because we are going to sign a left back. And we're going to sell a left back also. Here's Purvis, 27 years old. 83 rated, 35 million he's worth. That's perfect. Right in the box, right in the uh, ballpark. I still beat Milan. No, that's crazy, Damps. Oh, in the Champions League. Edward Milisau. Sajith is probably going to be way too expensive, but we'll try. 
Uh, Bass will accept that one year deal. Joel Cancelo. Cancelo, Cancelo, Cancelo. Embleton Styles transfer offer. We do have the style Styles transfer offer. After just one season of having him back, we're going to transfer him to Al Halal. Interesting. Yeah, we're going to do that. Sajid, zero ball knowledge. That's crazy. Picking up from the I8, 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 I8. There we go. Picking it up. That's what we like to hear, Damps. Get, get dubs. Get dubs. Alex Bass finally leaves us to go to Stoke City. Finally, bro. Finally. Renildo. 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 Haito transfer offer. 78 million from Wolfsburg? Nah. Styles, another offer from Sporting. We'll accept that one. So Styles is going to be gone, guys. We signed him last year on, on a permanent deal for like 7 million. So we are turning a profit here, which is a good thing. Embleton loan offer for one year. That's perfect. Perfecto. Guys, we're coming up on three hours of streaming. Thank you guys so much for staying with me and joining me on this Saturday. Yay! Happy Saturday. Thank you for spending your time with me and uh, streaming. Um, one day, we're going to have like 100, maybe 1,000 people watching the stream at one time. We're going to start blowing up, man. We're going to start blowing up. I think just a lot of people who follow me don't know that I stream. I think they just know that I make short videos and stuff like that. Uh, negotiations over. That's fair. That's fair. Joe, let's play Kahoot. Alex, we'll play the new Kahoot that um, I think... Sajith made or something. Uh, he's too expensive. Okay. Palmer, too expensive. Is it 0 against Everton? Okay. Yeah, Kude is way too expensive, man. All right, we got Silva. We're going to go back and offer for Silva here. Let's make this happen again. We already ex we already negotiated a deal, but uh, the contract negotiations fell through. So we're going to offer the same thing that we left with. $47 million. They want 54. Benfica, please don't be stingy with this. 47.6. They're going to accept it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for not being stingy. And then I do want to sign a left back, guys. Grimaldo um, would be cool. Palmieri. Palmieri. Who is that? Sounds familiar. He wants crucial. Bro, Antonio Silva and Haito together. Unreal. Unreal pairing. No release clause. Let's give him 50K. Okay, he wants 50K. He accepts that. Let's go. Antonio Silva is the first player in the squad in season number three. What a signing this is about to be, boys. Thank you for the recommendation. Thank you for voting, guys. Antonio Silva in the squad for 47.6 million from Benfica. A wonder kid into Sunderland. Perfecto. Now we move our attention to the left back position. Let me look up Palmieri real quick. I could also look up... Uh... Oh, what's his name? What is his name? Parisi. 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 Parisi is the Italian guy I was thinking of. Parisi would be cool. Fabiano Parisi, left back. 82 rated on Fiorentina. Might be too expensive, but... And it was Sim. Joao Cancelo or Luke Shaw. Let me look up Cancelo. Cancelo, there he is, Joao Cancelo, he could play left back, I know he's listed as a right back, he's kind of expensive though, I don't know if we have enough money, uh, Emerson, oh, Emerson, gotcha, is that the Italian guy, he plays right back, right, there he is, no, he plays left back, he's on Leon, Italian, of course, he would be amazing, Macho from RC Lons, okay, Macho, guys, thank you for joining, if you can, spare a second to hit that like button, if you haven't hit the like button yet, and if you can, share the stream with a friend, That'd be amazing, guys. Thank you so much for joining. What a stream this has been. So successful. Two trophies in two seasons with Sunderland. Crazy. And we already played in the Europa League and Conference League in one season. That's crazy. I uh, didn't see Macho. Oh, DeMarco would be crazy. Okay. DeMarco, what a signing that would be. He might be too expensive, though. Left wing back. Yeah, 52 million. Contract is expiring, though. It could happen. Remember, we need to sign the English player this season as part of the challenge. Okay. Luke Shaw. Let me look up Shaw. 30 years old at this point. 82 rated on Aston Villa. Juan Miranda, okay? This is who I recommended J-Dub to sign. Juan Miranda. Left back, 25 years old. 82 rated. Approached by Brighton. Okay, so we have to make that quick if we want to sign him. Berargi. Okay, guys, this is the last one we're going to look at. And then we are going to vote on who our next left back is going to be. We'll take a look in a second. Berargi is an 80-rated player on AC Milan. 14 million he's worth. Okay. 
Did you see Felix's bicycle kick? No, I didn't see. I saw that he scored, but I didn't know it was a bicycle. That is amazing, bro. Someone send it in the Discord. Someone send the uh, link to the to the highlights in the Discord. Okay, short list here. Let's go to the left back position. Now, how much money do we have? After signing Silva, we still have 51 million in the bank because we did sell our left back, uh, Styles. Callum Styles. All right, let's go to the left backs here that we have transfer hub. You got Matson. Kirkez is still here. This is who I want to sign. And plus, it would save 20 million to sign a new striker because we do need to sign a new striker as a backup to Joe Bellingham because technically we don't really have a good backup at the moment. And Joe is only a 79 rated player. So I would like to sign a new player uh, to be a backup. We got Kirkez, Trufert. I'm thinking Berardi, Estupignan. Kind of expensive. DeMarco's kind of expensive, but he is on an expiring deal. Okay, guys, I want you to vote here. I need your recommendation. Sign my team. <laughs> sign my team. Which left back should we sign? Okay. I need you guys to vote here in the poll. I'm about to put a poll. Joe, look at Discord. I'll look at Discord in a second here. Astute Peen. Yan? How do you spell it? Astute Peen Yan. A little apostrophe, a little flair over his name. Always, I always wish I had something like that. Uh, Kirk is next. I need to add one more option. All right, guys, I need you to vote on the poll. Who's going to be our next left back? DeMarco, Estupignan, Kirkes, or... Ooh, we're going to do Juan Miranda. That's the fourth option. I, I like what Miranda brings to the team. Really good center. Uh... Sorry, really good defensive left back. All right, guys, let me know in the poll. I'm going to vote as well. Please let me know who we should sign to be our next left back. Joe, one against Sunderland. A1, bro, what? Nah, George, you can't be doing that, bro. You can't be doing that the same day I'm doing this. That's wild, bro. That is crazy. Discord, Discord. Okay, I'll look at Discord right now. Guys, if you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. The link is in the description of this video. And please vote on the poll right now. I need to know who you guys want me to sign as the next left back. Nobody wants Kirkus. Everybody wants a stupid yawn. Fair play, man. Fair play. He is a good player. He plays for Brighton in real life. Is he on Brighton still? No, he's on Tottenham in this save. Interesting. I would like to sign Udoji, but I think he's too expensive. Let me look at the Discord right now. Oh my god, the Discord's... What are you guys saying in the Discord? It's been going crazy. Look at my stream. Oh. Oh my god, you guys have been chatting in the Discord like crazy. Okay, here is the... Here is the goal from Joao Felix. I'm looking at it. It's from a corner kick? Is it really from a corner? Here it comes. Oh, off the header, and then Joao Felix... Bicycle kick goal, holding off the defender. What a beautiful goal. Do you guys think that Barcelona is going to make his loan deal permanent? Let me know. Is Barcelona going to make his loan deal permanent? DeMarco is catching back up in this voting poll here. Nobody wants Juan Miranda. Got Kirk is a 9%. I'm the only one that voted for Kirk is. That's rough. 50% uh, of stupid yawn. <laughs> Bro, if we sign DeMarco, I've never signed DeMarco in a save before in my life. In my life. But if you guys want him, we can make it happen. Okay? We can make it happen. But right now, it's at 50% Estupignan, guys. I think we are going to end up signing Estupignan. He is at 46%. DeMarco's at 38%. Juan Miranda gets one vote. Awesome. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, looks like we're going for a stupid yawn, which is a good option because he's not that expensive either. He's uh, not as expensive as um, Kirkes could be, Madsen would be, or even uh, DeMarco. DeMarco would be really expensive even though he's on an expiring deal. Alright, let's, let's, let's approach the take a player away from Tottenham. Man, I can't talk right now, my bad. Sign Harry Maguire. He's English. We do need to sign an English player, and it's going to have to be a center forward, guys. So give me center forwards that are English that we could sign. We're going to give $35 million plus 3% as a sell-on clause. Oh, my God. This guy's going to be so expensive, man. $36.8 million, please. $45.8 million. They come down a little bit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. $40 million. 
They accept it. Let's go. Okay, we're going to sell another left back so that we can raise some extra funds to sign a striker. So which left back should we sell? Who do we have here? We got Sirkin. Oh, no. I thought we had an extra left back. Oh, no. We had that right back. That's right. We have, like, no left backs anymore. Hold on. Who's on an expiring deal, bro? We have so many players on an expiring deal. We need to take care of this. There we go. Atit. Nice. Sporadic. Neil. El Capitano Neil. He's actually turned into one of our best players. Definitely a crucial first team player. Johnson. Anderson as well. Nice. Got to make sure we do this, guys. Let's give Antonio Silva a development plan. Beat City in the FA Cup, please. I will dance. We're going to do it. Joe, check DMs. I'll check DMs right now. Mateus, bye. Mateus, thank you so much for joining, bro. Did you end up taking over Coventry? Let me know. Um, I'm sorry you got fired from your your uh, your save. Oh, my God. Jack Clark is going to demand a huge wage. 85K. No, 110K a week he accepts. He's our highest paid player now. 42 million in the bank. Guys, we're not going to have any money. We got to sell somebody, man. Um, no, I did Watford. Mateus, you did Watford. Let's go. Awesome. Ivan Tony or Ollie Watkins or Solanke. You know what? Nobody talks about this guy. Solanke is having a great season with Bournemouth. Um, I would sign Solanke. Okay, we have Morgala here. Onin. I think it's time to sell Onin. I'm not going to lie. Nah, he's a captain. Let's. Hey, he's a leader. Let's keep him on the team. We need some group leaders on the team. Um, let's sell this Triantis guy. We don't need him. Let's sell Anderson as well. Don't need him. A couple of good right backs as well. DMs, good. Left mid, good. CMs. I think we got to keep everybody. I think we have to keep everyone. IHG was good off the bench last season. We don't really have a good backup winger either. God, his stupid yawn's going to be so expensive, man. He's going to take up our whole budget pretty much. Is there anybody else that's cheaper? Berargi. Miranda's not cheaper. Shaw's a little bit cheaper, but he's old. Parisi's really expensive. It's got to be. It's got to be a stupid yawn. You guys voted on it. We're going to make it happen, guys. Hopefully, we have enough money to sign him. Sign Palmer. We don't have enough money to sign Palmer. I would love to, but we're just not going to have enough money, guys. I don't think we're going to have enough money to sign a stupid yawn either. For right now, I don't think we're going to have enough money to sign him. That's not good. That is not good. I'm saying Solanke. I'm saying Solanke. I'll, I'll try to sign Solanke. I'll do my best. Okay, this is all the cash we have. Oh, God. Bruh. Bro really just walked out of the negotiations. It's not gonna happen, man. It's not gonna happen. All right, guys, I'm making the executive decision. We're going to sign Kirkes because we don't have enough money to sign Juan Miranda. Don't have enough money to sign Madsen or even a Estupinian. We don't have enough money. So we're going to bring in the Hungarian left back, guys, and Kirkes. And I don't want to sell anybody right now because there's nobody to really sell. And plus, we need some extra cash to sign a new striker. Yeah, Kirkes is going to allow some leeway a little bit. I'm sorry, guys, about the Estupinian one. I'm sorry about it. Bro, my goal is Zerd Puskas. And I see Joe restarting as like, bro, what the heck? <laughs> Yeah, Martin, I'm sorry, bro. But my goal is Zerd Puskas. That's... Joe, check your DMs. Let me check the DMs here. We should be able to get this Kirkes deal out of the way. Let's give him importance. He's going to be a good signing, guys. Ex-AC Milan player, by the way. Uh, no release clause. Thank you. Joe, I came back. Damps, yes, you did came back. Oh, wait. Ew, says Caleb. Ew. Caleb, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. We're getting Milo's Kirkus. He's kind of a funny looking guy, isn't he? Why is his face so scrunched? I don't know. It's what it is. Now, he's a professional footballer, not me. Um, cool. Kirkus now in the squad. Silva's in the squad as well. Gala backup center back. Backup right back. We need a backup striker. Desperately, man.
Yeah, right now our backup striker is Rusin. I don't know how to say his name, but he's only a 70 rated player, 26 years of age. 81 pace isn't bad, but I want a backup striker. I need a backup striker, guys. So let's look up those players that you guys just recommended, like Solanke, Depay, might be pretty cheap. He might demand a pretty high wage though, so that might be bad. Uh, oh my God, he's still worth 30 mil. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Solanke, let's take a look at Solanke here. Um, Solanke, Dominic Solanke on Bournemouth. No, he's on Wolves now. He's a little bit too expensive though. God, I would have liked to sign him. Uh, who's the guy for? Who's the guy for Tottenham? He's like a young player. I forget his name. Brewster, let me look up Brewster. Is he English? I think he is. Rion Brewster. He is English. He could be all right. He's in the budget. Joy won the FA Cup. Let's go, Dibs. Absolute dubs, bro. Three. Let's go. FA Cup. We're FA brothers, bro. We're FA Cup brothers. Because I won the FA Cup. Now you've won the FA Cup. Love it, bro. Jimenez. Guys, remember, I can't sign anybody that's really high rated. Like, I'm thinking like a 75 or something. Uh, I'll look up Alejo Veliz on Tottenham. Um, he wasn't the guy I was thinking of. I'm thinking of, I think the guy I'm thinking of, he's, he, I think he's black. Something like that. I think he's black. He's not a white guy. Um, or South American. Something like that, bro. Jimenez. Let me look up Jimenez. Oh, Santi Jimenez? Yeah, Santi Jimenez is not gonna happen, bro. He's way... Oh, Dean Scarlett. That's who I'm talking about. Yeah. Dean Scarlett. Yes. Thank you, Damps. That was a good one. Good pull right there. I think he'd be good. We'll shortlist him. He's not too expensive. Let me look up English center forwards that are pretty young. Just center forwards in general. It's got to be an English player. We got to stick with the rules. Yeah, there's no good center forwards. Striker. Young striker. Okay, here we go. Oh, Dunlap. He's a good one, too. Liam Dunlap would have been good. Gail Hart from Leeds. Okay. Fair play. Gail Hart. We got Joseph. We got Danny Loader. I don't know who that is. Ellis Sims is pretty good. Okay. Jay Stansfeld. Stansfield. Jebson, Jebison, Cameron Archer, it's gonna be too expensive, we only have like 11 million, Evan Ferguson, I wish man, I wish we can get Evan Ferguson, but he's way too expensive, yeah, he's bros worth 35 million, he's on Real Madrid already, that's insane, Ollie Watkins, I think he'll be too expensive as well, yeah, 30 million, bro, Atletico Madrid has everybody man, Bruno, 14 goals and 9 assists. We'd love to see that, man. Ivan Tony, I think he might have been too expensive as well. But I'll look him up. 21 mil, a little bit too expensive. Mukhtar. This guy? Yep. Oh. He's still too expensive, though. Gilhart. Let me look up Gilhart real quick. Joe Gilhart, central attacking midfielder. Looks like he could probably play center forward. He's got really good shooting stats, good pace, good dribbling stats. He could definitely pay, play as a center forward. And his passing isn't great enough to be a cam. So he can be a center forward. I like it. I like it. And he's English. Good player right there. Kulisevsky is going to be way too expensive. Esau, 31 goals for Damps is crazy, bro. Damps is having the season that we all wish for, bro. FA Cup final, 31 goals from his top goal scorer. Insane stuff, man. Okay, let's go to the transfer hub here. Strikers. Georges, Boniface, Archer, Hlozek, all of them too expensive. Um, Tony too expensive. Le Leonardo too expensive. Watkins too expensive. Solanke's too expensive. Brewster, Scarlett, Delaps too expensive. Loader, Sims, Stansfeld, Stansfeld. And of course, Galehart. I like the Galehart one. Let me see how much we have in the bank. Yeah, 12 million in the bank. Just about 11. And Messi? Let me look up Messi real quick. Imagine Messi. Imagine. What about Ronaldo? Lionel Messi, center forward. Oh, no, he's still way too expensive. 44 million he's worth. 87 rated. Bro's a dog. Bro's a dog. Look, look at that face, bro. Bro is for sure a dog. Bro's mean mugging. That's like a... Uh, that's a mugshot right there. 
Where's Re oh Ronaldo retired? That sucks. I'm probably getting sacked. Says Dams, how are you gonna get sacked, bro? You just won the FA Cup. That's a dub. That's a dub in my book. Okay, guys, I'm gonna let you vote here. Yeah, Messi's way too expensive. All right, I'm gonna let you vote here on who our next center forward should be to back up Job Bellingham. Who should be our striker sign me? And for all of you here right now, pat yourself on the back, man. I, I appreciate you guys so much, man, for watching me and uh, watching this stream. This has been a fun stream so far. A lot of fun. And uh, I can't wait to win some big trophies. Gail Hart. Uh, we also have Sims. Is that what his name is? Sims. Let me look at all the guys here. Sims, Stansfield, Loader, Scarlet. Okay. All right. Where's the... Sims from Coventry. So, they Coventry used Sims to replace Giorcarez. Interesting. Oh, Jekko. Oh, my God. Imagine we signed Jekko. Dane Scarlet. And we also have... Stan's field. Guys, remember, we don't have much money. We do not have much money. Sajith, we don't have enough money to sign Felix. We don't have enough money to sign Palmer. Joe, did you check your DMs? I'll check in a second. Felix, we don't have enough money to sign Felix. And I doubt they'll let him go out on loan. Guys, please, out of the four players, remember, we have to sign an English player. We've already signed three players this season, but we have not signed an English player. <sighs> please let me know who we should sign, who you think we should sign. Make your voices heard. Guys, we had 20 likes on the video. I didn't even ask for likes today, really. Let's get to 25 next. Guys, thank you so much. Wow, that's a lot. That's awesome, man. That is amazing. Keep spamming that like button, baby. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. What are we at right now? 56% Gale Hart. Very interesting. Okay, I did vote for Gale Hart too. 33% Scarlet. Nobody wants Sims. That's rough for him. Stansfield had a vote at 11%. I wanted to check Discord because George said he wanted me to look at my messages here. Dude, did you see my video on YouTube for shorts? No, I haven't seen it yet. George, I have not seen it. I'll tell you what. We'll pull it up after we, after we end this... After we end uh, this Sunderland rebuild, we'll pull up your video, okay? Guys, go follow George. I kept the job, lads. Let's go. Dan's kept the job for another season. Um, hopefully, you can take that and run with it. Oh, Victor Hulkey would be good. Joe, what happened? To, what happened? Joe, what if I'm pooping green? Then you might have eaten green eggs and ham, and you might be a Dr. Seuss character. If you're pooping green, bro. That's not a good thing. All right, it looks like Gail Hart is the winner. Who recommended Gail Hart? Who was it? Because this is actually a really good recommendation. I don't think I've ever used him before in career mode. And he looks more like a center forward than he looks like a KM. Um, based on his stats. So, uh, we're going to offer 7 million for him. They're going to ask for 9.5 with a 15% sell-on clause. I'm going to go down to 8.5. Rayo Vallecano is going to accept that with a 15% sell-on clause. Joe Gail Uh Joe. Joe to Joe. Oh, his second positions were striker and center forward. Okay, so he's definitely more of a forward. Perfect. That's the perfect signing, bro. Okay, make sure you put the song. Okay, yeah, so I don't get copyrighted. Gotcha. Um, we'll give him a sporadic squad role because he's... Rotation, that's fair. Rotation, he's going to be our backup. He'll get a lot of game time. Uh, we're going to convert him, of course, to a center forward. Uh, this is... I love this, bro. Sign Klopp? Who is that, Caleb, bro? Uh, valid, says George. Valid, valid, valid. George, eighth and FA Cup champion. Valid or not? Yes, valid for... Newcastle, definitely. All right, we're going to give this kid a uh, 30K a week wage, and he is going to ask for 38K a week. That's kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but he's going to accept it. Nice. Thank you, Blood. Yes, Damps, that is valid. Valid finish. Eighth place and an FA Cup final. When was the last time Newcastle won a... Wait, no, they actually won a trophy last season, right? I think they won the FA Cup last year. Did they not? Am I tripping? Okay, guys, that was our third and final signing of season number three. And now we are ready to cook, cook, cook. Joe Galehart coming into the squad. Absolutely awesome stuff. 
Look at this team, man. This team is awesome. I will say that we're kind of thin at center backs, but we do have Onin here. We have Morgala here. Um, but we have, <laughs> bro, Haito and Silva as the center backs. So we signed Kirkes, we signed Silva, and we also signed uh, Joe Gerhardt to be our next backup striker. Perfect. This is the team we're going to run for season number three, guys. Drop your predictions in the comments. Where do you think we're going to finish in the Premier League? Do you think we're going to get relegated? If you do, let me know. Um, do you think we're going to get a European spot? Let me know. I would love that. That'd be amazing. Um, but yeah, just let me know. Let's do some development plans real quick. Joe Gilhart, we're going to make an official center forward, and it shouldn't take too long. Yes, it's only going to take two weeks. Striker would take 17 weeks. Center forward, two weeks. That is amazing. Love to see that. There we go. Fermin, only 21 weeks to be a 78-rated center midfielder. And uh, Lewis Miley's doing great stuff. Box to box for him. 14 goals and 11 assists. Our top assist during his first season at Sunderland. Remember, we paid double what his transfer value was. Just to get him from our rivals. Because I thought that was fair. If we paid double. If we gave them an offer they couldn't refuse, they would have to sell him to us. Kirkus is a good player, man. I think he's going to be good for us. I think he's going to be really good for us, guys. Okay, Joe, a backup goalkeeper and a center back. I wish, but we already used all three signings. That is the rules. Three signings per season, and one of them has to be an English player. Man, hey, Joe. Uh, one of them has to be an English player. Guys, we are all set to go. I think let me hire one more coach, and we should be good to go. We're going to do gang and pressing. Our first season in the Premier League is upon us, boys. It is time. It is officially time, guys. I hope y'all are ready, man. This is about to go crazy, bro. About to go crazy. And since we're not in so many competitions this year, I think we can uh, afford to do all-out performance for some of these players. And, uh, yeah. And performance focus for some. And for others, not. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's hire one coach, and then we will start to sim until January and see how we're doing. Yeah, let's hire a five-star attacking coach. Hopefully, Job is going to score a lot of goals now. Perfect. Perfecto. Amazing. Love to see it. Let's go to the calendar, boys. Here we go. Drop your predictions. What do you think we're going to do? Sim until January 1st. No way Brighton got relegated. No way Brighton got relegated. And a center back. Uh, yeah. Uh, Damps, we're going to sign some more guys at the end of the season and at the beginning of season number uh, four. Right now, we're entering Season 3. We're in the Premier League for the first time. Can we make some noise, baby? That's the point. To make some noise. Got a, some preseason friendlies. We beat Lecce, lose to Verde Ribbon, and uh, beat Cremonese. That's a good thing. First Premier League match at home at the Stadium of Light. Back in the Premier League for the first time since 2017, and we tie Nottingham Forest. But we beat Brighton. Maybe Brighton's just not that good in the game. We win in the Carabao Cup. We tie West Ham, who are kind of the ops at this point. And then we tie Leicester. I think the one game that we play this season is going to be against Newcastle. I think that's the one match. We just beat Manchester United. Come on. Mm. Beat Crystal Palace, guys. I think we might get, we might win the league this season. We just beat Man City. We might win the league. Oh, we lost to Newcastle. Oh, <laughs> a rivalry match. We had been doing so good. Oh, what a tough run of games. Chelsea now, Arsenal, bro. We face so many tough teams right there. Now Liverpool. Yeah, bro, we've lost five of the last six. I thought we were going to win. Blood is still streaming. Nora, we're still streaming. You're streaming, bro. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for coming back, Nora. We're on season three right now, and we're doing pretty good. Just beat Leeds. Just beat Wolves. I'm liking this team, man. We're about to enter halfway, the halfway mark. Just beat Tottenham. Hi, Everton. Lost to Fulham. Are you kidding me? Bruh. Okay, halfway through the season, how are we doing? Let's take a look at how this squad is doing. Remember, this is a reminder. This is the squad. We signed Antonio Silva. We signed Joe Gailhart and Milos Kirkes. Those were the three signings last during the summer. And in the standings, we are ninth place in the standings. 29 points for eight wins, five draws, six losses. We started off so well. And then uh, we had a tough run of games where we played Chelsea, Liverpool, Arsenal, Man City, Man United, all like back to back to back to back. We ended up beating City and Man United this season, so that was amazing. Um, but yeah, 
First place is Man City. Newcastle is right on their heels halfway through the season on 35 points. Honestly, we're not that far off first place. Guys, we're only six, seven points off first place halfway through the season. I think it's only going to take like 75 points to win the Prem this season. Or 80. That's not much. FA Cup, are we in this? Yeah, we play Norwich next. Carabao Cup, are we still in this? No, we, I think we lost to Arsenal. Round of four, we lost to Arsenal. Crazy. AC Milan, who? Joe, I predict we're going to go fourth and be in the semis of the UCO. We're not in the Champions League this season. Or the Conference League. Unfortunately, Sajid says relegation. Oh, Anthony Gordon would be a nice signing. George Durabio. Oh, yeah, you should do a Rabio edit. That'd be fun. Um, Corey Gaffney. Joe, what if I gained 40 pounds down there? Now nah, that... Dude, dude. If you gained 40 pounds down there, the girth is going to go from this to this. Nobody wants to deal with that, bro. I don't think anyone's going to want to deal with that. Let's take a look at these stats through season one so far. Jack Clark picking up right where he left off, up to an 88 rated, nine goals, four assists. Neil in the midfield, El Capitano, six goals and one assist. Louis Miley doing his thing, four goals and three assists. Rusin off the bench, three goals. Silva, two goals. Bargy, two and four. Where the heck is Joe Bellingham? One goal and one assist this year for him. That is an absolute travesty. That is, he's not hurt either. He's grown three overalls. What is up with him? Pace is good. The training is shooting. All right, let's get his weak foot up, I guess. Let's just get his weak foot up. That's crazy. Sign Palmer next season, okay? I'm signing Bremer, Gleason Bremer. Kind of an underrated pickup in career mode. Uh, nobody really talks about him because he's on Juventus. I'm sorry, Nora. But nobody talks about Juventus players anymore. Chiesa used to be one of the hottest prospects in the world football and on career mode a couple of years ago. Nobody talks about him anymore. Vlahovic, same thing. Nobody talks about him anymore. Guys... Juventus, at least right now, the past five years, you go to Juventus to die, pretty much. I'm sorry, Nora, that's just the thing, bro. And until they get a manager in there and a leadership crew, you know, like a director of football that knows what the hell he's doing, they're not going to win any games, and they're not going to uh, do well in the league. They're not going to win any Champions League games anymore. Vlahovic is actually good, though. He has 19 goals. I know Vlahovic is good, but nobody talks about him. Finn. Hey, stop. No, don't do that. Sorry, guys, he's biting the door frame. He's biting the door frame. Chill out, Finn. Come on, man. Don't be doing that. All right. Uh, Joe, I think next season you should sign Savio from Girona. He's a baller. It is from Brazil. That would be amazing. Savio is a really good player. He is on Girona. I think he's on loan from Man City, correct? Um, all right, let's change my boy jo Joe Bellingham's instructions. Maybe that's his problem. Target player. It's time to get in behind because his pace is so good now. Uh, drift wide since both of these guys are cutting inside, right? Yeah, both of these guys are cutting inside. Let's tell Joe Bellingham to, to drift wide. And hopefully he's going to get some more goals now because we need him to score. All right, let's start simming, guys. We can play one game per season. Let's sim to the next Newcastle match. Where is it? There it is. Oh, it's, it's the second to the last match of the season. And I think we're going to play it depending on where we are in the league. We just beat Wolves 3-1. Let's go. FA Cup. Could we make another run in the FA Cup? We just beat North Norwich. We're in the round of five. Lost to, lost to Leeds. Okay, no big deal. We got Wigan in the Cup next. Should be an easy dub. It's a draw, so there's going to be a replay. It's high Liverpool. I'll take that. Lost to Bournemouth. How do we lose to Wigan, bro? Bruh. Okay, we're losing every match right now, guys. This is not good. Chelsea next. 3-1-L. Bruh. Oh, Tapsable would be a good signing. Bro, we're losing every game. Nah, we're losing every single game, guys. This is not good. Not a good season, man. Okay, that's the second time we beat Tottenham this season. And we have yet to lose to Man United. I'll take it. Okay, now we're tying. We just beat West Ham 3-1, and now we are going to play this match against Newcastle. Actually, maybe we should just sim. Is it going to matter at all? Right now, we're in 11th place. I mean, we're two points off of ninth, but we need to realistically get to 7th if we want to make Europe. So this match really doesn't matter much. Um, Newcastle's in 3rd. I think I'm just going to quick sim it, guys. I'm not going to play it. I'm not going to play this match. Um, it's not going to mean too much. I don't think we're going to get uh, Europe. 
let's take a look at the squad. They, they got Anthony Gordon, who I would like to steal from them next season. Cole Mwani, Edwards on the right, and Gabri Vega in the middle. So that's who they got to replace Tonali and Miley. They got Fratezzi as well. Schlotterbeck, Simicon, Pope, and goal. Interesting team. Uh, Bargy is on a red card, so we're going to take him out. He's up to an 85, by the way. Growing, growing like a baller. Yeah, we need a backup winger next season. Absolutely. A backup winger is what we need. Gelhart's up to a 78. Oh, we never made him a center forward. Oh, we have to do that. Minum's up to an 80. Miley's an 80. Lots of good growth. And we're going to get a draw. 1-1. One, one. Ramsdale got injured. Minu scored the goal for us. We'll take a draw, man. We'll take the draw. And then I do want to change Gailhart's development plan to a center forward. There he is. He goes to a 79. Let's go. What a signing that was. Okay, we got one match remaining this season. It's uh, Manchester City. They're on 81 points right now. Probably first in the league. In the league. Should I pick up Tapsuba? Yes, pick up Tapsuba. The Burkina Faso legend, bro. Shout out Burkina Faso. I had a roommate in college. He was from uh, Burkina Faso. That was pretty cool, man. So I, I, I had never heard of Burkina Faso before that um, until he told me about it. And we lose to City. Foden on the score sheet. Unlucky. Okay. All right, guys. Time to look at the stats. After we sim a little bit. Top goal scorer for season number three was Jack Clark. Of course, moving up a division, especially playing in the Premier League, it's going to be tough to score goals, but 13 goals and five assists is pretty good. Neil from the midfield, 11 and two. Bargy, eight and seven. Top assister, by the way. Lewis Miley, five and four from the midfield. It looks like he may have gotten injured because he only played 31 matches. Four and two for Joe Bellingham. That is awful. But he grew five ratings, so that's good. I mean, Rusin off the bench had the same amount of goals, and he's a 71 rated player. Minu, three goals. That's his best season. Bursto, also three goals. And he's a 69 rated player. Uh, I guess Gelhart didn't really score, did he? Fermin Lopez, two goals. Uh, well, it's not a big deal, guys. We finished mid-table. We're not getting relegated. I'll take that. Gelhart did not score at all. Very interesting. Job needs to pick it up, man. He really needs to pick it up. Uh, we do finish in 12th place, which is mid-table right where we want to be to make a big leap next season. I think we're poised to make a big leap. Maybe it's the year we sign a striker. I don't expect that we're going to have 89 million in the bank, but getting relegated is Nottingham Forest, Crystal Palace, and Wolves. Wolves. Patterson goes to an 86. He's one of our highest rated players, our goalkeeper is. And who would have thought that Mainu would be our lowest rated player in the starting 11? So maybe we go for a top-notch DM. Miley's doing great things, so I want to keep him. But Mainu has been kind of underwhelming, I'm not going to lie. So guys, let me know if we should sign a uh, defensive midfielder. I'm going to sim to the end of the season. All right. I'm not going to lie, I just got tired all of a sudden. I got really tired, I'm not going to lie. But uh, we're going to do one more season at least. We're just over three hours, guys. Thank you for sticking with me, man. Thank you for sticking with me. You guys are absolute legends of the channel. I don't usually stream on Fridays. I mean, Saturdays, but it's been fun. It's been really fun. Have we had a lot of people watch the stream? Yeah, we've had a lot of people watch the stream. De Jong at DM would be awesome. God damn, you're rich, Damps. What, what? I got 171 million. That's crazy. If you guys don't know, Damps is rebuilding Newcastle right now. All right, let's see how much money we're going to go into season number four with. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Moment of truth. Moments of truth. Momento of truth. It is going to be $62 million, a little bit less than last season, but we weren't in any European competition, so we didn't get money from that. $62 million is a lot to deal with, and guess who is a free agent? Matthias Sule is a free agent. Nora, this is for you, bro. Matthias Sule is a free agent. Should we do it, yes or no? Approached by Newcastle. <laughs> Dude, the rivalry runs so deep. Literally, we're competing on all fronts. On the pitch and off the pitch, we are competing with Newcastle. We're competing for the signing of Matthias Sule. Sign Palmer, sign Gavi, sign Vlahovic. What do you think, Norris? Should I sign Matthias Sule? 
Yes, do it, says Sajid. I think we should do it. For free? I think we have to do it, bro. Noor, where you at, bro? This is your guy. This is your guy. Mukhtar, Mukhtar, okay. Sign Palmer. Diong at DM. Guys, I think I have to do this. I think Nora just left or something, but we're signing Matthias Sule. On a free, I have to do it, man. I have to do it on a free. Gots to do it. Rotation. Thank God he doesn't want a starting position. That is perfect. We need a backup winger. Palmer, Palmer. Henry, I know Palmer, I know. Henry, thanks for being here, by the way. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you staying for so long. Legend. 60k a week is a good wage to give him. And now we're down to 58 million in the bank, but it is what it is. Uh, De Jong at DM. De Jong might be too expensive. I'm, I can't lie, bro. He might be way too expensive, but he would be perfect, wouldn't he? He'd be a lot of fun to sign. Matthias Sule, our first signing of season number uh, four. Georg Reyes is on Barcelona. And he just moved, so we won't be able to sign him. He's worth 60 million. What a signing for Barcelona. Wow. McAllister just moved to Roma. Can't sign him. Interesting. Palmer is worth around 56 to 45 million. We might have enough money to sign him, but I don't think we need a winger anymore. Uh, Kude is too expensive. Estupignon. Cancelo is on an expiring contract. Nora, where is Sule? We just signed Sule. We just signed him, bro. Granite Jaka would be cool. Sign Savio, backup winger. Okay. So right now, this is the team, guys. Now with Sule in the squad, we're going to move Ba to the reserves and put Sule onto the bench here as a backup. Oh, perfecto, man. This is perfecto. There we go. Gailhart's an 80 center forward. Good midfielders. Miley's up to an 81. I think we have to replace Manu. And I hate to say that because he was a marquee signing in season one. A marquee signing. In season one. It's pretty cool that we've already that we've kept Pembele, Patterson, Neil, and Clark. Four guys in season four that were already here before. And they've stayed on the team. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. So, Miley, Caicedo. Ooh, Caicedo's a good one. Henry, I like it. I like it. Gardacho for a sub. Hani Mukhtar. Okay. Hani Mukhtar. Okay. Should I sign Raya to replace Pope? Yeah, Pope's getting kind of old. I, I would sign Raya. Yeah, Damps probably. Sign Varela. He's a good DM. Okay, Varela. I know we put him on the transfer hub not too long ago. Varela, here he is. 82 rated. 24 years of age. He's actually really good. He's really good. Got Greenway down here. Uh, Varela, he might be a little bit expensive, but maybe we'll sell one of our DMs. You know what? That's a good idea. Let's sell one of our DMs and uh, sell Miley so he could be a, the best midfielder. He's an 81, bro. He's, he's growing. He's doing good for us. Miley's solid. He's solid just where he is. We're going to add this guy to the transfer list. That reminds me. Contracts, bro. So many guys have expiring contracts. We're going to add this guy to the transfer list. This guy as well. He's on the transfer list. Ba, we're going to add to the transfer list. Yeah, we're just going to sell everybody here on the transfer list. Crompton. At least we'll keep. He's our backup fullback. Yeah, we'll keep him. And then Sirkin, he's our backup left back. We'll keep him as well. Yeah. Cool. Okay. DePaul is a good one. Caicedo, Lavia. Okay. Let me look up these players, guys. We need a new DM. I'm going to look up Caicedo real quick. I don't think Caicedo usually gets to be super expensive in these saves. Moses Caicedo, 24 years of age, 60 million he's worth, which isn't too crazy, but we don't have that much money. Kevin De Bruyne, Rodrigo DePaul. Okay. Uh, here's Rodrigo DePaul, 32 years of age. He is in the budget, I think, right? Uh, Kevin De Bruyne. Let me look up De Bruyne. Is he still playing? Four years down the line, Kevin De Bruyne is still playing as a 35-year-old. Center mid for Real Madrid. Contract is expiring. Not sure if we have enough money for him. They all suggest me someone. Got, oh, La Lavia. Let me look up Lavia. Lavia would be good. He's the same rating as Mainu, though. So, my Miley for Lavia. Enzo 
Fernandez. He's worth way too much. Can't sign him. Endo. <laughs> Endo, okay. Endo's a funny signing. Batudo Endo. He'd be a good squad player to have, definitely. Casimiro Kamavinga. Casimiro might actually be the type of player that bosses the midfield just enough for one season to get us over the hump and get us into Europe for next year. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. Caleb, I need a center back and goalkeeper. Maybe a right winger. Um, goalkeeper, you could do Trubin. Let me look up Kamavinga. I'm sure he's too expensive. Eduardo Kamavinga, there he is. Yeah, 126 million. He's on Newcastle, man. Bro's on Newcastle. Savio, he's going to be too expensive, isn't he? Left mid. Yeah. 100 million. He's on Twal. What the heck? He's on Twal. Uh, Sign Trap. Casimiro. Gordon. Nice. That's a good signing. Okay. I think we have some good options. How much money do we have? Oh, we have 55 million in the bank. That's more than I thought we had. That's more than I thought we had. Okay. I think we can go for Valera then. Valera's really good. I've never used him before. I think we could sign him. Ugarte is too expensive. Lavia. Caicedo is too expensive, I think. Varela is right in the ballpark. Varela's right in the ballpark, man. I've never used him before. 78 defensive stats. 79 passing. Look at all these traits that he has. I like it. Conte, Xhaka. Okay. Should I let Pope for one more? Um. Maybe just go Trubin or, or uh, Raya. Conte's kind of expensive, I'm not going to lie. I'll transfer him, though. Do a poll. Okay, I'll do a poll, and I'll let you guys vote. And by the way, thank you guys so much for staying here. This has been a really fun stream. Granit Jaka is one of those players, just like Casemiro, I think would be good for, like, one season, just to get us into the, into the Champions League. All right. Next, CDM. Who should it be, guys? We have Valera. Valera. Who else do we have on here? Messi. Joao Felix. Should I sign Felix? Oh, yes. You should sign Felix. To Newcastle, I think he'd be perfect for Newcastle. Playing with uh, Anthony Gordon and Isak, I think he'd be good. Except, don't put, him, put, don't put him on the right wing, though. I don't think he'd be good over there. But put him as a cam or a second striker. Right behind the striker. I think he would be perfect right there. I think that's more, his more natural position. Oh, yeah. Di Gregorio is a really good one. Yeah, he plays for Monza in real life. That's a good one. You should sign him. You should sign him. Okay. Who else do we have? We got Valera. Lavia. Casimiro. Xhaka. Not a ton of young players. Jaka, Casimiro. All right, guys, which defensive midfielder should we sign? Sign Messi for fun. Sajith, are you talking to me? Because I would do it. I would, I'd be down. Sign Messi for fun, I'd be down. I'd be down. Guys, vote in the chat. I'm going to vote too. And guys, thank you for the like buttons. I, I appreciate it, man. Let's get to 25 likes. We're almost there. Y'all are legends, bro. Team! I don't usually stream on Saturdays, but you guys have made, have made this a fun stream. No doubt about it, man. Lavia is up to 50%. I'm surprised about that. I am quite surprised about that. Hey, Joe, you. Yeah, Joe, you. Okay, okay, okay. So, if we have enough money, I'll sign Messi himself, bro. I'll sign Messi if we have enough money. Thank you for spamming the chat, guys. I appreciate it, bro. So, Miley for Pessi. Oh, my God. Jorginho. Okay, Jorginho from Henry. Son Malero, can you check him out? Yeah, I'll check out Malero. Benedict, thank you so much for staying, bro. I appreciate it. Now, you guys are awesome. What a stream this is. What a freaking stream this is. Someone suggest a center back. How about center back? How about Kubarsi? Nah, he's probably not good enough. Um, Ronald Araujo, if you have enough money. Araujo, he seems like a Newcastle kind of guy. Valera is now winning the chat. 
poll. 36%, guys. I'm going to end the poll there. Lavia. Oh, wait, no. Casimiro also was up there. I didn't even see Casimiro. Was at 36%, bro? What? No way. Jonathan Tall is a good one. Yeah, Kosu Anu as well. Kosu Nahu? Anu? As well. How about... Uh, Oma Bamadeli. Oma Bamadeli. I think he plays for Norwich as a center back. Uh, taps about Yeah, honestly, just go for Taps about Burkina Faso legend, bro. Uh, guys, thank you for voting. I don't even know who to sign now because you guys also said Casemiro at 36%. Let me look up how much Messi would be. Oh, true a many, Henry. True a many, I wish, bro. He's going to be way too expensive. Um, let me see how much Messi would cost if he's even still playing. He might not be playing anymore. Yeah, true a many is worth 99 million on Juventus, Nora. That's for you, brother. Uh, who was the other guy? Who was the other guy you wanted me to look up? Uh, Malero. Malero. I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at him. Messi is still around. We're 34 million. 34 million. Let me do some math in my head. So if we signed... Ooh, we got an offer for Pembele. No, we're going to block that. We're going to keep Pembele here. Sorry, Roman, not for you, bro. Okay, if we signed Messi for 34 million, we could sign Casemiro too. And not Valera. So if we signed Messi and Casemiro, that would be insane. Hmm. But we still wouldn't have signed an English player. That's a problem. That's a problem. I guess we can just sign a fourth player for cheap that's English. I'd be down. Ah. That makes it tough. That makes it kind of tough. I'm not going to lie. How much is Casimiro worth? Okay. I'm going to put up a poll right now, guys. I'm going to put up a poll. Should I use my last two signings to sign Casimiro and Messi? For fun, bro. This isn't really realistic, but I think it'd be fun. I think we should spice things up a little bit. We always do realistic stuff. I have never signed Messi in a career, career mode in my life. What do you guys think? Let me know in the chat. Should I do this? Yes or no? Vote, vote, vote. It's Pessy. It's not, yeah, it's not. Oh, what if Newcastle had uh, Ronaldo and then we just picked up Messi? I accidentally voted yes. Okay, no problem. Check out Malero. I'll look up Malero. Nah, George is actually sick for that. That's crazy. Isaac McAdoo is a good center back dance. McAdoo is good. Bro, I don't know what to do here, man. I've seen a lot of you guys say yes and say some say no. How do we have 12 votes here? I don't care how we have 12 votes. I don't know what to do. I'm going to end the poll. Bro, I don't know what to do. Frick. Frick, frick, frick. Bruh. Let me look up Rico Lewis. Maybe we do sell Pembele and sign Rico Lewis. But Lewis might be way too expensive, man. Where is he? All the way at the bottom, of course. He's only worth 37 million. An exciting prospect on Bayern Munich. Honestly, I feel like he would do so good at Bayern Munich. He seems like a Bayern Munich type of player. Uh, we can sign him for around 50 to 40 million. How much could we get for Pembele? Pembele. I haven't been too impressed by Pembele yet. I kind of wish we kept Hume instead of Pembele. Um, let me add him to the transfer list for 32 mil. Development plan. He's not going to grow for a long time, so I think this is a good sale. Yeah, we're going to add Pembele to the transfer list. And uh, probably...
Nice. He looks good. He's got good stats. Pessy Rob Lewandowski and Holly. He did. That's true. Lewandowski should have won a Ballon d'Or the year that Messi took it from him. Holland should have won it last year, in my opinion. Hey, sign Tapsoba. Let's go. There you go. Okay. Sign Barkley. Okay, Barkley. The others were either not good or too expensive. Okay, so Rico Lewis could be our English player. So now we just need a DM. Okay, I think I figured it out, guys. We're going to sign Valera. I I've never used Varela before, and I want to sign some players I've never used before. And Varela, I've never used before. Casemiro, I've used, and stuff like that. And then we're going to sign Pembele and ho hopefully get uh, Rico Lewis in as our English signing. That's the plan right now. But uh, I got to get this guy in first year. 40 million. They want 42.7. What if I gave you 37.7 and gave you a sell-on clause of about 5%? He's going to not want the selling clause. He wants money right now. Let's do 41.5 million. What do you say for Varela? He's going to accept that. Let's go. We saved some extra cash too. This is our second signing of the season. Remember, we already signed Matthias Sule on a free transfer as our backup right winger because we needed a backup winger desperately. Um, and now Kobe Mainu hasn't been growing very well recently. So we're bringing in somebody else that I think maybe have has higher potential in the game. 60k a week is fine. Cool. I'll send my team in Discord. Yeah, guys, check out Discord. See how Dams' team is and tell him uh, where he needs to address his squad. Pinado Route 2013 Ballon d'Or. Ooh. Saquon Barkley from the Giants, now on the Eagles. Yes, Caleb, that's true. Uh, that's honestly like Lewis Miley going to Sunderland from Newcastle. Yeah, that's crazy. Look at you, Caleb, keeping up with the football stats. American football stats. I love it, man. All right. Unfortunately, Kobe, Kobe Mainu has not turned out to be the player that we expected. So Varela is coming in. Never used him before, but hopefully he turns out to be a good player. And then that does mean Ayuchichi is going to come onto the reserves here as a backup cam. I mean, maybe we just sell Ayuchichi because we don't really have uh, a position for him on the team. So we could do that as well. Sign Roque. <laughs> Hokey, Hokey, Bruh. not Roque, Hokey. I keep saying his name wrong, my bad. Terrence just offer. We do have a Lewis Miley offer here. I know George wants me to sell him for... How is he worth 61 million? This makes no sense to me. He's only an 81 rated player. He's 20 years of age. Bro, it says we might be able to get 82 million for him. But now we only get one more signing this season, and I don't want it to be a midfielder. Nah, Magic Rob to Ronaldo. That's true, that's true. That did happen. Uh, Tarantula's loan offer. We're going to sell him. Yeah, we're not selling Lewis Miley this season. But maybe next season. But he's our best midfielder, bro. Him and, like, Neil. I think Neil's the other guy. They're so good. Anderson accept. Miley rejects 65 million this time. They're trying to pair up Barella with Lewis Miley. What a pair up that would be. Derek Henry left us, Joe. You should be our new right back. Oh, Caleb, you're from Tennessee? I didn't know that. Uh, running back. Not right back. Running back. Um, okay. My, my dad always said that I'd be a good running back uh, if I played American football. I never played American football. I played one season of flag football when I was younger. I was on the Bengals. The Bengals. That was fun, man. That was a fun time. Uh, but yeah, I mean, running back, I'm not big enough to be running back. You guys know I'm, I got skinny-ass legs, bro. You got to have tree trunks as legs to be a running back in the National Football League um, if you don't want to get injured or just get blown up and die. Um, bro, that, that position gets beat up. E easily bro but i i wish I, I i would do it you know what if they invited me to a tryout one day let's say we have a million followers and we do football content american football content too someday which i do want to move over to 2k and uh madden content as well i don't just want to stick with fifa content the rest of my life uh the rest of my time on youtube but i do want to do madden and uh 2k especially because i do like playing both of those a lot um also, other gaming stuff, but for right now, I think we stick with FIFA probably for the remainder of the year, and then we'll see. We'll, we'll reevaluate how much um, the channel has grown, and maybe it'll be time for a switch if uh, career mode's not getting it done. All right, by the end of the year. Crompton transfer offer will accept this. Ronaldo owns Barca. Sign Hokey. Okay, sign Hokey. Joe, can you check Paco from Frankfurt? That's a really good 
option. I think it's Ecuadoria, man. Ecuadoria. 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 Ecuador. It's not Ecuadoria. What am I talking about? Ecuador. Uh, coming up with a lot of great young players, man. Caicedo. Pacho. There's this winger, I think, who plays for Wolfsburg, I think. Maybe. Um, all right, guys. We're going to sell Pembele here, and hopefully we'll sign Rico Lewis to be his replacement. 45 million. Thank you, Poch. Pochettino, my guy. Appreciate it, bro. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll have enough money after selling Pembele to get Rico Lewis in the squad, and he's going to be our English right back signing. We could also sign maybe Reese James. Uh, Mali, another offer. Arsenal come in now for Pembele. We're going to negotiate this and hopefully get more than what Chelsea offered, which was 45 million. Let's try to get 46 million for this man. We're going to ask for 47 first. They're going to accept it. Thank you, Mikel Arteta. Okay, perfecto. Love that. If we exclude pens from Pinaldo's goals in 2022 World Club Cup, how much is it? How many hat tricks does Pinaldo have against Barca? I have no idea. I don't know if he's trying to be rhetorical right there with that question or not. <laughs> but Sajid, um, I think he is being... No, he's not being rhetorical. He's saying that Ronaldo wouldn't have as many goals because of his pens. Okay, Rooster, we're going to accept this offer as well. We're selling a lot of players right now. I'm not going to lie. We're going to reject this. I think Onin is just going to stay on the team the rest of the year. Uh, the rest of the career mode, honestly. Um, all or eight, zero. Guys, we're approaching three and a half hours of stream time. Thank you so much for staying with me, man. All of you guys are legends in the chat. I know there's not a ton of people in the chat right now, but it's, it's not Sporting Juniors. It is Saturday. People are out doing stuff, having fun, maybe going to church, partying tonight. Whatever you're doing, man. Thank you guys for stopping by and uh, staying this long. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Man, everything, every live stream goes to the channel a little bit, man. Um, yeah. Okay, we do sell our third string defensive midfielder, Equa, to St. Helois. And Rusin's going to Belgium also. He's going to Ghent for $2 million. Perfect. I'm death partying, says Rando. Yes. Hey, one day, one day we're all going to party together, man. One day we're going to all be flown out together and uh, party. That'd be amazing. Let's go. Obviously, when you guys are old enough and 21, stuff like that. Not right now. Crompton, we're gonna accept all these deals. Cool. But it's growing yellow warts. Oh god. <laughs> That's not good. Job Bellingham transfer offer from Arsenal. 146 million. Wah, wah, wah. Bro, that's crazy. We're definitely not selling him, but maybe we should to sign a top-notch striker because Job. No, you know what? I promised you guys Job. He's on the thumbnail. I promised that Job would be the feature player of this rebuild. And I'm gonna stick to it, man. I'm going to stick to it. Sign Hokey, okay? Uh, I can't sign any more players this season that aren't English, Henry. So maybe next season. Next season, I can. So, someone tell me what I need. All right, let me go to the Discord and check out Damps' team. Let's see. Oh, it's a good team, bro. It's a good team. Signing Taps. Oh, he's, he's got Kirk as two. Nice. Um, Gordon and Bomo on the right side. He's got Harvey Barnes as well. Lewis Miley's still there. I'd say a midfielder to replace Joe Linton. Even though he's been good in real life, I'd move Rabio to where Joe Linton is, Damps. Damps, this is what I would do. I would move Rabio to where Joe Linton is. Keep Joe Linton on, on the squad as a squad player because he's still good. And then sign a central midfielder. Somebody like... Somebody like... Maybe Bernardo Silva? I think he'd be perfect on this Newcastle team, man. He'd be perfect on this Newcastle team. Um, Palmer and Kane. Sign Kane, okay. Uh, I don't know about that one. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Harvey Elliott would be cool. Um, what's another midfielder that Damps can sign? Maybe... Maybe... Uh, Maybe Gavi? I feel like Gavi would do good. He would do good there. Do Gavi. Barella. Yeah, sign Barella, bro. Barella would be perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah, they they said the hell with the hell with uh, Tonali. Let's get Barella. 
Barella's better anyways, bro. Barella's one of the best midfielders in the world, in my opinion. Or am I tripping? 2011 Messi got robbed by Iniesta. Or am I tripping? Um, yeah. Joe signed Palmer. Henry, I know. I'm going to sign Palmer, bro. I appreciate you spamming. Um, but we... I'm going to sign... I, I think I'm going to sell... Actually, no. I'm not going to sell HG yet. I'm not going to sell Mainu either. Oh, they are offering Bischoff, by the way. One of you guys was recommending Bischoff earlier. And uh, we're not going to do anything there. We're going to keep Mainu on the squad as a backup DM. Because Varela is starting now. And I do want to sign Rico Lewis. And we have $64 million in the bank. Maybe we can sign Alexander-Arnold. Remember, it's got to be an English player. Alexander-Arnold. Where is he? There he is. Trent Alexander-Arnold. He's worth $88 million. He's on Real Madrid. Uh, I'm not going to have enough money to sign him. So, let's just go for Rico Lewis, guys. Uh, Cancelo's here. He's not English. Doesn't count. Um, all right, guys. Let's sign Rico. No way. How is he too important to the club, bro? Yo, Jay's in the building. What's up, Jay? Thank you for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. Yay! We're three and a half hours into the stream. Almost up to four hours. Can you hit that like button for me so we can get this to 25 likes? What are we at now? What are we at now? I think we're at 25. Guys, thank you so much for joining. Jay, this has been such a lit stream. We've won two trophies. We won two trophies in the first two seasons at Sunderland. Uh, season three was our first season in the Premier League, and we got mid-table. I think we got 12. So we're doing really good. We're doing... We're... We're doing amazing. Um, this season is the year that I want to make ch the Champions League. I think I want to get top four. I want to get top four this season. Yes, sir. I'm in the, I'm in the 25th like. Let's go, Jay. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Uh, thank you for stopping by and uh, spending your time with me. Why did I do this? Uh, I did not mean to do this. Let's jump to the result here. It's probably going to be a 0-0 draw. Wait, what? Bro, it's always a 0-0 zero, zero draw when you jump to end. It's crazy. 25th like. Let's go, Jay. Thank you so much, bro. We are rebuilding Sunderland today. We won the FA Cup in the first season. But we were at that time, we were still in the championship. And we got fifth in the championship. And we didn't get promoted to the Premier League after season one. So in season two, we were in the Europa League because we won the FA Cup. So while in the championship, we were in the Europa League. It was awesome. We didn't win the Europa League. We made it. We got relegated to the Conference League. Then we made it to the quarterfinals where we ultimately lost to West Ham. Uh, but yeah, it's been an amazing rebuild. Clark is our highest rated player and he's been our best goal scorer as well. Um, he was already here. So it looks like Sunderland has a keeper in real life. This guy's really good. So yeah, that's what's been going on. We just signed Varela to replace Kobe Mainu because Kobe Mainu for some reason has stopped growing. He's an 80, still showing great potential, but Varela is also really good. Uh, we have Haito, who we signed in the first season, matched up with Antonio Silva on the back line. It's an amazing back line. We also have Milos Kirkus, who we signed as our left back. And then Patterson is still the goalkeeper here. And then Joe Bellingham, we converted to a center forward, so he's basically our striker at this point. Gilhart's our backup center forward. We just signed Sule as a backup right winger. We signed Bargi in the first season as our right winger starter. He's doing great. Uh, we've got a good team, man. We've got a really good team. Sell Mainu, says Henry. Man, we might have to sell Mainu, honestly. In order to bring in Rico Lewis, because I do want to sign Rico Lewis right now. Not going to lie, the real GOAT is me, says Caleb. Yes. Yes, Caleb. Team! You are the real GOAT, bro. The real GOAT. You're him. You're Himothy. You are Himothy. Uh, let's quick sim here. Joe, should I sign Felix and play him as Cam? Yes, damn, so that is exa exactly what you, sh you should do. That is more of his natural position. I don't think he's a natural left winger. I know he's actually doing pretty good for Barca this year. I don't think he's a natural center forward. I think he's a second striker slash Cam. Uh, personally, I think that's what the, the position that he performs best at. Pessi has talented, <laughs> paid the refs. Bro, George and Sajid are still going at it. Uh, the Pessi Ronaldo debate. Uh, the the Pessi Ronaldo debate. Ronaldo Messi debate, however you want to frame it. Uh, we just beat Juventus, bro. Nora, look away, bro. We just beat Juventus 2 0. I'm sorry. Nope, I am. I'm the goat. Henry's the goat. Yeah, you guys are all the goats. Um, this is the goat chat. I've already said it before. I'm going to say it again. This is the goat chat. Um, I'm that guy, says Caleb. I'm going to try to sign him. He's not too expensive. Cool. Yeah, he's not too expensive in career mode these days. Um, I remember when he used to be worth like 100 million straight away. 
right away. Once he moved to Atletico Madrid, he was like an 83 in the game, and he was like 20 years old, worth 100 mil. It was crazy. It was crazy. All right, can I sign Rico Lewis this time, please? No, he's too important to the club. This is shocking. This is shocking, man. Is there any other good English right backs? What about Reese James? Reese James on Sunderland? No, that go hard. Reese James on Sunderland. Remember, we get three signings per season. One of them has to be an English player since we are controlling an English team. Reese James is on Roma, worth 53 million. This might be a possible signing. It might be possible. I'm gonna approach to buy. I'm gonna approach to buy. Randall says use mods, okay? Damp said, oh, Kefren Taram. Yeah, he is really good. But who remembers Kefren Taram in the Olympic Leon career mode? He was insane. All right, 50 million plus a sell-on clause. What is Danilo De Rossi gonna say? Wow, he says I wasted his time. That's crazy. Oh, Ben White. I like it. Jay, thank you for the recommendation, man. Ben White would be good. Mods would also be good. I've never used Ben White in a career mode before because I've never taken over... Uh, oh, it's Benjamin White, isn't it? I've never taken over Arsenal. Oh, Ben White's perfect. He's actually perfect. Jay, thank you so much for joining the chat. And right when you join the chat, you, con you contribute to something amazing, bro. That is awesome. And he's going to be pretty cheap. I love it. We're going to do it. Ben White's coming in the building, guys. Uh, I wanted Rico Lewis, but Ben White makes more sense right now. And he's higher rated. He can help us immediately. And you guys know I'm trying to make the Champions League for season number five. Okay? For season five, I'm trying to make the Champions League. Uh, 36.1 million for Ben White. He wants Fermin Lopez in a swap deal. Nah, that's not going to happen. Um, I will give you 40 million. How about that? Just 40 million straight up for Ben White. He wants 50. Interesting. Hmm. I'll give you 44.4 million. What do you say, Arteta? Oh, God. 50.4? I don't want this deal to fall through. So, I'm going to go down to 48.5. I want to save money. He accepts it. Thank God, bro. I was worried that he was going to get up and walk away. Thank goodness he, uh, he comes to his senses and accepts that offer. Let's go. Thank you, Jay, for the recommendation, man. Ben freaking White. Sign Rando Jr. Yes, sir. Junior, Junior, Junior. The fifth. Juniors, Juniors is the fifth of the rando of the... <laughs> bro, that's like, a, that's like a Viking name or something. Oh, my God. Like, I was named after my great, 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 grandfather. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, four-year deal for Ben White, the 28-year-old. He's still in his prime, guys. So this is perfect. He's going to be the highest-paid player on the team. Well-deserved, man. He's coming in from Arsenal. Well-deserved. And we have our English right back in the squad, boys. Awesome signing. Thank you, Jay, for the recommendation, man. Bruno, Rabio, and Felix in the midfield. Okay, so he's playing a double pivot with Rabio and Bruno then with Felix as a cam. Or he's doing the same, same formation that we're playing with, which is this formation right here. Except he has, like, Lewis Miley up to a cam position. And he has Felix playing there. Uh, cool. Okay, guys, this team is looking good right now. Ben White's going to come on to the starting 11. Playing as a right back. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Oh, sorry. I keep saying perfect, though. I think that's my new favorite word, Go, Guys, I was saying that a lot yesterday. I'm saying it a lot today. I don't mean to. I just I just am. Um, we're going to bring Ayuchichi onto the bench here. Cool. This is the team we are going to run for season number four, guys. Yay! Thank you so much for building it. We signed Varela. We signed Ben White to replace Pembele. And we also signed Matthias Sule as a free agent, bro. Those were the three signings this season. Kobe Minow gets relegated to the bench. Unfortunately, Varela comes in as a starter. And uh, guys, I'm really liking this team. This is what the team looks like going into season four. So basically, after three seasons, this is what we're looking, looking like. Oh, Connor Gallagher would be a good signing as well. Uh, let's hire one coach because we can hire one extra coach per season. Let's get that out of the way. I think it has to be a midfielding coach. Yes, we get a five-star midfielding coach here. Perfect. And now we have 13 stars there allocated. That is amazing, guys. Season number two in the Premier League. Season four overall of this Sunderland rebuild. This is about to go crazy. Let's get season four underway. And we do get one match we can play per season. I think it's going to be a Newcastle game. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how we're doing. Bournemouth first match of the season. Big dub. 3-1. Chelsea 2-0. We beat Birmingham City on pens. Let's go. Arsenal. We beat Arsenal. We are on fire right now. We're unbeaten in the league. Newcastle next. 
And we went 3-0 against the rivals at St. James Park. We are cooking. No, we might be the best team in the world. But this is kind of how we started last season, too. We, we tied West Ham, beat Fulham, lost to City. Okay? Beat Brighton. We, we bounced back. We bounced back. Beat Everton. No, we're actually getting top four. We might actually win the Premier League in season four. Beat Sheffield. Come on, let's beat up on the small teams. I want to see lots of goals. Brentford, really, bro? Bruh. Liverpool? We lost to Liverpool. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, God. We've lost three Bruh. matches in a row. Sunderland next. Big one. We're back on track. Man United. We didn't lose to Man United once last season, and we stay unbeaten against Man United. But we lose to Norwich. How does that happen? Oh, my gosh. We beat Tottenham. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Lose to City, unfortunately. Beat Leicester. Guys, like I said, just beat up on the small teams. Here we go. Halfway through the season, let's check where we at. We are where we are at in the standings. We're in third place. 12 wins, 2 draws, 5 losses, 34 matches. Sorry, 34 goals for 19 goals against. We have the best defense in the entire league. The best defense in the entire league. We've given up the least amount of goals. That is amazing. 38 points for. We're 8 points behind City, who's in first. Uh, we are four points up on Spurs, who are fifth. Guys, we need to be top four this season. FA Cup, are we still in this? Yes, we play Petersburg next. Carabao Cup, we are not in this anymore. We got bounced by Man City in the round of three. That's fair. Community Shield versus City. Let's go, Damps. I hope you get that dub, bro. 2-2 Two -two with Betty's. Nice, Damps. Let's go. School football is easy. Boys, stop fighting. Neither Messi or Ronaldo are the goats. I am with my 5,000 goals at school. Caleb, yes, sir. Caleb 5,000 goals. Bro's looking like Caleb 5,000. That's his new nickname. Caleb 5,000 is, is your new nickname, bro. Caleb 5,000. I love it. Or Onion 5,000. Whatever you want to be. Um, let's take a look at the goal scores halfway through the season. Clark, 11 goals. Bellingham already has more goals than he did all of last season. Matai Sule. Nora, this is for you, bro. Six goals and 10 assists. Amazing. For me, Lopez, four goals and one assist. Lewis Miley, two and two. Bargy, 2 0. Gelhart, 2 0. Ben White, one goal. Um, he's doing really good in the Premier League for us. Kirk has one goal as well. Neil, kind of taking a back seat this year. One goal, five clean sheets for Patterson. Nice job. Varela, no goals and two assists. Um, but he's got a really good Premier League match rating 6.6. .6. I love that from him. Ayuchichi. Um, wow, this is interesting, man. So it looks like Sule is starting over Bargy. Why is that? I wonder why that is. That's very interesting. But let's change some development plans here. Fermin Lopez. Didn't see him on the score sheet yet. Uh, oh, I haven't even given Sule a development plan. Forgot about that. Let's get a shooting up. Cool. Looks like Job is doing a little bit better this season as a playmaking forward. But let's uh, change his plan to a penetrator. Yeah. Pessy is trash. Damn, George. Not sugarcoating it at all. Just going straight for the Pessy is trash comment. Okay, where do we play Newcastle next? We play them on Saturday the 13th. Okay. Isn't today the 13th? Today's the 13th. What the heck? It's wild. Okay. Beat West Ham. Let's go. Man United in the FA Cup. And we're going to lose. That's unfortunate, man. We're not going to move on in the FA Bruh. Cup. We do beat Bournemouth. I'll take that. Guys, do you want me to play Newcastle in this, this match? Where are we at here? We're ahead of Newcastle currently. We're in second place. We're three points off of City. I think we got to play this. And we are 12 points ahead of Newcastle and George. I'm sorry, George, but we're 12 points ahead of you, bro. Lewis Miley is staying here. He's becoming a star. Let's play City. Play, play, play. Guys, we get one match we can play per season. Sign Palmer. <laughs> okay, Henry just wants me to sign Palmer. Um, I know you're a Chelsea guy, Henry, uh, but let's do it. This is the team we're going to play with. Let's do it. At the Stadium of Lights, can we make something special happen? Joe, how many more seasons? Probably one more season after this, guys, um, in the Champions League. And then, uh, especially if we win the Premier League this season, we've made a comeback. We're only three points behind City. Could we do it? I don't know. But stay with me to find out, man. And all of you guys who have stayed with me, I appreciate y'all, man. Um, you guys are legends of the channel. Legends of the chat. No, we actually have the best chat on YouTube, I'm pretty sure. I wish there were stats for chats on YouTube. Like the most, the most, uh, the most active chat. That's what I mean to say. The most active chat. I think we have the most active chat, man. Here we go. Here we go. Out on the wing to Bargy. What's Bargy going to do? A couple step overs. He gets wide. 
He's gonna use his pace here. He sees Joe Belly and getting the box. Bombarder. Guess who it is? It's Neil. It's time for Joe. He spikes it. Neil should not have passed that. We're gonna win that army. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Inside. Joe gets to that. Ah, not quite. Not quite. Not quite, guys. Can we get this dub? What do you guys think? Sign Messi says Sajid. Sign Messi. Hey, Sajid, I do like your, your new um, logo. The Barcelona logo. I like it. I like it. Next to your name, I like it. Sajid has zero ball knowledge, says George. Oh, boy, guys. Let's be cool in the chat. Straight to the keeper, Patterson. Thank you very much, Patterson. We're going to get that wide. Four. Guess who it is? It's Clark. No, it's Kirkus. Here's Kirkus. I thought it was Clark. Kirkus is getting forward here, and he's going to lose it. He is not an attacker. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, my God. He didn't have to slide tackle there, did he? Watch your near post. Near post. Good save for Patterson. Get that out, boys. Get it out. Why couldn't we get it out? Once again, clearing is an issue. Joe, I lost the city. Who have Davies, Cancelo, Hartman, Vasquez. Guess who starts? Holland? I'm sure they got Holland, too. Davies, though. That's a... But they got Davies on the left, Cancelo on the right. That's impressive, man. Nice move from Bargy here. Just getting in the box here. Getting in the box. Look at Bargy. Getting in the box, Bargy. Keep going, Bargy. Back to Job on his right foot. It gets blocked. Of course it does. Everything gets blocked. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. There's Gabri Vega in the midfield. Over to Mikel Marino. We got Vega and Marino. Interesting pickups right there. Guys, constant pressure. We do gang and pressing, man. We do gang and pressing. This is why. So we can steal the ball right here. Yes, sir. We get the ball back. We're back. We're back. Hala Madrid. Here we go. Here we go. Inside for Job. Here's Job on his right foot. It's Job again on his right foot at home. He's going to miss it. He's going to pull it wide. Guys, we need to win this if we want to stay. If we want to have hope to win the Premier League this season, we have to win it, man. And I think we will. We're going to do it, man. We're going to score a banger right here. We're getting close. Here's Rudy. Rooney, Rooney, everything good is coming from Rooney, Rooney right now. Nice, there we go. Look at Rooney, man. So inspirational. Out of the wing. Here's Rooney. Bargy. Rooney Bargy. Oh my god, bro. This, their defense is so sound. They just stack in the box. They stack up the box with defenders. And nobody's able to get past them. No, that's not who I passed it to. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, they have Kamavinga too. Kamavinga's in the midfield with Gabby Vega. Gabby Vega. Oh, what a goal that is. Is that Isak? That's Isak, bro. Bruh. Joe, after this match, can you check Yuri, Al Yuri Alberto? Yeah, I'll take a look at him. He's a good player. Okay. I haven't heard of him. I've never heard of him, but I trust you. Oh my god. How does Miguel. F bro, who is that? Who is this Miguel guy? How is he so acrobatic like that? Are we taking that? Thank you. Good ball. Overlapping Neil. Nice. Bargy. Problem is we're staying on the right side here. Bargy on his left foot with the shot. Come and with the block. Why? Oh, no. And the through again. It's all right. We're there. We're there. We're there. Come on. We got to score before the half is over. We have to score. Antonio Silva gets that up to Neil. Inside. Lays it off to Job. Job lays that off. Guess who it is? It's Clark on his right foot. Our top goal scorer over the per over the career mode so far. Caleb, I like your orange. <laughs> I like your orange profile picture, bro. Okay, let's swing this in the box. Back post. Antonio Silva on his right foot. It's going to be a handball, and there is going to be a penalty kick here. And guess who we're going to take it with? It's going to be Job Bellingham. He is on the thumbnail. Dean is back. Love to Dean and love to Australia, man. Thank you, Dean, for coming back, bro. How much does Barca pay refs? That is crazy. I, I do think Barca's gotten in trouble with that before. Kind of like, uh, um, kind of like Juventus. Sorry, Nora, for the shade. Joe Bellingham steps up to the plate. He scores. Two. Two. And just like that, we're back in it, boys. Just like that, we are back in it. Do not count us out yet. Yo, Dean, thank you so much for coming back, bro. We signed Varela. Uh, this is season four, by the way. This is season four. We got mid-table. We've won two trophies already with Sunderland. So it's been a successful season. 
sorry, uh, successful career uh, career mode. We've won the FA Cup. We've also won the uh, EFL Championship. So we have two trophies in our cabinet already. Dude, what is that, bro? How does he just sneak through the defense? That's crazy, bro. That's wild. Clark, get past him. There you go, Clark. Use that pace, Clark. Yes, get in front of him. Yes, Clark. Oh my gosh. Give me a foul, ref. No way, bro. Just lost control there. I didn't even see this guy down there. Okay. Can we get one more chance here? And for Job, what is that pass? Rudy, what are you doing, bro? Rude, Goofy, how crazy. Barca, 200 million in debt is crazy. That is unbelievable. I thought it was more like a billion. I heard a billion, but that might have been a stretch. It was probably a Real Madrid fan that said that. Atletico, the next real goats of La Liga. Atletico, they got to get rid of uh, Diego Simeone, though. I hate the way he plays. He's like the uh, he's like the Spain version of Allegri, in my opinion. Sit back, play defense. But I will say that he's kind of changing his tactics recently. He's getting more uh, more attackers in the squad. Like Griezmann, Depay. Griezmann's insane on this team, bro. Oh, I thought he made that. Griezmann, Depay, Joao Felix was on the team. Correa also. They have a lot of scores. They do have a lot of scores. No way, bro. Nice, Smiley. That's why we signed you. Luis Smiley's got something to prove here. He's facing his former team. No way. Oh, I thought that was a foul. No way. Okay, that was a foul. Thank you, ref. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Finally, we got a call for us. Joe, where's my mod? Let me... Let me... Let me time people? Wait, what's the mod? I'm not sure what you mean. Here's Jack Clark. Once again, get into the byline. Can you make something happen here? No, bro. We're going to lose this. Why can't we win? Why can't we win? Thank you. This is a good play right here. Very good play. Very good play. We're going to make something happen. Neil, on his right foot. Good save from Ramsdale. Are you kidding me? Come on, Joe. You're undefeated GOAT in online friendlies. I got it. However, I did lose to Henry one game yesterday. I did lose to Henry one game. Guys, thank you for being in the chat, man. You guys are awesome in the chat. Being really active. I love it, bro. Oh, my God. This is another handball. Okay, we're still in this. If we score this pen, it's 3-2. Lucas, thank you for joining the chat, man. What's up, bro? Um, do you remember you, me? Yes, Lucas. It's been a while. It's been a while, though, but I do remember you, man. Thank you so much. I don't think you've seen this, but we do have a new setup here. I hope you like it, bro. We are rebuilding Sunderland today, and it's been amazing. We won two trophies our first two seasons. We're on season four now. We went mid-table our first season in the Premier League. This is our second season, and we're in second place. What's going on? Oh, there's a sub. And we're, we're in the hunt. We're three points behind City for first place. Clark steps up, and the keeper goes the right way. Are you kidding me, bro? How unlucky can we get, bro? What a setup. Thank you, Lucas. I appreciate it. I do... I just recently found a trophy of mine. That's going to be the only soccer thing on the back. I don't have any soccer things here, but I got baseball and stuff. But I do want to add soccer stuff. Memorabilia, jerseys, stuff like that. Balls. <laughs> Why'd I say it like that? Balls. <laughs> Anyways, top of the box. Here's Lewis Miley on his right foot. I think he's left footed, but he shoots it with his right foot just wide of the post. Un unreal. Joe is going to react to something. Yes, George, I'm also going to do some other stuff after the stream, uh, after we uh, finish the rebuild. And we're going to get through five seasons of this rebuild. We're just going to do five seasons. This, this is uh, season four. We're just over four hours. Season four is almost over. 
And uh, we get three sightings per season, Lucas. I'm not sure if you know, but there's rules. There's three sightings per season. One of them has to be an English player because we're controlling an English English uh, club. And then uh, the third rule is, of course, having fun. It's in the... It's in the... It's in the... Oh, whoops. The description of this video are the rules, guys. So check them out. Man, we're getting beat by our rivals, Newcastle, bro. This is not what I want to see. Didn't Lewis Miley play for Newcastle? Yes, we signed Lewis Miley. And in order to sign him from Newcastle, which is the main rivals of Sunderland, we had to pay double. Double his transfer value, which was $5.5 million. We had to pay $11 million in order to get him away from Newcastle. Um, just for a sake of realism. Here we go. Here's Kirkes. Nice, Kirkes. And for Jack Clark, top goal scorer on this team. Kirkes, top of the box. Guess who it is? It's Varela. We signed Varela this season. He's been good for us. This is Joe Belling, and we made him a center forward. He's got to score goals. I know he scored a pen already today, but we need goals, goals, goals. Oh, nice. Nice. Top of the box. Lewis Miley on his right foot. Tries to curl it. Ramsdale's going to save it, though. If you guys have ball knowledge, tell me the player that never got a yellow card or red card in 10 seconds. I don't know, Messi. I'm assuming since it's Sajith, it's probably Messi. <laughs> Up at the top. Uh, make that run, bro. Okay, we're going to get that. We're going to get that. Nice. We're going to get that. Why is Kamavinga so good? I want that, bro. Give me the ball. City start Hartman and Vasquez over Alfonso Davies and Cancelo. Are you serious? Man, they really disrespected you like that. And they still beat you, bro. That's crazy. I'm damn, I'm sorry, bro. They really disrespected you, though. Ah, unfortunately, guys, we're not going to win this match. It'd be a miracle if we can get a draw. Joe, can we do friendlies? Yeah, we can do friendlies today. Um, yeah, that'd be fun. Let's go. It's funny because I said let's keep this rebuild under three hours. We're already at four hours. And there's still more. But I'm having fun, bro. This is such a fun rebuild. Oh, what a ball. Inside for Job. Job loses it, Job. What are you doing? Come on, Job. Oh, no. Job, can we do friendlies? Yep. Uh, what a sweat. All right, guys, that's the end of the match. We're going to quick sim the until the end. At right, Randall, I remember you. Yep. Randall, thank you so much for joining, bro. Damps, thank you for being here. Caleb, Henry, Sajith, Benedict. I mean, Lucas, all of you, Caleb. I, don't, I might have said Caleb twice. George is here, guys. Thank you so much for being here. You guys are awesome. Absolute legends. Dean is here, too. I mean, absolute legends for being here on a Saturday. You guys could be doing anything else this Saturday, and you're here watching me play a career mode. I love it, bro. I love it. But it means a lot to me. It means a lot to me that you guys are here. And honestly, these career modes mean a lot to me, too. We just beat Arsenal 3-0. We should have quick-simmed the Newcastle match for real. Three. Just beat Arsenal 3-0. Tied Everton. Beat Brighton. We got Man City up next. We lose to Man City. Un unreal. Bruh. Tottenham, though. We beat Tottenham again. We beat Tottenham twice this season, bro. Crazy Zebra, can someone answer my last question? Crazy Zebra, thank you for joining the chat, man. What is your last chat? What is your last question? Guys, please, if you haven't yet, spare a second to hit that like button. And if you haven't subbed, please hit that sub button, man. We're trying to get to 10K by the end of the month and 100K by the end of the year. I think we can do it, man. We're going to blow up. We're going to blow up. And uh, honestly, I think we're going to win the... I oh, we just lost to Man United. We might win the Premier League this season. Just beat Southampton. It's going to be close. It's going to be close, guys. We might have just won the Premier League, but Season 4 has dwindled to an end. And uh, let's take a look here. I think I just may have saw something. I may have just seen something. Oh, my God. We won the Premier League by two points over City. We have won our third trophy, boys. It is a miracle. It is beautiful. And uh, I, I can't be more happy, bro. I can't be more happy. Absolute dubs in the chat, guys. We beat City by two points. We had the best defense in the league. Shout out Antonio Silva. Shout out Ben White. Shout out Jay, bro. Jay, with the recommendation of signing Ben White, has completely revolutionized our back line. Kirk has as well. Good job, man. Patterson, our goalkeeper. Props to all of them. Best defense in the league. Also, one of the top goal scoring teams in the league. Fourth best goal scoring team in the league. Only behind City, Spurs, and Newcastle. We beat Newcastle, which is awesome too. Uh, rivalry there. 84 points in the league. That is amazing. That is our third trophy. Let's go. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Sunderland is officially back. Lucas says he's got to go. Lucas, thank you so much for joining. I'm, I'm glad you got to see this part, bro. I'm glad you got to, see, got to see this part, man. We do live stream four days a week. I got to tell you, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I don't normally stream Saturdays, so maybe you'll get a, a nice fifth video 
a nice fifth live stream every week but yeah lucas come on the live streams man usually they're around i start around 2 p.m eastern standard time which i think is like 7 p.m uh in the uk something like that uh, that's what i usually stream so lucas now you know bro i appreciate you joining man absolute legend thank you bro you're elite you are elite 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 guys please hit the like button for sunderland hit that like button bro you beat all these great teams Get relegated is Bournemouth, Southampton, and Norwich. No surprises there. I don't mean to shit on them, but Bristol City beats Man United in the Team. FA Cup. Lots of FA Cup shockers today. Nobody made a new Kahoot. I thought somebody did. Somebody made a new Kahoot, I thought. Joe on top says, Damps, let's go. Me and Damps are both top. Damps is rebuilding Newcastle right now simultaneously while I am rebuilding Sunderland. But yeah, Bristol City goes through Man United, West Ham, Crew Alexandria. Honestly, they had kind of an easy way to get to the final, but they won it. Props to them. Liverpool wins the Carabao Cup. Shout out Mateus. Uh, Champions League goes to Arsenal over Real Madrid. The Europa League goes to Roma over Napoli. All Italian final there. Uh, Porto beats Magitlan in the Conference League. I love to see it, boys. Let's take a look at the stats now. This is the best part of the reboot. 18 goals for Clark for the fourth straight season. Season He's our top goal scorer. 18 and 6. Joe Bellingham finally getting double digit goals in the Premier League. 14 and 2. 11 and 16 for Matthias Sule. The best signing ended up being a free agent signing. Who grew five overalls this season? I feel bad for Bargy, man. Bargy started this season two overalls higher than Matthias Sule. But Matthias Sule had 27 gold contributions. Somebody tell Nora. Nora would be jumping in his boots right now looking at this. 11 goals and 16 assists for the former Juventus man. And only three goals. Damps, I'm surprised about this. We might have to sell Bargy, especially if he's not in the future plans. Obviously, he's a good squad player to have, but if we can get, what's he worth? He's worth 94 million, bro. If we can sell him for 100 million next year and allocate that to fixing some of the other deficiencies in the squad, I think we do that, man. I think we do that. Lewis Miley, 3 and 2. Kind of a, a down year, but he grew to an 84. Neil, who would have thought that Neil would be our best midfielder right now? Four goals and four assists. Kirk has 4 and 1 from the left back side. Miguel Hart, good signing, bro. 6, six and 1 as a backup center forward. Fermin Lopez, Sajith, this is your boy off the bench. He probably started some games, but eight goals and two assists for him is amazing. Haito 2-0, Ben White 1-3, Varela 1-3, decent signing, but he had a 6.72 match rating in the league. That is way better than Mainu last season. Even though Mainu came off the bench, he had a pretty good record in the league as well. Um, guys, amazing stuff. Antonio Silva looks like he got injured partway through the season. 6.52 average match rating. Um, where did... Where's Haito? 6.56 match rating for him. Ben White, 6.7 match rating, which is highest out of all of our defenders. Actually, no. Scratch that. 6.93 for Miles Kirkes this year. Our fullback play was immaculate. That is the reason that I think we won the Premier League this year. Awesome stuff, guys. Awesome stuff. Love to see it. Let's see if we got anybody to win the Golden Boot. Probably not. Probably not. Now, Kolo Moani wins the Golden Boot. Of course, it's a Newcastle player, but Jack Clark was sixth. The Golden Toe goes to Sule. Top of sister, baby. Let's go. And then clean sheet leader goes to Patterson. The Golden Thumb. I just made that shit up, guys. Golden Thumb is not a real thing. Golden Toe is not a real thing, but that's what I call... Uh, I call Golden Toe, Golden Toe the assist leader and Golden Thumb the, the uh, clean sheet leader. Awesome stuff, guys. Let's look around. No, we don't have to look around the docket, guys. Amazing stuff. From this team, Joe Bellingham is officially a 89 rated player. Is he higher rated than his brother? He might be. Um, guys, I don't even know where we address the squad. I got to put Sule in the starting 11, considering how good he did this season. Um, yeah, I don't even know where I address the squad. It's so good. This team is so good. I don't know. Can we do friendlies? Yes, we're going to do one more season, guys. We're going to be in the Champions League. We're going to give it a try, and hopefully uh, we can maybe go far in the Champions League and maybe even win it. Um, guys, let me know who we should sign. Joe, only one more season, George. We're going to do a five-season rebuild today. We get one more season, and uh, our only season in the Champions League. Um, honestly, I'm thinking we sell Bargy and use the money. He's on the tra Oh, he submitted a transfer request. Okay, so he wants to leave anyways. Fair play. Fair enough, man. Uh, Croft is going to be gone. Patterson, we got to give a new deal to our goalkeeper. 100k a week is fair. Crucial. 
Heizo definitely. Oh, <laughs> bro, for the past three seasons, Heizo's been on 950 euros a month. No, a week. A week. That is so low. The lowest on the squad. And he's an 85 rated player. Yeah, bro. Needs a pay bump. 75k. He's going to accept that. Miley as well. We're going to give him a bump to 70k a week. Bellingham, I'm going to give him 135k a week. He's going to accept that. Fermi Lopez. Yeah, honestly, underrated baller. Underrated baller on this team. He's going to have a release clause. Interesting. And then Kobe Mainu. Rotation squad role, fair enough. Uh, Bargy only has one year left on his deal. I think we have to sell him now. Now that he's requested a transfer, we can't even negotiate a new deal with him. Ayuchichi, also a good squad player to have. I'm glad that he wants to stay and be a part of this team. Oh, Neen, he's been here since day one. He was the original captain. Um, we're going to keep him on here for one more season. Same with Rundell. Same with Bursto. Guys, what a rebuild this is, bro. Three three trophies in four seasons for Sunderland. Amazing. And we got the biggest one, the Premier League. Already out of the way in season four. Wow. Impressive, man. Impressive. What a team this is, bro. Somebody tell Shay. Somebody tell Shay. Because J-Dub, he was doing the same rebuild I was, but he quit. Because <laughs> I think he saw how good we were doing. After the season, Joe is going to check something. Yes, guys, I'm going to check something. Um, a video. I'm going to check a video after this uh, season, okay? And then we're going to maybe do some games or something. Bargy transfer. Oh my god, they offered Matawake. Matawake would have been the perfect squad player to have. But I'm thinking we're going to sign Palmer for my boy Henry. Palmer. Henry wants Palmer. So, oh my god, they're offering Elliot. Nah, I don't want Elliot. I, there's, no, there's no spot for Elliot on the team. But I will negotiate this. If they want Bar Bargy, they can have him. Um... Caleb just messaged me. I just saw it. I'm sorry. Joe, you should give me Discord mod for fun, and you should give me a mod on your YouTube so I can look cool. I'm sorry. I should not have said that. I should not have said that out loud. Scratch that. Just pretend I didn't say that. That is so funny. Uh, I'm going to ask for $105 million. Remove Harvey Elliott, though. For real? Oh, no. He said, for real, though, can I at least have Discord mod? Okay, yeah. Uh, Kayla, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Kayla. I shouldn't have read that out loud. I'm sorry, bro. That was a personal message. I'm sorry. Joseph Red purchased Rico Lewis because I said so. Diego, you know what? We do need a better fullback, um, uh, backup to Ben White. I tried to sign Rico Lewis last season, but I, I couldn't get it. And Discord mod says, George, um, yeah, uh, a Discord mod would be good to have, but just the last time that we had a Discord mod, it was Shay. And you guys know what happened. You guys know what he did. Bro erased the whole Discord. We had to start over from scratch. We had like 52 people in there at that time. And uh, we had to erase the whole Discord. We had to start a whole new Discord. Because uh, J-Dub accidentally... I think he accidentally did it. But uh, got rid of everybody in the Discord. Who's this? I don't know who that was. Hopefully not someone big. No. It wasn't anybody big. Okay. How much money do we have? We have... 157 million for winning the Premier League, guys. We are officially a big club, a bigger club than Newcastle now, which was the goal to be a bigger club than Newcastle. George, uh, did you ban me from Discord? No, Sajid, I didn't ban you. Why would I do that? Um, only one that Discord mod right now says George. George, are you still a Discord mod? Okay. I beg you, sign James. Oh, wait, Reese James? Oh, yeah, Benedict, let me look up this player. Let me look up this player for you. Alberto Malero. I think I looked him up. Right? Left mid. We could use a, a winger. Yeah, here he is right here. Wasn't there? Oh, uh, Yuri Alberto. How about Yuri Alberto? Let me look him up. That was another player you recommended. <laughs> Caleb says, come on. You can trust me. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Let me think about it. Let me think about it because I would like to have a mod. In the chat, but I would also like to have him on in the Discord, guys. I can't do everything myself, guys. Everything you see that happens on this YouTube channel, on TikTok, nobody's ever helped me before. It's all just me. I've never paid anyone to help me uh, edit anything. It's all just me, okay? So, I would like some help, maybe with the mods. That'd be amazing. Savio, as a backup winger. I do think I want to sign Palmer this year um, as a backup winger, because I know... Henry has been asking for him. So let's see. 
Damn, says James. Uh, he wants me to sign Reese James. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll leave it up to a vote, guys. Whether you guys want me to sign Reese James. Oh my god, Savio's worth this much, bro. Nah, I'm not going to be able to sign Savio. Might be able to sign Malero. Nope, he just moved to the club and won't move again. That's crazy. Maybe Nusa. Galeno. DePaul. De Bruyne is still playing. Kind of crazy that he's still playing. Imagine we still Kamavinga from Newcastle. That'd be funny. Uh, Madueke is here. Palmer. I would like to sign Palmer, guys. I don't think he's in the game. Oh, Yuri Alberto? He's probably not in the game. Leo Messi? Is Messi still around? I didn't see him. He probably retired. Because I think his contract was expiring. Oh, no, he's still playing. 81 rated. He's retiring, so we can't negotiate with him. I'm sorry. We're not going to be able to sign Messi. Uh, that would have been fun, though. That would have been really fun. Okay. Let's look at the players we want to sign. Cole Palmer. We need another center back to be a backup to Silva and Haito. We need a center back, especially since we're going to be in multiple competitions this year. And uh, if you guys want me to sign a fullback, we can do it. We got Reese James here, who just joined West Ham, so we're not going to be able to sign Reese James. Same with Alexander Arnold, but we could sign Rico Lewis. And he's on an expiring deal. I think I want to get this out of the way right now. Um, can't sign Cancelo, just moved to PSG. So let's get Rico Lewis in the squad, guys. Um, he's going to be our backup fullback. <laughs> I gave you. Oh my gosh. Caleb is sending me gifts. Caleb is sending me gifts in the Discord, trying to get me to co trying to convince me to make him a mod. Okay, Caleb, let me let me think about it, and I will get back to you. I promise you. Make sure you message me after the live stream, okay? Make sure you message me after the live stream. I got you, bro. All right, thirty-seven point five million for Rico Lewis, and they are going to come back with forty-three mil. Okay, I want to give. 39.5 million. Let's see what they say. Yes, he accepts. By Marcus Edwards. He's a winger. Okay, we'll take a look at him. This player knocks off the objective of signing an English player, which is good. Bro, Caleb is really sending me SpongeBob gifts right now. <laughs> Funny, bro. Okay, rotation. Uh, bro, why does Rico Lewis want important? Ben White is important. Not Rico Lewis. Uh, you should do mod interviews. What is that? Randall, I'm not sure what that is. What does that mean? What does that mean? Joe, I'm playing Sunderland in the FA Cup. Damps, I'm not going to lie. I hope Sunderland wins today. I'm a Sunderland guy. Through and through, okay? This is my happy dance. Oh, my goodness. Bro, it's too funny, bro. Bro, it's so funny. That's about 28 likes, bro. Let's get to 30 likes on this stream. Can we get to 30 likes? Please. If you're, you know, if you're just joining, let's get to 30 likes, guys. Come on. If you haven't liked the stream yet. Okay, Ben White on the squad here. Okay, Ayuchichi is going to come on to the reserves. I really thought Ayuchichi was going to be a, like, play a bigger role with this team. But you know what? He's been fine. He's been fine. He hasn't been bad. But yeah, Rico Lewis on the squad, boys. Love it. Compared to Ben White, he's actually better than Ben White in a lot of things. Rico Lewis is definitely more of a DM. And Ben White, I think, is probably a better right back. But now we have squad depth because we have a... Good backup left back and a good backup right back. We're going to sell Bargy. We're going to have 100 million ad added to the bank after we sell Bargy, hopefully. Uh, for me, Lopez, great backup midfielder, great backup Mainu, good backup forward, and Gilhart. And then we need a better backup center back, guys. Marcus Edwards, like ask questions to see if they're a good mod. Oh, oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Nah, I, I know you guys, man. I know you guys. I, I'm just afraid that everything's going to go to shit again. Because we have a lot of people in the Discord nowadays, and I don't want to lose more people again. I don't want that to happen again, man. We're almost at... We're creeping up on 100 people in the Discord, man. Guys, if you're not in the Discord, what are you doing with your life? Go join the Discord, man. <laughs> Please, go join the Discord. Bruh. Link is in the description of this video. If you can't access the Discord with the link, search Joe Sports Hub. Joe Sports Hub. Neil transfer offer Barjeev to Man City. I honestly don't want to sell him to a rival, so I'm not going to. Uh, Neil transfer offer 135 million for him. Bro, I feel like the numbers are so bloated right now. The numbers are so bloated right now. And so crazy. Marcus Edwards is a winger. I'll look at Marcus Edwards. I'll look him up. My new transfer offer. We're not selling my new. We're going to block offers for my new. We're going to block offers for Neil as well. I think he's been our best midfielder the entire rebuild so far. And he's been here since day one. Chelsea, man, only 
Only Premier League clubs are, are coming in for him. I want like a La Liga club. Check your DMs. Joe says Henry. No, Henry, oh, Henry says Joe. Leicester City. You know what? He can go to Leicester. I'm down. They're offering Van Heck in a deal. I'd be down to do this, actually. I'd be down to do it. But I kind of just want money. Inacio would be good. I like that one. Joe, check your DMs. I'll check DMs. Um, I'm going to ask for 97 million. No exchange player. 97 million from Leicester. They're going to give us Ndidi plus 73. I don't want to swap deal, man. Just give me money. 93 million. How about that? To Leicester. That's fine. I just did not want him going to City or Chelsea or Liverpool. Yeah, so we're going to reject this Chelsea offer for him. Barge is going to go. And we're going to get 100 million allocated back into the bank. And we're going to have probably 200 million in the bank. Is this Bargy? Unfortunately, Bargy did not work out here, Damps, but we did give him a try. Um, really good player still. Young player as well. He probably would have been better this second season, but honestly, Matthias Sule took over his position. Completely took it by storm. And he was amazing for us, so I had to keep him. Ben White, transfer offer from Liverpool. We're going to block that offer. Fermi Lopez, we're going to block offers as well. Joe, I can get you way more subscribers for you. I would do it tomorrow. Henry, how do you do that? Okay, don't do anything that's gonna, like, make my channel look fishy, bro. Like, if you're just sharing my sh like, my streams and my channel with your friends and stuff, that's completely fine with me, bro. But don't do anything that's gonna get me, that's gonna look fishy and get me suspended or sh a strike. Or just my whole account banned. Okay? Um, so yeah, don't do anything fishy, man. Please. We have 201 million in the bank, guys. Let's look up a new center back. I won't say Henry. Okay, cool. Okay, good. Coup day. We could get coup day in the squad. So Debo. Ooh, I'm kind of down with coup day. I'm not going to lie. I like that. I like that offer. That deal. Kretschy as well. We could sign both Kretschy and coup day. Let me look up Anasio. Guys, give me give me center backs. Joy B. Sunderland. Dang it. No, I'm happy for you, Dabs. Dabs, I'm happy for you, man. Um, Inacio. Let me look up Inacio. Goncalo Hanasio, the Portuguese 86 rated left footed center back. Uh, Joe, what if I advertise you on Cricket? What is Cricket? I don't know what that is. Is that a social media platform? Cricket? Yeah, bro, Rando, go ahead, man. Um, I would appreciate it. I know lots of people. Henry, yes, bro, please. I know that you guys have friends that like career mode, that like the shorts videos I put out, that like soccer in general. And that might might like me, bro. I know I'm an, I know I'm American, and a lot of English people and don't like American uh, people that talk about soccer. But it is what it is. Um, anyways, Joe new striker and put Joe Bellingham back in the midfield. We could do something like that. I feel like our striker isn't scoring enough. But I, I like the intensity he brings as a striker, as a center forward. I don't know. It's tough. All right, guys. I think we're gonna sign sign Kunde. I got a feeling we're going to sign Kude. What do you guys think? Kude? And then we need a winger. And I'm thinking Cole Palmer. Personally, I'm thinking Cole Palmer. We've already got Rico Lewis in. We need another center back. Jules Kunde would be amazing. We have a ton of money. We can make it happen. We can make it happen. And I'm having a party tomorrow. And... They lose their phones, and I would just subscribe on their phones. Hey, Henry, yes. A sneaky subscribe button. I love it, bro. Take their phones, and then I sneak in a subscribe. I like it, bro. I like the way you think, Henry. 116 million from Man City. Okay, so we're making Man City worse. That's the whole point right now. 110.5 million. They're going to accept it. Thank you, Pep, for not being stingy, bro. Let's go. Jules Koundé is going to be in the squad. This is a player that Sajith wanted me to sign a long time ago, and now we're going to do it. I agree with Caleb. Joe, I've sent you so much stuff. I agree with Caleb. He says... George, okay. Let me see what kind of mods, what kind of mod powers I can give you, okay? So I don't want to give anyone the power to take people out of the Discord, you know? Just because they said something wrong, guys. You can say whatever you want in there. Just don't be like, don't be racist or anything. Um, sexism is okay, I guess. <laughs> but, but racism, no. That's fine, Sasuke, though. Okay. Well, I'm going to do that after the stream, though. I'm going to do it after the stream, but make sure you remind me after the stream. Uh, Jules Koundé, 110 million from Man City, guys. Chelsea, AC Milan, and Sunderland. Let's go. Henry, you good, my boy? What team do you support? I think Henry supports Sunderland a little bit. And it's definitely Chelsea, bro. 
Definitely Chelsea. Chelsea, A's, Milan, Sunderland. Yeah, cool. Bro, that's actually awesome. That is awesome. I'm already mod on Discord, says Jordan. Okay. I guess we can add another one. Felix Gold versus Atletico. I, dude, I saw that his bicycle kick was nice. Uh, someone sent me his bicycle. I forget. I'm going to expose you on Hollow. Don't send the leaks, though. Don't send them the leaks, okay? Please don't send them the, send them the leaks. All right. Antonio Silva is going to... I guess go to the bench. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. 85 rated Antonio Silva on the bench. Nah, who would have thought, man? Who would have thought this day would come? Uh, okay, we need a winger. We need a winger and desperately. I'm thinking Cole Palmer would be good. Me, George, Nora, and Rando. Only ones who deserve mods. Not going to lie. Joe, I beat Atletico. Felix scored the winner. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, no, that's right. Felix is on your team. For some reason, I thought he was on Atleti Stowe. That's right. Let's go. Against his former club. That's amazing. Yorkeris, Cold, Cold Palmer, Goncalves. Okay, guys, give me some, some wingers. And they don't have to be English. They do not have to be English right now. The wingers we have on the transfer hub are... Let's look at them. We got Diallo. Bakayoko would be fun. We got... Well, that's about it. Galeno, Valero, Savio, Lino could be good. Bukayo Saka, imagine. Imagine Saka. Guys, this is the last season. The last season, no matter what. Even if we get grouped, this is the last season. Bukayo Saka is one of the world's best. He would be amazing on this team. Ansu Fati, Leao. Leao as a backup would be crazy. I don't think he would accept that, but maybe he would. He's a 91 contract expiring. Ansu Fati. Grealish? Ooh, you know what? I've never used Grealish before. I'm actually tempted to sign Grealish. Not even put up a poll. I'm, he's on Chelsea, by the way. I'm tempted to sign Grealish. And Sufati, okay. Let's look up Fati. X Wonder Kid, and I say X because his Wonder Kid status has definitely gone down the drain. He's still a good player, though. Um, still good potential in real life. He's on Barcelona right now, 88 million. Would you rather gay son or thought daughter? I've thought about this. I think I'd have to go thought daughter because... I just feel like the whole point of having a son is to have things that you are um, both interested in at the same time, right? Both of you, like the point of having a son is to share and pass down your traits and the things that you love. Like I'm going to pass down sports to my son, definitely. I'm going to pass down Yu-Gi-Oh! and Dragon Ball to my son, 100%. Um, I, I feel like having a gay son, I feel like we wouldn't have anything in common. I feel like I wouldn't be able to look him eye to eye. That's the problem. That's the problem I see. I'm, I'm not against like gayness, but like, like do whatever you want. I just would rather not have a gay son, I guess. So I would say I'd rather have a thought daughter as my answer. Foden, oh my god, Mudrik would be amazing. Mudrik would be cool. Mudrik is a good one. So that's my stance on that. Joe, there's no point of signing anyone. Oh my god, he doesn't believe in us anyways. Ooh, Mudrik. And CISO is a good one. Nico is in the building. What's up, Nico? Thank you for joining, my boy. It's been such a legendary stream already. Four and a half hours of streaming, guys. You guys should just get used to it, man. Five hours of streaming at a time. That's basically the, the new normal. So, guys, thank you so much, man. Uh, Martinelli. Ooh, you guys know Martinelli is a career mode god. He's a career mode god. He's so good in career mode. 26-year-old, the Brazilian. 100 million on Liverpool. So, we could weaken Liverpool. This is the last season. Zagosa. Okay, Zagosa. You guys are recommending a lot of good players. What about Pulisic? What if we just sign Pulisic for the heck of it? Zagrosa. Got him. Transfer hub here. Um, Enciso. Uh, I don't think his rating is going to be very high, but I do like Enciso. He's a very good player. He's Paraguayan. 80 rated. We could just sign him just to sign him. Let me look up Pulisic, guys. And then that's the last player. And then I'm going to put up, up to a vote. I would like to sign Grealish person personally. I think... His experience would help us in competitions like the Premier League and the Champions League. I think Grealish would be amazing. Yeah, I, I, I do think... And he's cheap. He's pretty cheap too. So we could sign somebody else. Okay. All right, guys. You know what? I'm just going to sign Grealish. And then I'll sign another winger. I'm just going to use up all the money we have, guys. Season 5, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use up all the money we have. I think we still have 100 million left in the bank or something. So I'm going to sign Grealish. He's on Chelsea. He just brings that experience that we need to compete on all fronts. Same with Kunde. Uh, we already signed him. 
Okay, we got 28 million left in the bank after this signing. They want Kirkes, not happening. Potch, not happening, brother. I'll give you 52 million. Remove exchange player. For Grealish, they're going to accept it. Let's go. I lost 5 2 to Aleti in the reverse fixture. Oh, Marcus Edwards, that's right. 10,000 viewers, but no chatting. And they hate you. <laughs> Why are they watching then? Or 20 viewers, but they love and support you, bro. 20 viewers, 100%. And I'll tell you why. There's multiple reasons why. And I'll tell you why in a second here. But let's get Grealish in the squad. We're going to give him a rotation squad role. He is going to accept rotation. He's not going to be greedy. That is amazing. Um, Randall, I'll, I'll uh, expand on my answer in a second here. 120k a week for Grealish is amazing. I still don't understand. 10,000 viewers and they're, they don't care about me. I'm sure there's some people out there that get 10,000 viewers like on Twitch or something. And the chat doesn't go half the speed that you guys are going for real Finn, hey hey back up back up back up Finn, Finn, Finn. i know we're gonna go get dinner soon it's almost seven it is 7 30 where i live guys it's almost dinner time for finn hey oh your breath stinks though go finn go go later go later i know i'm sorry we're gonna go to the park later okay don't be mad at me okay don't put your head down like that okay don't be mad at me spill yours okay could we use this money Okay, so let, let me elaborate on it, guys. The reason I'd rather have the 20 viewers that love and support me and my um, my channel and my content is because when you have 10,000 viewers that don't interact with your content, you're going to be stuck there forever. You're going to be stuck there forever because YouTube's going to... Or you're going to go downhill from there because YouTube's going to see that People aren't, um, uh, what, what's the word? People are not, what is the word I'm looking for? Why can I not think of this word? It's like when, when you chat, you comment, you like, subscribe, interacting. People are not interacting with your content. So you're most likely to stay stagnant forever. You're never going to get more viewers if you don't get likes and comments especially. Comments are the big thing. Um, and plus, you don't get... If people watch you and they hate you, you're not going to get any donations, bro. And that, you get on live streams, you enjoy... Sorry, I just saw Caleb saying enjoying. Um, when you live stream, all your money comes from donations. I don't get any money from ad revenue. Uh, from I get like $2 per stream from YouTube. So that's why I'm so hyped every time I see a donation. Caleb, thank you so much, bro. Ashton, especially. Everybody who's donated before in the past. Shay, Rando, I appreciate y'all, man. Um, I, I get like $2 a stream from ad revenue. So if you got 10,000 viewers watching you and nobody's interacting, nobody likes you, nobody's going to donate to you. So you're not going to make as much money with 10,000 viewers. So that's 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 my whole purpose, man. And plus, and if if you have 20 solid people watching you consistently within a year, I'm pretty sure that number is gonna skyrocket to like a thousand. And those thousand people are gonna continue interacting because your content's good, right? So make you gotta make yourself likable and um, at least likable to the people watching you. And if you do, you're gonna have people interact with your content. And uh, YouTube's going to keep pushing your videos out more and more and more. And the ceiling for viewers is higher when you have more people who love you and interact with your content than 10,000 viewers and nobody interacting. So that's my that's my reasoning. Those are my couple of reasoning. Get Joe to 30 likes. Caleb, I appreciate it, bro. Yes, get us to 30 likes. What are we at right now? Can't look at my phone here. My phone's about to die. Get us to 30 likes, guys, please. I appreciate y'all, man. Absolute dubs. Caleb, you're a dub. I'm quite poor since Henry. Guys, you don't have to donate. All you have to do is do what you're doing right now, which is join the chat, hit that like button, subscribe, share my streams with friends, share my videos with your friends, man, and uh, we'll keep going. That's all you guys have to do. So thank you guys so much, man. Joe, I lost to a lady. I lost five to a lady. Go, no way. Joe, can we play friendlies? Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, guys. I went on a little tangent right there. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, let's get back into it. Okay, we have a squad that I think can compete on all fronts, baby. All freaking fronts. Let's go. Let's do some development plans for these new players. Patterson is still growing. What a goalkeeper he is, man. I've never even heard of him until today. 
Um, okay, Kunde is a new signing. We're gonna give him a development plan. Development plan. I'm talking too fast. Um, also, we have Silva. He's gonna keep growing. I'm actually gonna have to negotiate a new contract with him so that he doesn't get mad that he's gonna be a rotation player now behind uh, Kunde, of course. Lewis, new player. I guess Varela's done growing. That's unfortunate. 16. Ooh, guys, this is the last season, the fifth and final season of this Sunderland rebuild. It's been amazing. Jack Grealish, a new player. So we've signed three players this last season. Jack Grealish, um, Jules Koundé, Enrico Lewis. Amazing stuff. And uh, we've done it with Job Bellingham being our, our center forward. I feel like City, from a few years ago, before they had Holland and before they had, like, Jesus, at, and, like, the time between Jesus and, and Aguero, when they just played a false nine, and they didn't really have a recognized striker. I feel like that time. We're kind of cooking with it, too. I just got an ad for ear, ear condoms? I kind of want one. I'm not going to lie. That sounds like a, like a good one. That sounds like a... Why is that popping up on my channel, though? <laughs> How late am I, says Nora. What's up, Joe? Nora, you've been here for a long time, bro. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate it, man. We are in our fifth and final season. We're coming off our third trophy in season four. It was the Premier League. So we have three trophies in four seasons for Sunderland. We're going to be in the Champions League this season. This is the fifth and final season. We're going to be here. Job Bellingham transfer offer. And they are offering this guy, Kaladizish. It's Wolves. We're going to block deals here. Kirk has, we're going to block deals as well. But it's 3.40 a.m. where Dance lives. That's actual. That, that's what I'm talking about. The person who's got 10,000 viewers doesn't have people staying up till 3, 3 a.m. watching their content. Damps, I greatly appreciate it, man. Uh, thank you so much for supporting me and my my, uh, my journey on YouTube here. Um, I've got a quick sim game here against Leverkusen. We're going to win 3-2. We just beat unbeaten Leverkusen. Joe with two goals. That's amazing. Joe, if you get the Champions League finals, can you play it? Yes, Benedict. If we get to the Champions League final, best believe we are definitely going to play it. Let's hire one coach this season because we can have one more coach here. Should we do midfield, defense, goalkeeping? I think whoever the best coach comes from. Um... Not midfield, probably defense. So let's do defense. There you go. Perfecto. That's the last coach we're going to hire. We play in some Gardic phones or something like that. Maybe. Maybe, guys, because we're going to stay on live stream for, for probably another hour after the five hour mark. Okay. All right, guys, it's time. Let's go to the calendar and start simming. Oh, we're in the FA Community Shield. We're in the Community Shield. Final against Bristol City. This could be our fourth trophy. This could be our fourth trophy against Bristol City. This has to be a dub, bro. Neutral site field. How did they win the FA Cup? I'm looking at their team. I don't know any guys on their team, bro. We're quick simming. Kunde in the starting 11. We're going to win 2-1, and that's our fourth trophy in five seasons. Sule on the score sheet. Oh, 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 Nora. Nora. Sule had 11 goals and 16 assists last season. I thought he was going to be a bench player after we signed him for free. He was our top assister. And actually won the Golden Toe, which is the top assister in the Premier League. And he had 11 goals. He took over Bargy's spot. So we ended up selling Bargy to Leicester City. Let me show you. Here's Bargy right here. We sold him to Leicester City for $93 million. We used that money to sign Grealish and Jules Koundé and Rico Lewis. So basically, we beefed up the squad. We got some experience. We also got some nice young players too. And a couple of English guys as well. So guys, we are cooking. We just won our fourth freaking trophy. Skill issue damps. Wait, what? I'm confused. Um, all right, guys. Oh, you know what? We might have someone win the player of the year. Guys, someone let me know. When does the player of the year usually get announced? The, the Ballon d'Or. When does that usually get announced? How do we lose to Leeds 3-1? Newcastle, we lose 2-1. We've lost both of our first two games. This is not good. Okay, we, we won our third game. Got United next. Hmm... Let's stop this year. Joe, I got sacked, but I was in second. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's why you need PC. And you need mods. Okay, I want to see our Champions League group before we get into it. Champions League group. Leverkusen, Betis, and Galatasaray. We have to be the favorites after winning the Premier League. That's a pretty straightforward group. Now I'm doing Luton Town. Let's go, Dams, bro. Stop at 30 of October. Stop at 30 of October. Okay, stop at 30 of October. Cool. Image, skill, image, dance. Okay. Oops, what am I doing? Fan, fan is. Random stop yapping. Okay. 
100,000 subs, but you're always getting canceled, or 10,000 subs, but you're growing every day. Ooh, so Randall, if I'm at 100k, so does that mean I can't grow anymore? That would kind of suck. That would kind of suck. All right, Brighton, Big Duck, 2 one Let me think about that one. Let me think about that one. Lost to Man City. Lost to Sheffield in the Carabao Cup. So that's a trophy we're never going to win. We just beat Bayer Leverkusen in our first Champions League fixture, guys. This is the competition I want to solely focus on. If we get top 10 in the Premier League, I'm fine. As long as we do good in the Champions League. But we lose to Galatasaray, bro. Bruh. Oh, my God. Crazy. I want to see if we win Ballon d'Or. Do we have anybody to win the Ballon d'Or? Let's see. Rachel, my alt question mark? I'll get her on. That's crazy, bro. I knew, but I know Randall's got alts. I know Randall's got alts, man. But you know what? It is what it is. Thank you, Randall, for taking the time to, to make alts like that, bro. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. All right. Um, don't make too many, though, because you could get my, you know, channel flagged. They Because they'll think I'm doing something fishy. Joe, buy a new goalkeeper, says Henry. Ooh, he's up to an 88, though. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, let me look at the news. Has player of the year been awarded yet? No. Who will lift 2027's Ballon d'Or? We have somebody shortlisted. And guess who it is? I think it's Clark. I think that's Clark. No, it's Matthias Sule. Sule, after we signed him for free. Who would have thought, bro? Who would have thought? Okay, let's sim a little bit. No way we get Sule. No way Sule is going to be the guy, right? To win the Ballon d'Or? There's no way. Gonna beat Chelsea right now. 2-1. Gail Hart with the game winner. Nice. Uh, okay, I'm gonna answer this question now. Rando asked 100,000 subs or... And you're always getting canceled. Or 10,000 subs, but you're growing every day. See, the thing is, I don't mind getting canceled. As long as I still have my, you know, my OGs. But the fact that I'm not gonna be able to grow kind of sucks. So I guess I'll have to say 10k because the ceiling's gonna be higher. Uh, the potential is going to be higher for us. So, I, go, I guess I'll go to the 10K one. Um, Sule grabs player of the month. I don't see any... I don't see... Uh... Man, if Sule wins player of the month right now, I think he might win the Ballon d'Or. How's your day going, Joe? It's going great, Henry. Great Saturday for me. Clark is injured. No, Clark. Why is Clark injured? Oh, my God. Well, we have Jack Grealish, right? Yeah, Jack Grealish can play over there. That's fair. That's fine. All right, let's quick send this match against West Ham on the road. And we lose, bro. That is shocking. Yeah, this is definitely not our season in the Premier League. But we could pick it up, man. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Don't, don't show this. Don't show this. Full face. Okay, I think we're good. It's before the writing. I think the writing is the, the bad part. Yeah, I think we're good. So we're not going to get copyrighted for this. You guys know I've been copyrighted a few times just for that logo. The Champions League logo popping up. Look now, says Caleb. Okay, I'll look now. Guys, we're at 29 likes. Can we get to 30, bro? Can we get to 30, please? Um. Oh, my God. Caleb is sending me hella, hella. Yeah. Definitely a special role somewhere. Maybe Discord mod. We'll see. We'll see. But he's, selling me, he's sending me hella gifts, which I appreciate, man. That's funny. That's funny. Don't show this, says Nora. Bro, pulling an all-nighter, says Damps. Damps, we're going to get this done quickly, okay? we got six points right now in the Champions League. I'm still waiting to see if we had somebody win the Ballon d'Or. Let's go to news again. Uh, I don't see any Ballon d'Or news. I don't see any Ballon d'Or news. Should I wait? Don't show this. Yes, uh, Nora, you're right. Don't show it, don't show it, don't show it. Okay, Clark is still injured. That's kind of worrying me. So it's not a little knock. That is not good. I'm going to start Fermin Lopez this match for Miley. Rico Lewis here on the right back side. Manu at DM as well. And then Silva at center back next to Heizo, the old pairing, man. A quick sim this match against Galatasaray. And we're going to get the 3-2 victory. Neil, the captain, gets two goals. And of course, possibly the Ballon d'Or winner, Sule, getting on the score sheet right there. I think you missed it. I might have missed it, but Sule was... No, I definitely didn't miss it if it was Sule. I would have known if it was Sule because it would have cut to the scene. The cut scene. 
Shule won October Player of the Month, man. I think Shule might actually win it. Possibly I did miss it, though. Quick sim here. We won 3-1 against Liverpool. Let's go. Neil again and Sule. And then Fermin Lopez. That's what I'm talking about, boys. I'm back. Little Sigma Sajit. Let's go. Uh, I think we signed a player that you want. Oh, we signed Jules Koundé. Uh, I know you wanted me to sign him. Most goal environments right there. Yeah, guys. I must have missed it. I must have missed it. Let's take one last look at it. Um, yeah. I must have missed it somehow. But it would have popped up if uh, Sule had won it. So, I don't think Sule won it. All right, here we go. We're going to get to January here. Here we got Nottingham Forest, and we lose, bro. It's okay. Just focus Bruh. on the Champions League, where we win 3-1 over Bayer Leverkusen. Yeah, we definitely topped our group. No doubt about it. Especially if we beat Real Betis, which we do here, guys. So we're moving on in the Champions League. That is amazing. That is amazing. Guys, we're almost at five hours. Ten minutes from five hours. Thank you so much for staying with me. This has been an epic rebuild stream. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the stats halfway through the season. Fifth place in the Premier League, but we're only one point off of fourth. We're only seven points off of Villa. Guys, remember last season. We've already won a trophy this season. We won the FA Community Shield, so that's our fourth trophy. FA Cup we lost early on. Oh, no. Carabao Cup we lost early on. Early on. Champions League. We do indeed top our group. 5-0-1, 15 points. Galatasaray also goes through. And then we do play FC Porto. I think that's a favorable draw in the round of 16. I think we should get past that one pretty easily. But who knows? Knock on wood, man. Knock on wood. Don't, don't, jinx, don't jinx it. Top goal scorer is Matthias Sule. I think he deserves the Ballon d'Or. I know he was nominated for the Ballon d'Or, but I don't know if he got it. What's the next Sporting Juniors dance? Monday is the next Sporting Juniors joke. Play my fave song. Favorite song? I will. Let's do it right now for the end of the season here. Joe Belling, seven goals. Clark, nine goals. Is he back to full fitness? Yes, he is back to full fitness. That is good. Grealish has five goals off the bench. That is amazing. Cool beans, bro. Yes, sir. Love it. All right, Grealish onto the bench here. There we go. There we go. Cool. All right, cool. See, Sule is better than Mujic. Oh, don't tell Alex, Alex that, bro. Do not tell Mikhailo Mujic that. Uh, Yarmuluk Mujic. Do not tell him that. Okay, we're going to sim to the first Porto game. We're going to tie United. United. We're going to lose to Villa. Beat Crystal Palace. Yeah, definitely we're not winning the Premier League this season. But it's okay. We've already won the Premier League. So I'm feeling happy about that. Man City next up. And we're going to get the 2-1 L. Brighton, we're going to win 2-1. Newcastle, we're going to lose 2-0. We're going to quick sim this first Porto match here. With... Jack Grealish on the left wing. Whoops. Oh, what, wait, what? Jack Grealish on the left wing. And then Rico Lewis at right back. And then Silva at center back. Next to Haito. We're going to quick sim this match here. And we're going to go up 3-2 before the second leg. That is amazing. Okay. We're chilling. We're chilling. Anyone else miss Sava? I miss Sava too. Sava never comes to the streams anymore, bro. Randall, are you Sava? Imagine Randall with Sava, bro. I do miss Sava. Stream tomorrow. Caleb... Probably no stream tomorrow. I do have my Sunday League Sunday League match um, tomorrow morning. Yes, last week it got canceled because it was so rainy. Um, all right, guys. Imagine we lose here. No way we lose, right? No way we lose. Just keep up the same intensity. Fermi Lopez is going to start. Rico Lewis is going to start. We're also going to start Silva again. And then Grealish is going to start on the left wing. Bring a lot of experience into this team. And we're going to pull it out, boys. 2-2 behind a game winner. To send us to the next round, Neil in the 88th minute. That is amazing. Fermin Lopez also scored a goal. Man, Fermin has been an underrated signing for us, man. Okay, we are moving on, guys, to the quarterfinals. That is amazing. I'm everybody. I'm Sava too, says Randall. No way, bro. No way. You're actually killing me, man. You're killing me. But it is what it is, bro. Maybe we don't have as many people watch the streams as I thought. Okay, Randall. How many of your alts are actually watching the stream usually? How many alts do you usually have watching the stream, including yourself, man? Sheffield, we got Inter up next, and we lose 2-0 to Inter. No way. Okay, I'm going to play this match, guys. I'm playing this match. Here we go. Who do they have? Oh, they have the Malero guy. I should have signed him. They have Olise, Lavia, Bernardo Silva, and Barella. That midfield is world class. The center backs are crazy, too. Hanko, Bastoni, and Buongiorno. Diogo Costa, Opeta, Lotaro. That team is insane, dude. Nah, this team's nuts. Randall, run this channel. Yeah, for real. It seems like it, bro. 
Randos everybody in the chat right now. This is Randos full-time job. Oh god. Insane. Um, Sule is definitely playing. We're gonna play Silva next to Kunde. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Alright guys, we're down 2-0 right now. I'm Randos all bro. No way. Without Rando, Joe would be nothing. Sajit, you guys are killing me, man. Bye, Palmer. I'm Rando, too. Damps, I, I can't even right now, man. I can't even. Like, I'm sad, but it is what it is. I'm sad. Everybody's Rando's alt. I'm Rando's alt, too. Oh, God. Nice. There we go. Good, guys. We got, we, got to win two, we got to win by two goals today. New over the top. Good ball. Over for Clark. Inside. Inside. Turn on your right foot. Bastoni. On his right foot. Diogo Costa, great save. Guys, bring the intensity. Bring the intensity. Bring the action. Oh my god, no. Nice. Good job, Kirkus. Take that. Take that and run with it. Clark. Nice. Nice. I know Mateus is a real person. I've talked to him. I've actually talked to Mateus. So I know he's a real person. Nice. That's got to be a handball. Rafa is a handball. And just like the... I think it was the Newcastle match, or West Ham match. We were down 2-0. And we got a penalty kick right at the beginning of the match. And now we got another one here. And I'm going to take this with Clark. No, actually, Sule has the best pens on the team. I'm going to take it with him. There's Sule. The number nine steps up. And he sends the keeper the wrong way into the back net. Goal. 2 1. We're back in this tie. Let's go. I'm Harrison's alt. <laughs> Who remembers Harrison, bro? Is Harrison an alt? Harrison might actually be an alt. I don't think so, bro. I don't know. And Vuk's alt. Nah, you guys are crazy. What happened to Vuk, by the way? Vuk and Sava, they just like said, nah, fuck Joe Red. I don't want to talk to him anymore. I don't want to watch his streams anymore. Okay, what is Bernardo Silva plotting here? Lavia, what's he plotting? Bernardo Silva gets that over to Borella. This midfield is so nice. It's actually really balanced, too, because Borella is a really good box to box midfielder. And then you have your more attacking midfielder in Bernardo Silva, and then your defensive midfielder in uh, Lavia. So, this is a really balanced midfield. How did La Torre Martinez just do that, bro? That's what I'm saying. I don't understand this game. Bro just bullied his way in there. Sava is my ult. <laughs> oh my gosh. Caleb. Oh my god, no. Messi just scored. No way. For Inter Miami? Didn't Inter Miami get knocked out of like the Champions Cup or something? I heard about that. Nice. Varela. There you go. DM. Playing as DM right now. And this is Varela here. Nice. Here we go. Here's Sule. Gonna sweat that back for Joe Bellingham. Shoot the ball. Joe Bellingham. What the heck? Oh my gosh. That was the chance. That was a big chance right there. Big chance gone to waste, but here it is. Outside the box is Varela on his right foot. It's blocked again. Oh my god, then Lavia steals it. Wow. How unlucky can this team be? How unlucky can I be? I'm RVD's alt. Is RVD a real person, man? I feel like he is. He's gotta be, right? <laughs> so, you're saying that Randall's just been arguing with himself in the chat. Nah, crazy. I know George is a real person. I've talked to him. Nice save from Patterson. Let's go. Nor is my alt as well. Okay, you guys have to be tri tricking me. Like, just tricking me. Here's Ben White. Come on, Ben. Just take it up and run, bro. Nice. Sule, let's go. Sule, carry. Carry this team, bro. To victory. Antonio. Antonio. No, bro. God. Bro, that's such a ris risky pass. There we go. We got oh, whoa. I didn't look. I looked at the time paying attention bro no way he scores again right nice save patterson good reflex save i wish ashton could save a shot like that in sporting juniors bro for real Three. Come on, man. 
Guys, I'm focused. Head down, focus. Ben White, you monster. That's a good play right there. Really good play. Dude, what? Nice. Varela, let's go. There you go. No, that's the wrong guy. I can't pass this to the right guy. This is unreal. I'm Amori's all. What? Oh, Amari. Yeah, that's right. Amari, the, the Kenyan. Okay, can we please get the ball out of the midfield here? There we go. Clark, run. Make a run. Oh my god, bro. What is up with them blocking every pass I make? They block every single pass. Come on, I want to score before halftime. Score before halftime. There we go. There we go. There we go. He's in. Clark, top goal scorer on the team. He sweats that. It's got to be a goal for Sule. How does Diogo Costa know we're going that way, bro? He, I, I saw him. He got baited that way, bro. I'm Ethan's halt. Bro, I haven't seen Ethan in so long. Ever since the the bamboozlement on uh, Fortnite. That was ridiculous. Joe, on his left foot. Oh my god, he sails it over the net. You gotta be kidding me. And just like that, that's the halftime whistle. Bruh. I'm Nico Jr.'s ult. I'm George's ult. I'm Ethan's ult. I'm Finn's ult. Nah, y'all are crazy. Enzo's my dog. I'm Holland's ult. That me, Joe, is Rando. And Rando is me. Okay, that's a... That's like some Inception type shit right there. Interstellar type shit. Whoa. Oh my lord. Come on, team. Step up. Why is nobody on him, though? Why is nobody on him? Nah, we're gonna lose. We always start off good, and then they just like score five goals and like call it a game. This sucks. Clark, go. Use your pace, bro. You're faster than Borella. You have to be. Borella's not that fast. What is that touch, bro? Bro, that was a handball. I know that was a handball. I know the ref is getting paid, bro. How deep are you reaching, man? How deep are you reaching in those pockets? It's for sure a handball. Can someone make a run, bro? No one's making a good run. There you go. Sule. Clark. God, bro. This is impossible. This is really legit impossible. I'm gonna be real now. No cap. I'm Sajith. Wow, that's like an Iron Man reveal right there. I am Iron Man. I am Sajith. Okay, Job is like dead. He's so tired. Kirk gets the good ball. Come on, Job, get in front of him. It's just too, too slow right now. No, bro. It's too many passes. It's just too many passes. Alright, you know what? We're gonna restart this game. I feel like I'm getting gypped. I feel like I'm getting gypped right now. I'm not gonna lie. I just feel like I'm getting gypped. I'm restarting. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry you guys don't want to see this, but I'm restarting. I feel like we're the better team. I really do. Oh my god. What is happening right now? Bro is too fast for his own good. Bro can't keep up with the shoelaces, man. I saw that coming, too. I see this coming. I see it coming every time. You can't stop it. You can't just stop it. Give Pen Pen Spence a pen or he retires. 
Who? Penped Spence. That Jack Wheelish? Oh my god, bro. I see it coming and you can't stop it. Is that Darmion? I think that was legit a center back that just did that. Oh, it's, it was Silva. Okay, that makes sense. Silva actually does that. It's too late. Nice move. God, bro. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yes, sir. Joe, gotta be a goal. It is a goal. We pull him back. Let's go. Stop the cap. I'm Caleb. Okay, now you guys are just like effing with me. Stop the cap. I'm Caleb. That's funny, bro. That's funny. Hey, you know what, guys? Thank you so much for staying with me, man. We just hit five hours, by the way. What a freaking stream. What a Saturday stream. This is a special, man. It's a Saturday special. Maybe I'll just name a stream one day a Saturday special. You don't do many of them. But when we do, we go crazy, bro. Lots of people watch the stream, man. Happy Saturday. I hope you're fit, healthy, working out. Don't foul. Do not foul. Thank you, Antonio Silva. Good job, bro. We are all red results. Dude. Maybe we should do a voice call. Nice save. Maybe we should get to the bottom of this and do a voice call in the Discord. Good turn from Jack. Oh, Jack. It's not Jack Relish. Clark. Nice Clark. Use that pace, bro. Use that pace, bro. Bro, how? Take that. What a ball. To Sule. Who would have guessed that Sule would be our MVP? I would not have guessed that. Ball over the top. Clark's gonna run underneath it. Oh, Joe was really offside. Just barely, bro. No, I'm Nora. No, I'm Sajith. And I'm Rando. And I'm Jora. Jora? I just made up a new person. Someone make that alt. Jora. Someone make the Jora alt. Bro, why is this so difficult? I don't get it. <sighs> like, I'm good, bro. I'm like a good player. I'm really good. I just... You can't beat them. They made ultimate way too ultimate. It's not like ultimates in the past. This is way too difficult. I think they may have even updated it. Upgraded the ultimate. God, I mean, look at these guys ping the ball around like this. Like, you can't touch this.
That's not even who I passed it to. Then stuff like that happens too. Stuff like that happens. I can't pass it to the right guy. Oh God, stay with it, bro. How is Olise pushing you off the ball, Kirkes? You're supposed to be the defender. God. I'm Joe's... <laughs> I'm Joe's mom. That's the most random one. I'm Rando. What happened to J-Dub, guys? J-Dub really got mad that Sunderland... That his rebuild wasn't doing very good. Bro got really mad. Like in season two, he quit. What happened? Bro, Inter is not better than us. Out of everybody, man, why did it have to be Inter, bro? Why did it have to be Inter? Like, why? Good ball. Good ball. Back post. Guess who's there? Gosh, it was Clark. Caitlin Clark was there. Caitlin Clark. You guys know who Caitlin Clark is? I'm Joe's mom. Imagine, bro. That'd be so weird. Job. Bro, Ben White's so good. I should use him more often. For real. Sule, let's go, bro. Use that pace. Come on, Miley. It's like, no. How does Olise get over there? Bro's not even a defender. And somehow he manages to sneak his way over there. Oh, God. Latoro Martinez is not this fast. Okay? Bro's a target player. Bro does not get in behind like this. Maybe Openda does, but not... Fucking Latoro Martinez, man. Stop playing with me. This is jokes. This is not even a video game at this point. This has to be real life at this point. Look at the way he's fucking on my butt. And, and. Bro. Nah, I'm done, dude. I'm done. You know, we tried with Sunderland, man. Um. Maybe if there was another season or something. Bro, I can't pick the right guy. I couldn't pick the right guy. No, I'm done. It's over. We always score first, too. That's the worst part. I'm done. All right, guys. That is the end of the career mode. Unfortunately, we could not manage to win the Champions League. And uh, put that in our trophy case. But it is what it is. Uh, we did win the Premier League. So I would say that this was definitely a successful rebuild. And we're definitely not winning the Premier League this season. Considering we're losing to really crap teams. Um, so that's unfortunate. But um, yeah, hopefully we got fifth again or something. And uh, we did win the Community Shield this season. So we got four trophies in five seasons, guys. Four trophies in five seasons. George, are you still here? Because we're going to look at your video now. We got sixth in the Premier League this season. It was tough having to deal with the Champions League. FA Cup, Carabao Cup, all the competitions, man, during one season. Man City ends up winning it. Um, really unlucky. Sheffield, Everton got relegated finally. Crystal Palace, man, they got relegated too. But we did win the Community Shield. I will take that as a dub. FA Cup goes to Man City, so they win the double. Carabao Cup goes to Liverpool. Super Cup goes to Roma over Arsenal. And the Champions League goes to PSG over Inter Milan. Very interesting. No English teams in the semis. Crazy. Europa League's gonna go to Napoli. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, bet George. Uh, Conference League goes to Dinamo Kiev over Genk. And then let's take a look at the stats for the final season, boys. Who was our top goal scorer? It was none other than Matthias Sule. You know what? I'm gonna ask you guys. Who was the MVP? Throughout the entire video, I would say Clark. But Matthias Sule really was good the last two seasons we only had Sule for two seasons we had Clark all five Clark was the top goal scorer but I'm gonna ask you guys who was the Sunderland rebuild MVP and I want you guys to vote in the chat I'm gonna put Clark in here obviously Sule bro was nominated for the Ballon d'Or I don't know if he won it but he was nominated Neil was also really good in the midfield and then uh, I'm also gonna do Job Bellingham because Job you know he did his thing. He's not a striker in real life, but he is a center forward slash cam. Um, 
and you know what? He did good enough, bro. I'm going to vote here. He did good enough as a false nine. That's that's the position he played, false nine. So he did good enough. Um, but yeah, guys, vote. Vote in the comment section. Who was our MVP? Who was MVP, guys? Let me know. No, I'm LeBron. No, I'm Sajith. So I'm Sajith. No, I'm LeBron. So I'm Sajith. Okay, bet. Uh, Sule. Okay, it looks like Sule is going to win this vote total. Uh, so we're going to end it there. Sule is officially the MVP of this rebuild. Okay. We only had him two seasons, but fair play, man. He was really good for us. Job, only nine goals this season. Twelve goals for Neil. Yeah, maybe we should have signed a striker and then moved Bellingham back to the camp position. It, it is what it is. Gelhart, seven goals off the bench is really solid. Lewis Miley. Bro, Sule had 17 assists as well. Yeah, bro was cracked. Yeah, bro was actually cracked. Really good stuff from the team here. Um, I'm happy with how it ended, guys. I'm happy with how it ended. Let's take a look at the player stats. I'm Nora. Foden was top goal scorer with Holland in second. Yeah, Man City was just cracked. Sule was fourth for the Golden Boot race. Golden Toe goes to Sule, tied with Foden. Nice job. And then Clean Sheets goes to Trap. Ooh, Patterson was way down there. Maybe we should have signed a different goalkeeper. Uh, maybe that would have been better for us. Let me save this real quick. Sunderland. Rebuild. And, uh, yeah, guys, this is the team we finish on. Our top value player was Joe Bellingham. 185 million. He's only 22 years old, five years down the line, which is so young still. Um, I don't even think he reached his prime, so I think that's why he didn't score very much. Uh, Jack Clark. Oh, his name is Jack. Jack Clark, also a 91 rated player, English international, 140 million. Lewis Miley's worth 121 million. What a year he had. Bro, all these guys are English players. This guy's English as well. 115 million for Neil. I've never even heard of this guy. He turned out to be a baller. He was already on the team before we started. I'm the tallest, Joe. Joe, we are all you, but in different universes. That's some interstellar stuff right there. Crazy. Uh, Sule's worth 114 million. Argentinian. Yeah, man. Lots of really good English players on this team. I'm glad we were able to sign some English players. How many goals did Jack Grealish get? Grealish. Bro didn't score this season, did he? No, he got five goals and three assists. That's pretty good. That's a Jack Grealish kind of year. He's never been a top goal scorer. All right. Guys, thank you so much for joining. I'm going to go to YouTube right now. Go here. And then, guys, we are going to watch some stuff here. George posted a YouTube short. Shout out George, man. George, man. Maybe George can get a... Can really practice and he can be my YouTube shorts editor. That'd be amazing. I would love that. Let me click on this and I hit that like button. Let's go. Better allergy relief. Oh, for better almost at 30 likes. Why are we not at 30 likes? Yet? Clear. I'm Andrew East today I swear. and I'm running for 12. Anyways, oh, now 12 people watch. Okay, people are back. Uh, my foot fell asleep. Caleb, my foot falls, falls asleep right now, bro. I'm sitting on my foot right now. Uh, guys, thank you for watching. This is a nice looking thumbnail. I'm not going to lie. I think we might have the best thumbnails. Nah, maybe we don't have the best thumbnails on YouTube, but we got some pretty good thumbnails. I'm not going to lie. I do really like these thumbnails. Uh, but let me go to George. George, I'm pretty sure I am subscribed to you. Yeah, I am. Here we go. George, it doesn't say that you have any, any videos, bro. George, tell me. Ivan is in the building. Ivan, welcome back, bro. Thank you for coming back. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, George, where is your video? And did I, th I heard you made a new Kahoot, by the way. George, is this the right channel? Do you have a different...
Here it is, here it is. Okay, guys, we're here. Okay, let me turn this off. All right, you guys ready? Thumbnail. Hey, you can probably hear double of me, huh? Here it is, here it is. Okay, guys, we're here. Okay, let me... Is that better? Yeah, let me exit out of this. <laughs> I don't want you to hear. I don't. I don't want you guys to hear double of me. Uh, but anyways, okay. Let's go to Pessy robbed Ballon door. Oh my God, Sajit, do not look, bro. Sajit, do not look. Here we go. Messi won again a Ballon d'Or. Why Ronaldo didn't? Bro had 64 goals this year. What, what year are we talking about? What year was this? No, I'm Diego. No, I'm Randall. Diego's here. Jay Joe, I'm back. I was playing goalkeeper, but my hurt my wrist. So I'm back just to watch and they're practicing. Let's go, Diego. Thank you for coming back, bro. We're just over five hours. We are watching a video by George. Who is Newcastle in the chat, bro. Sajid, do not look, bro. Um, what year was this? George, what year was this? What year are we referencing here? Let's look at all George, George's videos. Oh no, heartbreak for England. Obviously, I was happy about this because I wanted Italy, Italy to win. If you guys don't know, I'm Italian. My last name is Italian. And, uh, yeah. I was happy, bro. I was so happy. Is he gonna cut to soccer? Yeah, he was crazy shit. Hey, these are good videos. You guys, these are good edits. Oh, George, last year. Oh, that's, hold on, that's why you put Al Nasser because he has scored so many goals for Al Nasser since joining their team. That's why. You, that's why. Okay. It's just because he's on Al Nasser. I don't, bro. I don't know why Messi won the Ballon d'Or either. He won it in 20, 20, uh, 23, didn't he? Like at the or at the end of twenty twenty two, right after the World Cup. Why doesn't the World Cup count for that year? The World Cup that happened in twenty twenty two should not have counted for. Unless they have the time frames different, but they didn't do anything in 2023. So I, I just don't get it. Uh, he should have won it in 2022, of course. He won the World Cup, so props to him. But Sajith is not me. I'm Caleb, so I'm George, so I'm Norris, so I'm Sajith, so I'm Jay Dove, so I'm Damp, so I'm Rando. Let's go. Joe Ballandor is now judged by seasons, not years. It's changed. Oh. Okay, so why did Messi win it in 2023? What season did he have? Oh, I guess the 2022 to 2023 season. I guess if you start in August of 2022, and then you, ha you had the late World Cup, which makes sense. Okay, the World Cup was late, so that worked in Messi's favor because um, of COVID and stuff. He got pushed back to, like, fall of 2023. So that would count for the 2022-2023 fiscal year, I guess. Not fiscal year. Year. Okay, interesting. Okay. Hey, yeah, these are fire. and they're worse. Usually you see videos of players at their peak or something. Um, so you don't usually see a video like that. I don't know why you're not getting any views, George. These are good, good edits, man. The hoot time? Alright, Saji, let's, let's check out the new scene, Luka Hoot. The real meaning of Ronaldo. Powerful, endless machine. I like it. Nightmare. Amazing. I like it, bro. Level, goats. Dangerous. I 
<laughs> Obvious guy. I like it. This is a good video, bro. I don't know why you're not getting more views, George. I'm the, why am I not subscribed to this channel? Did you change your channel? I'll subscribe here. Yes, sir. Am I your first sub? I hope so, bro. Let's go. See? See? There you go, George. That was for you. All right, guys. Let's go to Kahoot. And uh, what's the name of the Kahoot, Sajith? What's the new Kahoot? Oh, my God. There's another one. Is this it? Is this the new one? Let's play Kahoot, guys. Joe, guess who we are? You are the Alts United. You're Alts United. You are... You are me. I'm an alt. Finn is an AI alt. But we are alts. We're all alts. You know what? I'm just going to change the name of this channel. Alt Sports. Alt Sports. Not even red. Not alt red sports. Just alt sports. Griezmann. Griezmann. Can we all admit that this stream is AI generated by Rando? I am Rando. Imagine. Imagine I'm just talking to myself the whole time. Nah, crazy. I'm George's second sub. Let's go, Caleb. Yeah, guys, go go sub to George, man. He makes fire edits. And go follow him on TikTok, too. He makes TikTok videos, too. Uh, so, George, I got you, bro. Sajith, is this the actual Kahoot right here? Oh, my God, bro. Look at this Kahoot. All right, we're, we're going to do this Kahoot here. And I'm going to host a live. Okay, I'm going to host a live, and you guys join in. Unless, Sajith, you want to host it. Everyone is on. Okay, guys, type this pin number. 5102152. Okay, hold on. I got to mute this site. Okay, guys. Alts, unite. 5102152 for the new Kahoot that Sajith has created. 5102152 is the game pin, guys. Jump in, bro. Jump in if you dare. This is a new one. And I appreciate you guys making these, man. These are fun. These are really fun. Oh, okay, now my phone says 31 likes. So, guys, thank you very much. I know I liked it, too. I've liked it twice on my phone. And, you know, if I didn't like it, we'd be at 29. But it is what it is. I was born 2025, April 32nd at 2739. Okay, Sajith is from the future, I guess. He's an alt from the future. Okay, we got Rando in, Pessy in, Ivan in. All of them are alts. Can we get any more of you guys in? Sajith, get in. Actually, no. Sajith, don't get in. You already know the answers to these. Can we get Diego in? Diego, can you join? Kahoot? Just go type in Kahoot in the, in the search bar and then go to play and then type in this game pin. 5102152. Also, Caleb. Caleb, where you at? George, you win this? And anybody else who wants to join? Damps, are you in this still? Or did you go? Ivan, you're Rando, and Rando's me. <laughs> oh my god. In the 2020 who won the... Okay, I won the car. Okay. No, I'm him, says Caleb. Join in, boys. Join in. No Kahoot, Damps? You don't want to do Kahoot, bro? Maybe it's because you're all Rando. Oh, I can't. That's because he's a... Dude, is Damps really a Rando alt? Is this a real thing? Real Joe Ray Dieg? Okay. All right, guys. We're going to get in now. Here we go. Here we go. Thank you guys for joining. Let's see how this quiz is. Here we go. First question. I'm hosting this, so I'm not answering. Does Joe put in... <laughs> yes, I put that work in. Oh my god, bro's using the old logo for Joe Red Sports. Guys, this is like the original logo I made. The very first logo I ever made. My man only like men. Joe is gay, bro. Yeah, my man did it twice. Joe is straight. Of course, he put in without a tape. Yes, sir. Yeah, my man did it twice. Okay, those second two are the correct answers. Thank God. Sajith is putting the right answers, it looks like. <laughs> Fessy and Rando got it wrong. Rando or Noah. Nor Noah, Nora. We both got it wrong. Unreal. Is Joe gay? Wow. Let's take a look at these answers. Oh, it's a true or false? False? Thank you, guys. All five of you said false. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, man. I can confirm that I can't confirm it. I can neither confirm or deny. Joe's favorite football club. 
This should be a pretty simple one. This is more straight than that gay question. Just kidding. Bro, if someone says UV, I'm gonna cry. Oh no. Bro, <laughs> someone's trolling in the chat. They said BSC Young Boys, bro. No, blood, I just don't got my PC. Oh, gotcha. Damps, I appreciate it, man. Let's see who wins this, man. Let's see who wins this. I'm, I'm hoping there's some nostalgic questions in here, like some old questions for, you know, some some of the posts. Yeah, like like this question. When did the GOAT start streaming? Ooh, good question. What do you guys think? I guess this is TikTok and YouTube. It's the same one. Uh, 2022, good try. Uh, but it was 2023. Guys, I only, I only started streaming eight months ago. Maybe it was nine months ago. But I think it was eight months ago I started streaming. Not that long ago. And we've already done really good, bro. Next question. Joe's favorite football player. Hmm, are you going to get this one? It's on here. My favorite footballer is on here. <laughs> bro, Zunyaga. Okay, there's two right answers. Zunyaga and Kaká. Yeah, Ricardo Kaká is my favorite uh, player of all time. Phil Jones is on here. No Sigurdsson. I like that he put Greenwood, though, as the thumbnail for that question. That was great. So in first place, we have Ivan. Yes, sir, Ivan. Coming up clutch right now. I love it, bro. When did the GOAT start YouTube? Yes, this is the original logo. Wow, this brings back memories. Um, well, technically, I will say I technically did start in 2020 during COVID. Uh, the summer during COVID, like the initial lockdown period, I started YouTube. Yeah, 2020, man. And then I, uh, I didn't come back. Though I started, I didn't post it all in 2021. I stopped YouTube. And then I came back. I didn't post it all in 2022 uh, until December 2022. So basically, I've been on YouTube for a year, basically like 16 months. What the F is this? <laughs> what the F is this? Oh, my God. Subscriber RTG Spurs 2.0. <laughs> Yo, these answers are so funny, man. These are really good options, too. I'm liking these options, man. My head is just so hot right now, bro. Pessy jumps into first. Joe's best YouTube stream. Ooh, I mean, this is this is subjective, you know. What are the answers? Valencia rebuild, Barca rebuild, every stream, man. Which football club do I love slash hate? Oh, no one put that one, but that was the very first stream I ever did on YouTube, at least. Yeah, my hair's just definitely not working right now. Um, but yeah, that was the first stream I ever streamed. That's so funny, bro. But yeah, all of them, I appreciate it, Sajid, man. Thank you for your, your love, bro. Uh, how many YouTube uploads does Joe have with over a million views? YouTube uploads, including shorts, it's one. But videos, it's zero. Uh-oh. Okay, why can you guys not see this yet? Okay, whoops, I didn't know that. Bro, what happened to the screen? Okay, my bad. <laughs> my fault, my fault. This is what happened. Okay, here we go. Let me actually move to the bottom of the screen. You guys are learning stuff about me today. Oh, I can't. Okay, I gotta stay up here. But, what up? Where's OBS? Let me just move down here real quick. All right, we're back. Okay. There we go. All right. Ivan back in the first place. Let's go. What's the next rebuild after Sporting Juniors? Yeah, we might be. We might do an actual team. Does Joe have Riz? Of course, bro. That should be a true all day. I should just skip this question. The disrespect, man. The disrespect, my boy. <laughs> the answer was false, bro. Come on, bro. You guys know I've been practicing my Mew. My Mew face. You gotta close the eyes a little bit. Everybody got that wrong, so you know what? All of you guys are dubs. Sajith is an L for that one. I'm not gonna lie. Joe's nickname. Ginger Lil Sig, Ginger Boy, Sigma Chad, Zunyaga Fanboy. Could be all of them, you know. I like the picture you brought up. I almost wore a tank top today. I almost wore, not that one, but a tank top today. But I didn't. Yeah, Ginger Lil Sigma. I mean, it could be all of them. I think I've heard all of them. But I, I do hear Ginger Lil Sig the most. Lil Sig, bro. Lil Sig. Sounds like I'm smoking something. Joe's best video. Let's take a look. What is this? 
and this is subjective too. Fidin Ajax, my player career mode volume one. Messi versus Ronaldo. I don't, did I do a video? Messi versus Ronaldo. None. I rewind Chelsea this season with Neymar. That is a good one. That is a good one. Ooh. Best video. Finian Ajax, my player career mode, episode one. If you guys don't know what that is, um, that was a uh, one of the first videos I put up on YouTube. I think maybe like the 10th video in 2020. That came out in 2020, bro. I was going to do a whole series on that, but it just wasn't gaining any traction. So I was just like, F it. Fuck this. I'm, I'm out. I was getting like no views, bro. YouTube's hard, dude. YouTube's hard. Joe, who's Joe's dogs? Jog dogs? Who's Joe's dog? I mean, there's two right answers, technically. But there's only one with the full name. The chat? Hey, yeah, the chat's the dog, bro. Oh, dog with a... Like a dog. D-A-W-G, that's the chat. Facts, bro. You, you tricked me, I'm not gonna lie. That was a tricky question. And now Rando's alt moves up into second. This is a good quiz. I like this quiz. And I like the pictures, too. Who... Who you, look at the pictures, bro. Look at my face. The face is so stupid, bro. <laughs> so funny, bro. It's so funny. Would you give your mom's sister, Joe? Only if it's six inches. Only if he's a Zunyaga fan. If he's good or bad. Of course, bro. It's got to be that one. Nah, bro's too funny with these, these men. Which team, bro? Maybe Leverkusen or Milan. I got a Leverkusen video coming out soon. It's a short video. I have not edited it yet, but I do have a Leverkusen video coming out. But AC Milan, yes. I think we have to do an... That has to be an annual thing. An AC Milan live rebuild. Or just an AC Milan rebuild series has to be an, has to be an annual thing. Would you remember us when he gets popular? Dude, I love the pictures, bro. Uh, he's a gold digger. Hell no. <laughs> hell no. He's the GOAT. Man, we'll always re remember the gang. Facts, bro. That's It's the green one. Of course, the GOATs recognize GOATs. Yes, that, the blue one works too. Um, hell no. Nah. Dang, I'm sorry to those of you that don't think so. I'm sorry. But um, especially if I make you a mod, I, I think I have to remember you. Uh, but of course I will, bro. Who wins this Kahoot? Rio Joe Red Dog, number three. Uh, even the IDK, number two. And then Randall's all... Whoa, Randall's all came back and caught up to Ivan. Ivan was winning by a lot. Wow. Not gonna lie, Ivan, I hate to say this, but that was kind of a choke job. I hate to say it, bro. I hate <laughs> I hate to say it, but Randall's all with the comeback of the century right there. Unreal. Big dubs right there. Big freaking dubs. I need the max win. I need the max win. I'm just putting every single thing in here, bro. But uh yeah, Sajit, thank you so much for doing that. Uh doing another Kahoot, that was a great quiz, bro. Thank you so much for doing that, man. And uh, I greatly appreciate it. I know the chat appreciates it, man. That was fun. Um, let me look at the chat, by the way. Let me take this off. 10 out of 10 Kahoot. Yes, 10 out of 10 Kahoot. Six out of six. Let's go. Joe, you should DM Sajid facts so he can make more. Yeah. Oh, bro. Like, tough questions. Like, these could be tough questions. Like, you like you had to be on the stream to know this. Like, somewhere deep in one of the streams. Yeah, we could do something like that. Uh, yeah, I can DM Sajid for sure. Joe, can we play Garlic Phone? All right, bro. I got to go. It's 4.30 a.m. See ya, bro. Damps, thank you. You legend, bro. Thank you so much for joining, man. Uh, what are we at right now, time-wise? We are at 5 hours and 40 minutes, guys. I think I might call it there. I, I, I want you guys to go have a happy Saturday night. And uh, I'm going to go eat some food. And I might go run, actually. I haven't worked out today. 10.40 uh, p.m. for me. Caleb, so you're on the East Coast then. Oh, you're in Tennessee. That's right. Joe, check Mujik edit. Okay, let me check the Mujik edit. Joe, check my Mujik edit. Guys, I'm going to call it a night. I think that's it. I think that's all we're going to do for tonight. Um, we got multiple songs going on right now. We got multiple songs going on right now, bro. 
Uh, run to the star. Bye, Ivan. Thank you so much for joining, bro. We're going to watch this edit, and then we're going to call it a stream. Sorry, guys. No games today. No one-on-one -on -one games today. Um, it's Saturday, man. Let's go have fun. Let's go have a good night. Chill, a chill night. Okay. There's George Mudrick at it. There it is, bro. The first one. Your first video. Ain't nobody Hold up. Why is bro so big? That's what she said. Okay, here we go. I like it, bro. The sound goes with it. Hey, Caleb, too many to go comment to. Hey, this is a good thing to end on. Oh, I forgot, bro. I gotta go to sleep. Bro, I gotta get my money. George, guys, go hit that sub button. George is making fire edits, bro. And uh, guys, that's going to end today's stream. Thank you so much for joining this FC24 Sunderland Rebuild where we had four trophies in five seasons. Yes, we won the Premier League and we made Sunderland a force to be reckoned with in the English football pyramid again. Again, they haven't been in the Premier League since 2017. We got promoted in season number three. That was our first season in the Premier League and we won the Premier League just a season later, season number four. We also won the FA Community Shield and then we also won the EFL Championship in Season 2. And then we won the FA Cup in Season number 1. And we made it to the Europa League. We also competed in the Champions League where we reached the quarterfinals against Inter Milan and ultimately fell. But guys, thank you so much. Joe, you need a signature outro. I know you're right. Maybe I'll make another video like a chance or something. Uh, kind of like the intro videos. The intro vibe. Uh, Diego, thank you so much for joining, man. I'll see you later, bro. Uh, shout out you, Diego, for staying here for so long. And uh, same with you, Kate, Caleb, one more time. Joe, yo, Joe, before you go, am I in Sporting Juniors? Yes, Ivan. I'm going to add you. I've written you down. There's a couple of other guys that are looking for um, a player as well. So there's going to be some new players. George, thank you for joining for so long. George was here the entire time. Sajit was here the entire time. Randall was here. Caleb, Ivan, bro, you guys are legends. Um, love you all. Damps, of, of course. Uh, Diego. J-Dub was here for a little bit. I'm sorry J-Dub didn't work out for your, your guy. But, uh, I'm sorry, not your guy, but your career mode. But, yeah. See you, alt, alt chat. I will see you guys later. Um, smash your keyboard and bro, what? Nah, I don't think I can do that. I can't, I can't smash my keyboard. I only have one. Um, uh, yeah, guys. Good night, George. 3.48, 3 a.m. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, Ivan, you're going to be in the next Sporting Juniors episode. Next Sporting Ju Juniors episode, guys, is on Monday. So join me on Monday for the next Sporting Juniors episode. Sweet. It's going to be electric. I can't wait to see you guys then. And uh, I will uh, see you guys on the next stream. Yeah, make sure you stay safe. Have a good Saturday night. Thank you for joining Sunderland and this rebuild with me. I'm Joe Red. You guys are the chat. And I love you guys. I'd rather have 20 amazing, faithful, loyal intense followers than 10,000 followers or 10,000 people watching the stream and no chatters okay you guys are the reason this is fun so thank you guys so much www dot the alt chat is the greatest dot com www.thealtchatisthegreatest.com Yes, sir, Talipa. I know you got to be a rando alt, but it is what it is. Joe, I'm alt. I'm a Joe alt. Okay, yeah, you're Joe's alt. Finn, Finn is jumping on my lap right now. Okay. Finn, look at him. Say bye. Bye, Finn. Oh, boy. Finn, you stink, though. What is going on, bro? Finn! What's up with your bread? Oh, God. All right, guys, that's the end of the stream. For some reason, my stream deck just, like, restarted.
But uh, that's going to end the stream today, guys. I'll see you on the next one. See you on Monday. And then uh, stay. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like on the stream. And then also subscribe if you're not subbed already. I'll see you guys on Monday. Uh, check out the new short videos coming up soon. And I'm, I am working on Dortmund videos too. So www.altsarethebest.com.